Hello everyone and welcome to my Ana Overwatch 2 Unranked to GM. Winning with Ana in the new game is all about creating opportunities for your team to follow through with abilities like Anti Grenade and Nano. First off, every single game will be timestamped in the description so that if you want to look at specific maps or specific ranks, you'll have an easy time navigating and finding all of those things. Secondly, we won 35 games and lost 10 with an overall win rate of about 78%. While mechanics do help and damaging a lot as Ana is definitely a way to climb as her, with this unranked GM, we focus a lot more on how you can enable your team through those opportunities again and again and again and again until they eventually follow up on that. More on that in the end as well. Also, make sure you check out the guide here on your screen, also at the top right, because that's going to really set the tone for this unranked to GM. I got some comments before that I wasn't really discussing how I was doing things or how I was thinking through things, and that's because I really expected a lot of people to look at that one first. But I tried to make that a little bit better in terms of my commentary over it. This was only the second time I've ever done something like this. So I hope it was a little bit more fluid. At the very end, I will discuss the run and do my takeaways of it, especially since this was taken during the Junker Queen meta of season four, I believe. So make sure that you, if you're, you're going to navigate away from the video, that you're at least going to watch that at the very end because it's going to put a nice little bow to everything that was uh, together that you watched. Lastly, before we do actually get into the video, though, I do want to thank today's sponsor for this entire Unranked to GM which was Alienware. I have been an advocate for them for my college through Penn State for about six months now, and I've been absolutely loving their products. The laptop and monitor that I've been using from them is the main reason why I've gotten all of this stuff done for you and why I've been able to play as well as I do. The 360 hertz is a huge jump from 144. If you're looking for a monitor, you can't go wrong with Alienware. And if you're a student like me in college and you're trying to get stuff done on the flow, on the go every now and then, making content as well, Having a laptop that can keep up with my computer is absolutely game changing. On top of that, it doesn't use too much power. Both the monitor and the laptop have great sustainable options so that you can charge it faster and not have to keep it on overnight. So make sure you do check out those products. With that all out of the way though, I hope you guys all enjoyed this unranked GM. I know I did. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. But until next time, see you at the end of the video. Ana is a supports that creates opportunities for her team if you were just picking her for damage that is not the case if you're just picking her for healing that is not the case you need me making opportunities with her anti-nade and that is the number one thing you got to be doing all right so we got a life weaver that means that we're probably going to be doing a lot more healing this game because he doesn't really do a lot on his own that's like a heavy burst for my my tank um that's that's initially the first thing i'm thinking about here we have a hanzo too so again not a lot of great nano targets this might be a very proactive with how i'm using it uh, and, and maybe more about deactivating the enemy than activating my own team. I mean, Ana and May isn't terrible, but it's really going to come down to what the tank wants to play here. Okay, so I have an Arisa. Arisa's probably going to get most of the nanos here. This is all going to come down to just staying on this high ground and looking for something in the back line. Again, it's about creating opportunities for your team to really pop off with the anti-nade uh, and, and pressuring people off of angles. We're going to be doing a lot of talking, but... Um, Nanoing the Risa here is just because she's probably the best combo, but it's going to come down to the situation. But yeah, we got to feel this out. It's a gold lobby, so first game of the day as well, so it's going to be a little weird. Definitely don't want to kill myself for this. I want to stay up still. They got a Sigma, so I, once that shield's down, it's going to be very easy for me to get nades off. Or once the shield's up, his grasp is down, I can get easier nades. It's a good start. Just making sure... Okay, I don't I don't want to be up there, Life Weaver, because there's a Hanzo that might peek me. Hanzo's dead, so I can start... Rotating over this high ground. This spot is super nice because I can keep high ground and I can push with my team. But if they're going to continue pushing, I'm just going to use my nade there just because she needs to live this. The fight's not really happening, so it's okay. I can use that nade there. That's a good life grip. Wow. I'm just going to go for an early sleep just because the fight is going to take a little bit. No one has an ult that I need to sleep yet. Usually my team would want to posture on gas station and just poke them out. But since my Arisa is looking to like play really aggressively here, I'm probably just going to actually just stick with her. Look for some opportunities to find an aid if possible, but only for a few seconds. I'm not killing myself for doing damage, uh, especially when we're holding the line. We have better brawl. Just keeping my team alive. I really want to do damage, but I'm not going to kill myself for it, you know? Try to find an aid on the SIG. I'm not getting it. Now I'm just trying to build nano because it's going to get to that point. Maybe you're looking for a sleep there. I missed it, which sucks. I should be able to live this, though, so... going to give my nano the Aris. Uh, I heard something behind us, but I really want to help this Arisa get in there, get some value. Anti the Zen so you can't push. It's going to let my team actually kill the Sig there. 
the whole idea. You never have to necessarily kill things on this character. You just want to pressure them, which I haven't really shown a great amount of this game just because this, this is really hard against what they have. Like, they had a Hanzo, but now they have soldiers, so I can actually poke a little harder here. Just looking for nades here. That's a big nade. Maybe going to find the soldier. No, not going to be able to. Got to reload. That's just terrible. Yeah. I probably should have reloaded faster there so she wouldn't die. I'm going to try to poke some so that they don't push me for free. It's looking like I might be able to get out of this for free. Ugh, that's a life grip and a, I don't really like that one. Puts me in the open, but I'm still going to live. Now I'm just reclaiming high ground. I'm trying to just live here. Maybe poke for some damage. Empty the soldier. Get some damage on him. Actually find a kill. See, that's big. Just not dying there is huge. I don't really know how else to describe that. Sleep the Sig, so maybe he takes some more damage. That's big. Big nade there. Ooh, it's worth me almost dying. Yeah, I knew she was going to push me there, too. That was really smart of her, actually. I wanted to drop, but I had a. I felt like because it was low elo, maybe they wouldn't have pushed me there, but I, I probably should have dropped. So their Moira is actually pretty smart. Uh, a lot of this though it's like i'm not i'm not trying to force myself to find value all of the time i'm trying to wait until i can set up for them maybe to forget about me or set up on a high ground so i can create an opportunity for my team to do something here they're gonna have visor so i'm probably gonna save my sleep for that but if he doesn't really get anything out of it or if he's in a bad position i'll save it for the sig instead uh, i'm gonna try to look for a nano on my Arisa. that's my that's my main goal but if someone needs it to live i, I can also do that uh, i don't I don't love this now. I, I kind of have to drop just because my Arisa wants to play weird aggressive. Uh, yeah, we should be aggressive here with our, our Arisa Nano and put an anti nade in there so we can kill this quick while they're using Ko. That's a huge fight for us because now they're going to have a really hard time getting set up to push this next fight. This right here, I'm just applying pressure to that Moira. Ooh, she's so low. If I was better mechanically, I would hit both of those shots. Uh, but again, now, now I'm going to be looking to sleep this high noon maybe sleep this this visor okay no that's a terrible visor i don't need to sleep that we just need to not look at him all right huge awesome you're you're supposed to do a lot of damage on on support but with anna you want to make sure that you're not forcing yourself to do it in a bad position in this we were trying to hold the line so i was just trying to play with my arisa because she was playing a little more aggressive on the line than i had wanted her to but that's why i set myself up closer so that I could walk with her and help her push instead of staying on that high ground, which is conventional, which on, honestly we probably should have sticked on it until we realized they had a SIG and then we push once we bait him in a little bit. But um, that's why I held the line there with my Risa closer. Uh, and especially at lower ELOs, people just aren't going to be playing the game correctly. You got to be able to adapt to what they're doing and kind of fle flex your idea of what your character is, especially here. Uh, the higher we go, though, we're going to run into more Junker Queen. So... The entire idea of how we're playing is going to be different. Like, if they were running a, a Junker Queen instead of a Sig there, I probably would have stayed high ground anyways. Because I don't want to get walked on. But it, there's a lot of different factors that are telling me what I'm doing. I'm trying to give you guys the idea of, of everything and not leave anything in the dark. Right here, I'm just going to do damage to shield, honestly, while walking forward. I, I don't really want to take height. I probably could take height, honestly, but I don't know who's up there. And people tend to overstack up there. For example, that Hanzo that's going to die. That's why I didn't want to go there. Because at this elo, a lot of people love to get really aggressive there. I don't want to kill myself for it and try to bait them out. But now I can honestly look for a flank nade if I wanted to. I have a Life Weaver though, so I don't want to leave my Junker Queen alone. The Sig doesn't have shield. Oh, that's big. Big anti nade helping my Junker Queen. I'm going to push in with her. But if she wants to, if, if she doesn't want to give me space, that's fine. I'm chilling. Just give me my little quick scope on that. Pressure out this junk rat. Even if I'm not hitting shots, he just knows I'm looking at him and he can't take that angle anymore. Waiting for that shield to break, and then I'm gonna throw a nade. Oh, I thought it was gonna break. Well, I still anti one. Sup that Hanzo. Not gonna focus on him until I have help. Three, two, one. He should die there without nade. Yep. I'm gonna use nade here for the Baptiste. Oh, that was a good flank. Yeah, I should probably take high ground next fight. I probably could have called for it with my life weaver, but I'm trying not to overcome uh, in lower elos so I can talk with you guys. We did just get two picks, so this should be an instant fight win. Yeah. Wasn't my most stellar game, but it's been a minute since I've played, so I'm okay with that.
Um, again, everything there is like you're creating opportunities for your team. You're not forcing yourself onto them. You're waiting. You're, you're setting yourself up so that you can have a better opportunity to actually get stuff done. That's, that's the whole idea. But that's a good first game. How do I prioritize sleep? Sleep is kind of like... I, I like to keep that one a little bit more to myself. I try to make... I, I try to think about like, okay, their Genji has Blade. Or like, okay, they have this alt, they have that alt. That, I'll save my sleep for that. If not, if I see someone trying to get really aggressive and out of position to try to like lurk for me and kill me, I try to sleep something like that because it's really easy for my team to follow up on that because it, it's the enemy that's over, over investing to kill me. That means they're they're pushing too far into my spawn to try to take me out. It's easier because I can actually take that sleep out with my team. They're, they're, they're a sleeping target in my backline as opposed to a sleeping target in their backline that we're going to have to invest to kill them. Sometimes that's a good sleep if it's like on a really strong angle. Like if it's a Bastion that's going to try to off angle and, and do something like that, it allows you to push. But it, it's, it's, it's situational. In, in the way that you use it. I have a Baptiste, so I can be really aggressive here because he's going to be doing most of the healing. If he doesn't do that, though, because it's... Because it's, uh, you know, it's gold. It's plat. People don't necessarily play the game correctly. Uh, I'll be able to rotate off of that effectively and uh, play differently. So they have an Arisa, so I'm not just going to gold... or I'm not going to anti whenever. She did use gold and her other cooldown, so actually this is a great anti nade. Should be able to force her out there. Ah, damn. He just died immediately. Oh, wow, I'm missing all my shots. All right, we're just going to chill. This is going to be really hard to push. It's going to come down to just finding a good anti-nade and my team taking people out. Mm, don't like that. I'm going to have to just nade myself. I probably didn't have to, but here we are. Just wait for this wall to go down and then push after it. Sleep that Ash Killer. She's so low. Oh, that's so tragic. This is big, though. We got a tick. Larissa used cooldowns. Just wait for our cooldowns. Can't really do anything. Yep, there's the gold. Now I'm just living. Still just waiting for my team to come back. And now opportunity. Kill the Sarisa. She doesn't have gold. Big. See? Because she used gold, she can actually die. You got to help my Arisa live here. Oh, that's not a hole. He doesn't have cryo, I don't think. Okay, but we got to chill more. Just going to chill because they have Valk. Oh, I missed the sleep. Oh, but that was huge. Oh, that's a big opportunity. Oh, this is a weird fight. I got to focus it. Up. Rotating off of this angle. Oh my, okay. Well, that's big. Honestly, dude, that was so hectic. It was a lot of just waiting back and forth, back and forth, not over pushing when the opportunity, they they invested back into what I was doing. But now I'm going to try to take height with my queen. I'm lagging behind here a little bit. They do have Bob, so I'm probably going to keep my sleep dart for that. I'm going to try to force that. Oh, what the heck? There's a May here. Oh, dang. That's actually really good, though, that we killed the Orisa. And we forced out Nana there. We really should just chill. I feel like taking that high ground is really hard on Ana. Uh, off the rip. It kind of was tough that my Baptiste was on cart instead of my Tracer. Because realistically, my Tracer or Sojourn should be there. I would live if I had something else. My Bap is also kind of struggling to heal my J Queen, so I might have to shift my play style a little bit. Just sleeper so I can get out live honestly these players are pretty good for plat the enemy team at least trying to support my Cassidy wow she's taking so much poke all right well there's the Bob I'm gonna sleep that yeah that they just invested all that fight so we lose that no matter what I mean that's that's so many alts from them they're going to be closing that May ult, but I don't really need to sleep that. Realistically, my goal is just to get to get high ground with my team. Uh, I want to try to get that left side height if they're not going to just walk through main. Where's my Cassidy at? Going soldier. What? What? There's not a whole lot I could do there. I don't 
That's bad positioning for my Baptiste. Now I have to shift to a more healing-centric roll. Now I'm burning. I'm not a fan of this at all. I tried to... Yeah, dude. It's so hard because we need someone to force out that Ash, but she has a damage boost, so I can't really peek her. If it comes down to like one minute, I'll just tell them to start rotating high. But I'm probably gonna save my my nano for this bat or this uh, soldier rather. Seep the Arisa. Ooh, she doesn't have armor, so I kind of want to try to force her out here, even though she does have gold. I wish I had sleep for that, but I didn't think they were gonna do that. I don't think I need to nano this because the fight looks one here. We killed their tank, which is like their bastion. Of oh wait a minute. No way! Oh, Can we walk height and force their ash out first? Just walk right side height. Don't keep going main. We're going to die every time. <clears throat> I'm not finished. Yeah, because we, we, it's just like the fight's going on for too long because they have an Arisa that just lives. Um, oh, that's big. They're going to res that, but that's okay. I'm just going to kind of hope that my DPS live. But we forced them off height. Now I have a crazy good off angle. This this is this is ideal. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's, that's kind of what you need to do. Uh, I wanted to see if I could do it without telling my teammates what to do. Now I'm just looking for... Really, I'm looking for damage to get my nano faster. I mean, the, the pick there is nice, but really, this is just for damage. Because <laughs> now I have the power position. I don't really have to worry about... I'm going to yuck my nade over there just because that's going to get value. I don't know who that anti but it got something. Bob sleeping. Don't wake. Don't wake. Always call out your sleeps to your team, uh, especially on Bob. Wait, we're going to lose this. Oh, no. Wow. We actually lost that. I thought I could focus on talking to you guys, but... Wow, we lost that. Unlucky. All right, well, we can still win this. So we have a ball now. Which is much better considering I'm on Ana. Junker Queen's like very like in your face kind of thing. So realistically, we're just gonna play to surround them, and I'm probably just gonna be nading whatever he slams on. Uh, it's gonna be because th that's a big opportunity for my team to really pop off. I do want to try to get as much alt charge as possible and maybe poke off the start. If they have a Hanzo or a Widow though. I can't really do that. Depends on what they got. They have a Junkrats. I don't like sitting main then. Like sitting over here more. My Kira could do the healing on the other people. They have a Sig. Freaking shield in the meantime. Again, it's about creating opportunities for my team to really pop off and do things. The Nano is probably just going to go to Soldier, but if they have shield up, it's going to have to go to someone else. Or it's going to have to be that we break shield first before we Nano Soldier. Because... The visor's going to get blocked. They have a Bastion now, so my sleep's probably going to get allocated to that mostly. Ooh, my ball's in a rough spot. They're not going to stop them. Oh, what is my Torb doing? Anti the Sig, so, so maybe he can't push me out here. Ooh. I thought he was going to get shot at, but my team did not want to shoot him. Well, this is just bad. Hmm. Second point's easier to carry. Second point, we can go a lot flankier with our... Oh, wait, winnable. You guys can give ticks and live. Play to mind point. I'm almost back. Gotta play to get Nano here. Pick the shield. On in the back corner. Wow, that's embarrassing. I suck. I'm so terrible. 
I am so awful at this game. It is unreal. That should have been an easy carry. My team actually pulled through. I I trolled so hard there. That's why you shouldn't take a two-week break from Overwatch after PvE getting canceled. Holy moly. That was very embarrassing. They probably have a Sig ult, so I'm going to try to keep my sleep for that. But if the Bastion has a really good off angle and is going to roll my team, that's going to be the focus. Just got to get my Nano. I have Nano. Oh, dude. Just going to stop it right there. Here comes the alt now. I just trolled this fight so hard. I tried to save my Torb from being over aggressive. Just got to save this next leap for the Sig alt. Dude, I'm just so bad right now. It's big anti though. Dude, this mercy movement's actually crazy. Anti the sick, he should die here. Mercy, mercy, mercy. This is a big stagger. Get the embarrassing games out of the way early. So that's they have May out now, so I'm probably gonna try to sleep this May or at least force her out as soon as possible. Is my uh is my main idea here. Because uh, I don't want her to just win the game off of that. And also, let's just looking for an aggressive nade offer up too. Although my soldier's taking this angle, so they're kind of looking at me now. They have a Rhine, so that's actually kind of easier for me to deal with. He doesn't have a stuff that's going to make it annoying to... Like an Eats or something. Oh, that's so tragic that it hit him. Safe to keep my ball alive. Backing away though, taking a different angle. I do almost have Nano. That guy just is dead off cooldown. I should stop worrying about him. Trying to kill the May. No. Couldn't kill her fast enough. I trolled it. Damn, if I kill that May there, we win the game. I'm I'm trolling this game so hard. I'm holding this game hostage for my team. That is annoying that I'm just not playing well. But um that's their mail. They're probably going to... Honestly, I'm probably just going to play to sleep the Bastion more. Just chill out a little bit more, Tori. Uh, we're, we're going in a little too hard. We're dying yeah, too much. To run to the door. Yeah, just play, play height with our team. I think we'll be fine. He's playing aggressive. I'm going to try to stop him from kind of trolling. It's a big anti-nade to kill their Ana. Pressure out the May a little bit. Pressure out the Mercy too. It's another big nade for Ana. I'm just focusing on damage because I have an opportunity to kill here. He has Shatter, so I'm going to sleep him. So he doesn't even get the chance to while he's in it nanoed. Just keep playing Heightened surrounding him. Reaper behind you, sleeping. Mercy's low. Burn the Ryan, burn the Ryan, burn the Ryan. We have angles. Nice. He still has shatter, be aware. Again, I'm going to try to save sleep for this Reinhardt after he slams. That's a big stagger if we can kill them both here. Mercy, mercy, mercy. It's a big nade. Yeah, play play high, play high. Don't go, don't go, don't go. <clears throat> Care their mail. If we play high, she can't do anything about it. Maybe I can look for a sleep or just forcing her out here. I'm trying to make it a little harder for her to exist. I might need help my twerp here. I don't know what he's really doing. I kind of want my Kiri to live, but she's fine. Okay. 
Super sleeping top. For the mercy, 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 mercy. Reaper solo opened me. It's okay, next game. This is honestly still just warm up. They have a Hanzo, so it's gonna be really weird for me to take angles. Okay, there's a ball, so I'm gonna look to sleep him. Oh, wow, he. What's up? Anteing him because he's just kind of in my team. Okay. Now now we have to react to how, what they have. They are playing to hard roll me. They are playing to just completely disrupt me. This nade is going to be on myself to keep myself alive after the ball slams me. If I can live, we win this game. All this game is about just having me live. Um, if they have a ball, I need to play closer to my tank. I don't want to play far in the back. I want to make sure that I'm playing as close to my tank as possible. Um, and making sure that they don't just jump me for free. So now they're on an Echo instead of a Sombra. So actually, this is a lot easier. I can use my nade more aggressively now. Oh, wow. I could have hit that. That's annoying. Kill this ball. He's trolling. Anti him because he's overextended. We have knife too. So like it's really easy to kill him. Just forcing him out with some damage. Getting some alt charge as well. That's another thing. Like... I think a big thing to understand with Ana is that you don't need to kill people in order to get value with her. You really are just pressuring people away. There are very few opportunities where I'm, I'm going to be able to actually kill people on this character. Unless, like, my team is doing a really good job of forcing people out. Ah, oh, shit. I missed again. Just going to break the turret here. And then my next goal is to take high ground with my team. That's really what we should be doing. Big anti nade because the Moira is trying to keep the ball away up. Next time this ball pushes in, I'm probably going to be nanoing my J Queen so that he dies if we need it. Dude, why am I missing so much? I'm so washed. Dude, what is going on, team? I might still invest nano here so we can live and win. Please keep me alive. Oh, you're so good. Not moving there so the mines don't hit me. Okay, thing is, I really don't want to play lower. I really want to take upper. I'm not really scared of this echo. Not at this elo. She was playing in a terrible spot. She doesn't really have anyone that's going to heal her. So I'm just playing a lot more aggressively. Now the Moira's here though, my life gets hard. I probably could have nanoed her, but I don't want to over I don't want to over alt. Alright, I gotta go chat and tell them to take height. Cause I can't do anything if we don't take height. Oh wait, maybe we're gonna win this fight. I guess I could have ulted there, but I didn't want to over alt. No, can we just take height off of him and send like our somber cart? What do we need to do? Go height with Junker Queen and everyone else, set our somber cart. And then we can uh, not play in low ground ditch. It'll make our life easy. That'd Just be nice. I like easy lives. Yeah, me too. Look at that. What a great interaction. All right, we got to make sure we don't go in one by one, though. Let's just chill. Trying to live. Kill the Torb because he's way too close and my Junker Queen is activated. Uh, I'm not going to kill myself over this. Just going to rotate over. Um, and Mora's got that. I need to walk forward.
Right now, I'm just like trying to. We still want to go hide. Yeah, we still want to rotate up height and have that control after the fight. Am I more with me? Okay. Who killed the bat Kill the torb! Kill the torb! Hello, G Claps. How you doing? I want to take height just so that we don't play in low ground and get forced in a terrible position where we're surrounded by ball. More dies, more dies. Ball's behind again. Play to live. Playing just live on car here. Ball sleeping bottom right. Can we kill this? Nancy? He's one. Nice. Kill the echo copy. Can I help? Help your honor? Uh, I got baffled with my ult. Kill Torb, Torb Anti. It's gonna keep height because he gave it to me. So you want to start shooting, um, this is something I don't really talk about a lot about. You want to make sure that you're doing as much damage to squishies and not tanks. Um, if you have the opportunity to shoot a squishy. Because you get a lot more all charge. It's a lot more effective at forcing them out. But if your whole team is kind of like forcing a ball, you can force the ball too. Oh, okay, that's a fair. I thought that was mine. I kill her here. So here, I want to take the elevator high ground from them. I want to force them off just from a different angle since I was aggressive and I got it for, for free here. I want to just play here. It's easier to get nades mid-fight if they don't know I'm up here too. Oh, someone knows I'm here though. Oh, that's a May. Oh, shit. Well, I forced them to use wall on me and slam. I'm going to get out here for free. We killed this ball because he's walled off. Uh, we should have. There we go. Now he dies. We got ball. Oh, that's a huge sleep dart, too. And now we're a little bit warmer, that's for sure. Right here, I want to set up the back right corner. I don't think that Farrah has alt yet, but I might save just to see. I don't know how much damage she's been doing. No one's called it out. I'm going to be looking for early damage here. But she might be going for it. Oh, she kind of trolled, so... Pushing out this fair because I knew she has alt. Man, I really thought that if we killed everyone else, I wouldn't have to save my sleep for that. I come back with ult, but I doubt soldier commander chase soldier is able to get the difficult hold this. That's a big mail. I subbed the tracer there so that I would have an easier time living. And wow, we actually won. Hey, I did it. So, so this is a no. this is a situation where I used high ground to get past that hard push, so then I could do more damage. I'm also warmed up more. So the the other thing here, and I think this is also something that everyone can learn from. Make sure you warm up before you play. Make sure you, you play a game or two, we maybe on an alt account or maybe on like quick play. Make sure you warm up for the love of God because I'm hitting so much better shots now than last time.
Unless you're a tank player. You don't really need to warm up that much if you're a tank player. But if you're playing flex supported DPS, please warm up. Or you'll go 007 like DMT over here in chat. I'm not trying to trap anyone. Right here, though. I never want to... If you're ever going to peek up here, don't do it for long. Honestly, I wouldn't even do it. Stay up here. Wait for them to kind of be shooting your tank tanks from this angle when your tank's right there. And look for nades there. Because it's really easy to line up nades. You'll see. You'll see. It's a lot easier. I mean, they have balls, so... That's actually maybe not as easy, but... You can still find nades on people when they're walking up through here. I do have a Baptiste, so he'll be focusing on the healing more. That's a huge nade. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Right there. That high ground, it's super easy to find opportunities on this map. Try to use Sleep Dart to force this guy off of me. It's going to turn into a 1v1. I do have that pack back there to use if I need it. They kind of just forgot about me. So I guess I'm just going to take this angle. I don't know why they did that. Oh, that's bad. I messed up. But see, every single fight. It's so much better to play off of this in this angle than it is to try to hold them in spawn. So much easier. Every single time, play that high ground the entire fight. It's so powerful. Now they're probably going to try to send an echo above me, which is going to make it a little harder, which is exactly what they are trying to do. Yep, well, now they're sending everyone up here. Well, damn. My team should have been there to help me, but they kind of trolled. It's okay. But uh, next fight, really, we're just going to be taking high ground here, making sure that they do not get high ground, because if they get high ground, they win. If we don't play high ground, we lose. Because who wants to get surrounded by both sides? Playing flank watch for my team. No way I still get frozen there. Bro, th I'm not even in line of sight of the thing. Wow. At least they may ulted. Honestly, right there, I can't. I don't really have a tip. I didn't expect them to may ult. I thought we would just kind of like win that. Yep, okay. Nice little rotate here for the high ground. Probably going to be using Nano on my Zarya when she's max charge after she uses the grab. Not, not when she has it up. Unless I have to do that to win. I'm gonna try to anti this echo after she gets out of dupe. I was too late on it, but I still will get a kill here, maybe. Okay, well, yeah, I'll get it. Now I'm just on the flank, which is a little uncomfy. Are they gonna rush for me here? I don't think they are. Now that the grab is done and we have beat to work with, she's going to get some ult charge off this. That's a huge anti-nade just because they forgot about me. I don't know, if they forget about you, you can take advantage of lobbies like that. Let's see if the echo side will die. Yeah, I mean, I could have played better there and probably hit a shot or two. But um, another thing is you you can use this. I, I, you, I personally use the nade to be aggressive all the time. I then use the sleep dart to keep myself alive from their aggression that they send at me. And that, that's typically what I... You can use the sleep dart early in the fight, but then you want to make sure you have your nade too or you're next to your team so you can still live. Uh, I hope that makes sense when I explain it like that. It's hard for me to do that mid-game, mid mid-match. Because I need to focus a little bit after I haven't played in a minute. There's a Seko. I hear her. Going to use this little rotation on height. I don't know if she saw me there or not. I don't think she did. Force out the face. Oh, that's bad. I didn't mean to do that. I'll sleep her to get out of this. Use the scope so I can get... Guaranteed the ball's gonna come top. I'm on high ground, so this shouldn't affect me. Wow, that was a good boot from Lucio. I heard him. I heard him just a little too late. It's kind of weird because sometimes these fucking players here are just better than than like 
players and GM. That was a really good idea from that Lucio. That was, that was really good. But again, I'm doing a lot of damage here because I have a Baptiste. He's allowing me to do more damage because he does more healing than me. And I also am dealing with an Echo. Any flyers are usually like my job as Echo if I don't have a hit scan. Uh, I'm making her life really difficult to kill my Pharaoh, which is what she wants to do. As she just tried to. I wouldn't be scoping in if that Kiriko saw me, but she didn't. So I'm just making the shots easier for myself. I'm really just standing still because it's a shooting gallery. No, no one's looking at me. Ball's playing to flank me here. I'm not even going to invest into that. Ooh. Oh, I missed. That is... Playing here so he can't get to me on the roll. Taking this again just because they still haven't figured out that I'm playing up here. Oh, I'm so terrible. Honestly, either looking to nano my Zarya or nano my, my fairy here. Yeah, but now that since it's overtime and they don't have time, I can take this flank and just it's it's a relatively healthy flank for me to take. Yeah, this is for Zarya. These are all about to be frozen. Can't get away. So therefore, the dude, the, the Lucio was their best player. I don't know why we're reporting. Now we can see though that taking high ground as Ana is probably the most important thing to do on the character. So I have a Lucio and I have a Junker Queen. So my playstyle is going to be my playstyle is going to be very, very aggressive. I also have a Tracer Sombra, so. Pretty much all of my value for this composition is packed into my Wheel name trap shit. because my damage like we do so much damage on one target it's like burst heavy if i can hit a big nade we win that is that is this this comp i'm gonna be nanoing my drunker queen mostly no matter what almost probably or my tracer i guess that's the only one that depends but it's only gonna matter if my drunker queen can't get on anything which isn't likely because she's so good right now i have a widow as well I don't even want to peek her. On a misnade. That's a big hack. And now that just wins us the game because of how fast our composition is. Now I'm just really just focusing on keeping my JD Queen alive. I don't know why she's still pushing that. We, we won the fight, guys. And they have a Widow. I don't want to play in her LOS. Don't play in Widow LOS ever. That That's another tip. I say that a lot in my videos, but a lot of people don't get that. Make sure that you're cutting off LOS from where she may be, where she probably is. And make sure you're calling it out to your team if you know. If you're not trying to just talk to your chat the whole time and, you know, the usual. I, I doubt the Widow's ever going to take that angle until the fight uh, until the fight opens up like that. That's when she'll start using it. Uh, uh, God, I hate that. Wow, I could have gotten punched off there, but he missed, so... That's why I wanted to use the sleep dart to stop his punch. Yeah, their widow's like on a Kefri angle. All right, well, this game's going to feel very tight because they have a widow. I I can't peek things as aggressively as I could on Midtown, especially with the composition I have. I I don't get that opportunity. So find the Widow. Make sure you don't play in her LOS. Oh, if she's dead, now I can play really aggressive if I really wanted to. But they do have a Reaper. Gotta make sure I'm aware of that. That's a big nade. Sleep him so he can't get away. Big EMP, and now we kill the Doom. Nice. Uh, nade in three is going to be huge. But, like, see, most of, most of my value in a composition that's this fast is packed within my utility. It's not packed within my healing. It's not packed within my damage. you got to focus on finding the nade at the perfect time, which is whenever your team can follow up upon it, which that can be very situational. Uh, but that's how you do it. They might have a Reaper ult. Uh, they're on junk now, though, so I can play really far. I, I, I can play far for damage, but 
I still want to stay stacked to my team because they do have a Doom. I don't want to get caught out. Ah, but now this Junkrat's creating pressure. Shoot him a few times to force him out. It's a big anti nade. I, I don't think she... Yeah, she wasn't getting beat. This is weird. Anti the Doom. Maybe he dies. Jake, can you please walk to me? Okay, she's just not walking to me. That fight, I don't even remember what happened because so many things were happening. How do I recommend streaming on both at the same time? There is a uh, there's an OBS plugin. TQN, thank you for the follow. Now we're just playing for anti-nade off of the EMP. Uh, is kind of what I want to do. But if I find an opportunity before then, I'll, I'll take it and use it. We do have EMP. It looks like she's staging for it. She's calling for it. So this is big. Now I look for the nade. Because EMP will always open it up for you. There's no shields to stop you. They're, they're so, there's so much happening at once for them that you it, it's so easy to hit a nade. It's going to be big. Um, they're probably going to have tire now. So I'm going to look for that. And trying to just break that. But Sleep Dark can be used really aggressively off the rip here. I want to try to build Nano fast. I do that by doing damage. But I'm, I'm going to just say, screw it. I'm probably not going to get it because I'm only at 50. Break the turn instead. I'm playing in a spot where... Oh, that's huge, actually. Wait. That's an anti on Doomfist. Ooh, I almost hit the sleep. But see, like, compared to my other game, I'm not doing a lot of damage. I'm not doing a lot of healing. It's a lot more utility-based because... It's so fast. It, we don't do a lot of damage together, but we do. We, the window that we do damage is very short. It's very quick. It's very uh, sharp. It's sharp damage, not dull damage. Like, like I feel like spam is like dull damage, where you're just doing a lot, and it, it adds up. Or this is like, it's like a, it's like a, a knife. It's like a nanometer window that you're just, bam, every single time in the head, dead. That's kind of what the these compositions are like. Right here, they're probably gonna have a drunk rat, so I don't I don't wanna walk through white. I wanna walk through like to point side. Although they are walking that way, so now I'm gonna shift my focus. It looks like they're not on junk anymore, so. My my somber hit a crazy hack there, so I'm gonna try to support that. Kill this junk rat in the 1v1. Oh, that was very close. Yeah. Realistically my J Queen really shouldn't be dying this much. I just but with an off angle like this, I can carry because I have damage. Okay, never mind. I hard scoped the orb. I thought I was on the wall. I tried to carry with my damage, that is. Um, they do have a junk, but he didn't go white. That's weird. Uh, again, I'm really just taking whatever angle they don't take. I, I don't want to play close to my J Queen anymore because they don't have anything that's jumping on me. So I want to play farther away so they don't walk on me. They're not running dive stuff, so I play farther away. But he doesn't get cleave on me. Ooh. More attack will help them force out the fade. Not necessarily trying to kill things, but I can force out their cooldowns so that they die later down the fight. Make it harder for them to win. Just going to get my nano off this guy. I do have nano now i will have nano when the fight starts um i'll probably just nano my junker queen into the emp honestly just get the quick quick fight win they might have shatter so i want to make sure i'm playing on uh corners so i can maybe use nano to, to stop the okay maybe i don't even uh shoot should i yeah i should nano this we should go oh we over -alted. but can i can i really blame that on myself i feel like that's kind of the the somber for Overall thing there. So they definitely have alts, like support alts for sure. I'm listening to some insane shit right now, and that's why I'm on. You know what I'm saying? But see, that, that right there is a good peek just because it gets you ult charge early. And I'm okay with shooting the tank because I know that they already have alts. Like they have, they have five alts right now, uh, aside from their sojourn. There's the shatter. 
Mm, damn, that's tragic. I was trying to stop his pin. He didn't look for it. Can't be mad about that. That's three alts from them. They still have their Torvald. They don't have their Sojourn alt yet. Uh, I want to look for damage. I want to force him out a little bit. You know? Oh, okay. Well, I, I forced abilities. That's actually really big. They don't have nade right now. I would probably tell my team that in, a, in an actual environment. Oh, he's anti. He dies. He dies. All right. They use nade. Now I know that they don't have it. Dude, I can't hit Torbs today. Mora sent a damage orb on me, which means I'm her target. So I'm not next to anyone there. So I just need to live and walk away from that. Um, but let's see. We, we got Nano again. They don't have Shatter. They probably have their Sojourn ult and they're closing on the Moira ult. So uh, they have a recent out too. So after gold, that's our time to explode and just kill her as fast as possible with our nade. That's what we're looking for this fight. Or onto the back line. It's really whatever I can find because my Junker Queen also has ult. Ooh, that hack's good. Oh, she's dead. Yeah. I don't even think I need a nano this. At least not yet. It's okay. Don't let her cap the free. All right, now I can use my yeah, nano yeah. on the EMP. Um, if they even touch, which I, I doubt they're going to be able to touch here. These guys are weird. Yeah, they're just not touching. All right, well, there is a G. Jeez. All right, Blizzard World. This is honestly a pretty decent on a map because there's a lot of long sight lines that you can look for damage on. Uh, at the same time, though, it depends on the composition you are playing. So I'm looking at this. We got a Reaper. Diva's going to be really good at flushing out, like, a ball or a hit scan. So that's a good nano. Nanoing Reaper would be good if he has Death Blossom and they don't have, like, a shield or a defense matrix. That's that's a good moment to be looking to nano the Reaper. Um, honestly, nanoing the, the Moira here, too, is good if she has Coalescence. Um, what are bad on a maps? I personally don't like most control. Most, like, Li Zhang... Uh, I don't I don't like Ana that much on that map, to be quite honest with you. Anything that's, like, more circular, something that's a lot more linear, I feel like Ana does a lot better at. Um, a lot of, like, choke points where you can play for nades on that, I feel like, are pretty good. Uh, and also, like, Midtown and, and Watch Point. Those maps are really good for Ana because you can take advantage of high ground aggressively, and it's also not, like, a throw. Like, you're, you're in a safe position by doing so. That's what I would say are like good on a maps or watch point in Midtown or S tier on a maps. Right, so they have a Hanzo. I usually you want to walk bottom left with your team here, uh, like through there, but um, people don't do that ever in ranked for some reason. Not even in GM. So the reason you do that is so that you don't take as much poke in this phase. Like we already took 20% of my alts worth of poke, which is just not what you want to do because that that guy might have dragon soon. Looking for an aggressive sleep. I find it on the Torb. Moira already used Fade. Wait a minute. Oh, I missed my anti there. That's tough. I kind of lost all my value off of that. Oh, that's a good pick, though. Really good. I'm going to reload. I'm going to start walking with my team. I'm going to break this turret. This turret kind of destroys my team. And right now, honestly, I'm just going to play to t get Nano. Get Nano, look for a big nade. That, that's what I'm looking for when I'm this close. And the fight's been going on for this long. Because I know for a fact with how much I've been doing that I got it first and we went off of this. I missed that. I'm terrible. But that's going to be an anti to force out the Doomfist and we win. So, like, I want to look for damage. Dude, I, I guess I should go forward here, but... I want to look for damage, but if, I, if I'm going into a... a Torb Hanzo spam comp that can kill me in less than a fraction of a second. I'm not going to kill myself to rotate to the height. I'm going to say, okay, I need to look for opportunities here. I need to look to maybe find a nade to let my team engage with. Or, oh, I'm really close to nano. I'll just call out to my team like, all right, I'll just play for my nano. Build my nano quick and then we win. I already have 4,000 heals almost. Like, 
I want to look for more damage because I have a Moira, but I got to wait until the map opens up for me to do that or my team opens it up for me. Like this second point, I can look for a lot more damage opportunities because there's a high ground once we once we get there. Right here, though, I'm going to look to try to sleep this Ko if she tries to get too aggressive with it. It doesn't look like she's going to, so I'm just going to save it for uh, the Doomfist that's about to walk in here if I need to. I mean, he didn't walk with his team. Sleep the Moira. It doesn't have fade. Okay. And now, see, now it's going to open up to me. My Moira can do this heals right now. I'm going to look for a flank so I can do an easier nade. And the Nano My Diva so she doesn't die. Honestly, I, I, I'd rather her live here than... Now I have high ground. I can look for ag aggressive opportunities, but I don't really want to 1v1 a Hanzo, so... Ever. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot spawn because they still have... They don't have... Well, I mean, they don't have Moira ult, but... I'm not really afraid of that at this elo, to be honest. I don't think people play it right. It's a huge anti. I think my Reaper actually gets... Yep, he gets value off of that. Saw that he was TPing, so I was like, yeah, screw it. I'll go for it. Help my Diva here. Force the, the Brig out because she's anti. She can't really push with it. And now she's in a bad spot because she didn't go fast enough. See, like... I don't know. The whole idea of, oh, just do damage, 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 damage. I feel like that's not really that great with every character. I mean, it is how you carry. To be fair, if if I would have hit all of my shots on Eichenwald and I would have done all that damage, maybe I could have pulled that win. There was also another few mechanical mistakes with Nana that I was trying to compensate my team for, which I should have just let them die. But at the same time, it really comes down to the situation. I don't want to kill myself for this. I can do just enough. I can do just enough with just hitting nades. Like, uh, it is just fine. I have Nano again. I'm probably going to just Nano my Diva when she jumps in. I'm going to try to set up an aid on the back line. I did. She can go hard. Okay, well, she didn't want that, I guess. She wanted to kill the Doom instead. Which is fine by me. Like, you know what? Do your thing. You got to kill it, though. I don't know. Well, that's just unlucky because she didn't go off of what I set up for her, but... It happens. Not every opportunity is going to get taken that you set up for your team. That's it. That's like one of the only like parts of a good quick scope right there. Um, I'm actually gonna play closer to my team because they have Doom. And I don't want them to force me out. I, I want to be a little bit more active this fight. Still farther back, but I don't want to play in the back spawn side. Oh, I thought she was gonna. Oh wait, I didn't cancel her alt. That's what I was going for. I didn't say it, but I was going for it. We gotta break that teleporter, come on. I feel like the reason's pretty obvious. They, they get back faster if the teleporter's up, but um, no deaths there. 8k heals, you you don't wanna have 8k heals every game. They're, the, the other game that we want, I had like the same healing and damage. Building nano, giving it to a target that can be aggressive with it when we don't have a, if we're just winning fights off that, we can do that. Uh, especially since they have a Doomfist, they have people that are susceptible to getting jumped. They have a Torb, they have a Hanzo. They have Ana to try to heal that. They're, they're not going to get heals there. I, I, I wanted to look for more damage because I had a Moira. The map just didn't open up for me to do more damage. It worked out that I could just build Nano instead. Uh, again, it's about creating opportunities for your team. It's not about raw output. Raw output, that's that's bad. That's Zen. Typically, I like to set up back here, especially like it really depends on what my whole team wants to do because I have this angle here. I don't really need to kill myself by going up there. I can just kind of chill. If they have a Widow, though, um, or a Hanzo, I guess it does change things, but I don't... Okay, they have a Mercy now, so... What's their other DPS? My Mercy can heal the DPS. I should be fine just healing D.Va alone and doing damage here. Again, crazy angle on the... It's like a weird off angle they're not really expecting. Maybe I can find a sleep there? No. They don't have a Widow. Widow is like the main counter to this. Like the moment they have a Widow, you can't really just sit here. But they, they have like a Torb Kiri. Unless they, they 3, 2, 1 peek me, which they're not going to do at these elos. I'm fine. I'm chilling. But now I can just kind of do damage because my... Okay, my Mercy shouldn't be healing my D.Va. <laughs> That's for sure. 
Now my Mercy's dead, so I gotta shift the focus back to healing. I already almost have my Nano, though. Oh, wow. Okay. Honestly, right there, I played that pretty much perfectly. My Mercy just kind of trolled. Uh, reason I don't use, um, why I don't use Setnades chat anymore is that, like, this game moves so fast, especially at this elo. Like, it doesn't really, doesn't really do anything. It's not really worth learning them and, and timing them and focusing your brain on a lot of that stuff. Mm, okay. Well, I have Nano, but we kind of already lost this fight, so I don't want to invest. Ooh, am I dead? I might be. No, I don't think I am. Oh, wait. I drop off. Okay, how would, like, mm, I'm not going to say anything. Just running away, running away. Ah. Oh, wow. I missed that. That was like a free pick I could have gotten. Oh, that's big. Yeah, that's a, that's a D.Va Nano to try to force off that guy. Should be trying to eat that, but she didn't. Try to save my sleep for when that echo inevitably high noons. I missed completely because I'm terrible, you know. The usual. Forces my Reaper to do that. Um, yeah, that right there, again, it's it's sleep. You're saving sleep sometimes for, for ultimate abilities, for, for big... For big important things that are going on in the fight that you really need to shut down. Like their win condition, that, that's what you're kind of trying to shut down with the sleep dart. Or if someone takes you by surprise and tries to like run on you. You can use it for a lot of different things. But the initial thing I'm always thinking, if it doesn't get forced out by another means, it's to stop their most important win condition and find a pick off of it. I'm trying to force out that Suzu early if I can. If we did. Damaging this mercy. Oh, I can definitely. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, I got it. My, or my diva got it, I guess. I should, probably shouldn't have dropped there, but okay, never mind. I should have because my diva's like, I'm going in. Sweep the doomfist so my Cassidy doesn't get completely destroyed. Because if they do that, they just win. I have Nano again. I could Nano my Reaper because they're trying to just walk. Oh yeah, they're walking on him. Kill this guy. Oh no. That's so tragic. I wanted to show off that you could switch it, but he didn't. Oh, that's tragic. I won't give in. Yeah. I wanted to know him because he was activated. I thought he was going to be able to take advantage of them pushing too hard. But okay. I don't know exactly what they have here. I might just save my sleep dart to try to sleep their Torb when the May alts, because that's like their main source of damage aside from their May. Or just use it here after he drops on me. So I don't die immediately. How does the Molten Core on me? That is like a crazy lineup that he definitely did not mean to hit. I've been playing so much Siege, I was about to shoot the fuck the, the, the cam. I was about to shoot the cam. That is... <laughs> I've been playing so much Siege, I'm like, wait, that's a cam. What the heck? That's unreal. Okay, well, that's their tour ball. They have... Okay, they have Roadhog now. All of my util is going into him and just shutting him down. Every single piece of it. Because he, he will not be able to play the game anymore. Uh, he has chosen... Is chosen war. Whenever you see hog, you are the hard hog counter. Hogs do not like Anna's. Well, um, they don't have wall anymore, but I don't really know what's going on up here. I'm just backing off. It's an aid on him, so he can't. Oh. oh, never mind. We just we just die here. Dude, it took them so long to kill me. 
All right, next fight, we'll just nano the D.Va into something after... Maybe maybe we'll nano the D.Va after he, he hogs hook or someone. Or maybe if I he hog hooks my, like, my Cass, I can nano him. I can also nano my Reaper off this. It, uh, this is the Uno reverse nano I've talked about in my guide in the past. So if you haven't watched that, make sure you do. Well, this is awkward. He's activated. That's an Uno Reverse Nano right there. He hooked my Reaper. Reaper goes in and starts killing people. Uh, I wish it was a lot more than just the hog to get res, but here we are. She's one! One chat! One! Two. She was two, actually. My bad, guys. Oh, well, they won still. We did, we did lose a game because I suck, but... Ugh. Ah. 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 Oh, I hate this map. I hate this map. You guys want to know why I hate this map? It's Sniper Central. That makes it very hard to carry as Ana because Ana has to play very reserved. She has to play very tight. Blobfish, I love, I love that you're you're posting misinformation, but uh, I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> so on on this map, we we realistically want to hold closer. We want to hold this the closer corner, not not top. We we want to hold right here. Right on this corner, because if we don't do that, and we play all the way in the back, they're probably gonna go widow, and we just lose. Yeah, shocker. I'm sorry. I, I I'll do it next stream, I guess, on a different account. But uh... right here, the only thing that in this position we gotta carry that angle, and we gotta carry this angle, because that's where they're gonna be coming from, or or they'll come up above. But surely in this rank they don't do that, right? Right here, just playing to get nano in, in a game like this. Look for like aggressive sleep darts because they probably won't have anything that's going to run on me. It's like Tracer and Genji on this map. Get out of here. That's not happening. Okay, we, we can't be pussies though. Gotta be aggressive. I found an opportunity. I took it because I saw that she was two shottable because of how low she was. I don't know how else to really explain that one. I really want my team to be more aggressive than this. Like, we don't want to give them this much space. Like, Reinhardt, start swinging on him, please! Goodness me. Also, my Mercy's going to be doing a lot of the DPS uh, healing, so I don't really need to worry about my... DPS as much as I need to worry about my Ryan just getting nano. And I'm just going to nano my Ryan into this Sig. Hopefully, he's playing so scared right now. Honestly, like, I don't even want to peek off the Ryan shield because I, I don't trust that he's going to keep it up. Get in there. Get in there, buddy. Please, your maze in front of you. Okay, don't do what I just did there. Don't ever hard speak a Han hard peek a Hanzo unless you have um, a shield. Which I, I didn't really have a shield there. I, I had it available, I guess, but it wasn't like shielding me. So I'm just never peeking Hanzo. I'm not even going to give him the opportunity to try and kill me there. Junkrat's probably going to use this angle over here, so I might save nade for it. I didn't save sleep. I kind of trolled. Wait. What? Yo! Yo, this angle's unreal! This is new. This is new. This might be like... A strat. This right here is going to help me get Nano. Maybe get Nade if this Diva goes a little harder. Because now they're going to be playing a little farther up. 
But my team needs to play like engaged here to force them out. This is a really good nade spot though. Holy. I don't even think they're going to look up here for me. I think I can just live. Oh, no, I can't. All right, so I wanted to try something there. Oh, that's not good. I need to save sleep for the Steva when she walks, inevitably. Oh, I tried to nano him, but I just wasn't fast enough. I'm old. Get back off, back off. Just give, give, give. Play for second fight. Ryan can touch, I think. Can you speed him back? Oh, you might just have to look for a touch, Lucio. I got it. Oh, no. oh, Ryan's got it. Live the bomb. Hansa doesn't have an angle on me, so now I'm going to hard scope. Now he has an angle, so I'm not... Oh, never mind. I could kill him if I was better. It's a big slam, holy. Notice how that fight, my positioning was dictated on the Hanzo and what he was able to see. That entire time, I'm like, oh, he's, he's just going to keep peeking me. I'm going to keep going this way, keep this way. But, um. See how I'm not doing a lot of damage here? It's not just damage, damage, damage. It's. A map like this is just not dying, looking for nade opportunities, getting nano as fast as possible. When I have a, a composition I'm against or a map that I'm on, like Watchpoint or Midtown, I'm able to take more aggressive peaks. In this kind of map, I don't get that opportunity. I have to play slow and bored. It, you can't really carry super hard in maps like this, but that's just how you have to play it. But again, same thing. If they have snipers, this map's going to suck because it's super long sight lines. If they don't, I can be more aggressive if I choose to. I have a Moira, so I can be. I also have a Junker Queen, too, that doesn't need a lot of healing. Therefore, I need to be more aggressive with my utility. The Nana's usually just going to go to her anyway, so here we are. Cheerio, let's go. Um, they have an Ash, so I don't want to take that angle. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play car, I guess, because to be honest, I don't really, I don't really input a lot into this fight. I don't see a Hanzo. I only hear an Ash. Yeah, because the Hanzo's dead. No duh. Now I can take an angle on Nade because the Hanzo's dead. Anti Nade that mercy. Maybe she dies. I did get a shot on her. I want to play farther away, but I also want to play closer because it'll give me opportunities. But okay, just let that sim. Oh, that was so lucky. We missed it, so we lose the fight. Sleep off of his uh, charge if you have the opportunity to, but you don't need to save it for that, I don't think. Typically, you'll have it for that opportunity just because in Rhine comps, they don't usually run like Genjis and Tracers to like force people off of you with sleep. So usually you do get the opportunity to sleep with the charge, but I wouldn't say that I, I think that I'm saving it for that. I'm looking to be more aggressive when there's nothing that I need to protect myself. Uh, I guess with sleep dart is something that I should say. Damn, I'm burning. I'm probably just going to nano my queen whenever she ults. I healed there because I don't think damage is needed to get the kill, and I really want my Moria to live. I'm sleeping, Bob. Don't wake him. Hitting myself so I can live if she chooses to peek me again. Uh, okay. I want to mirror this Reinhardt. I got, we just don't have a shield. We're getting forced. I think he's switching. Nice. 
So now we have a shield. It's a lot easier. I can play really close with my Ryan, and we can just win the brawl because they have a mercy uh, break. All we have. Oh. Ryan's anti can die. Ryan's still low. We can still win this. Yeah, we're even. Break anti, we can walk. On as far, or Ash far rather. Can die. Dead. Nice. Alright, they have Cass. Be aware. Honestly, three card, I think we get this. Their tracer's gonna touch. Nice, cheese. All right, well, we have a Junker Queen. You don't really get to heal a lot. It's, again, more utility based, but we do have a, a, a Cassidy and a Genji. Um, so, th this could be slower too. It, I'm going to have to feel it out though. I really want to take top. We want to take top. We want to make sure we're up on the height. As fast as possible. Honestly, using Nate's to just support whatever my J Queen's on, but I, I need to see what they have first. They have a Doom Fist. Okay, yeah, I'm playing close to my J Queen and trying to not. Okay, well, he he just went too fast. Really, we're trying to bait them to come in. Force that tracer out. She's a sec effectively dead. Not gonna be able to do anything. Oh, I missed shots there. Honestly, we are gonna have to just not do anything here. They just got out first because they had a TP. You can just go main. We don't need to stick top. They got here first. Don't know why she would come out that far for me. I would just go point and we get to win. Just rush point, rush point. And now we just get to win because we get high. Usually control is like whoever wins first gets to hold it for 99 and then we get alts and then we go and then they have to build alts and then they go, you know, that's typically how the control points should work at the highest level. Uh, so I wasn't too pressed that we were losing. Just play closer so he doesn't have as easy of a punch on me. dropping because I thought she was going to get walked on and that she was the focus, which I guess she was. I don't know. This this game is still it's still kind of just utility based just because Junker Queen functions that way. She doesn't need a lot of healing but in, the problem is it's also kind of hard to get a lot of damage done too. I need to land on her so she lives. Now that is a bit much. One of the nano hurts if she lives, because if she dies, we lose our hold like then and there, just immediately. Why are we still so far? Oh god, we're still far. And my nade got whiffed. That's not good, because a nade here would be so big. My team needs me to get the nade. It kind of like opens their window of opportunity a little bit when I do that. Ooh. I guess I could have accounted for that, but I, I did force him out to do that earlier because I needed. Looking for the tire here. I think it's... Nope, never mind. He already used it. I don't want to use the nade on myself. I don't think I have to. Just getting as much all charge as I can there. So see, exactly what I said earlier control in this map mo mode in general is just okay they used all five of their ultimates they literally did it, it, other than like cast high noon now it's our turn to get all of our ultimates and then go in with you know what i'm saying going with all of our ultimates it, that's essentially what this is at a, at a big picture macro level so not getting heated over losing one of these fights is the key this tilt is a big problem that's a good start my j queen live 
hear the Kiri. She's on my cast. I anti her. Yep, she was. I didn't even see that there. I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was just like a rock or something. Common on Kana. Common on mistakes are step one: not using nade aggressively. Step two: using nade aggressively, but not thinking about how you're using nade aggressively. That's the second step that a lot of people don't make. And what I mean by that is when when they use nade aggressively, their team cannot follow up upon it. And the biggest mistake you have to avoid, especially against Kirikos, is if you throw the nade, you get an anti, whatever, but they still don't Suzu it. If they still don't Suzu it because it wasn't aggressive enough of a nade, if you couldn't follow up upon it, you essentially just lose the fight because now they just walk in and they, they win. That's essentially what happens. And those are the two big honor mistakes. I'm going to be honest. Everything else, like, you can get better at. The, the more you play, you'll... There's nothing, you, I guess, you necessarily need to focus on. There, I mean, there are things you should focus on. But if I were to say the most common honor mistake that everyone is struggling with, it's it's those two things. It's all to do with the nade. Oh, I got stuck on the door. I, I should have died there. I hate this because I can't really force her out. I could walk left, but my queen's going to die if I do that. I'm going to reload. So, dude, I hate this position. Sleep him. And now I can play here for free. Oh, well, see, their ca the, the Cassidy went left on an off angle, which is good. The thing is, like, I have a Brig. I don't have a Moira. I'm kind of stuck with playing with that J queen there. Unless I calm for someone to go left. Because I don't want her to just die. She's kind of like the only reason we were holding for a little bit. Sleep him because that's like the number one cooldown he has. Once he's out of fists, he just kind of loses. He can't play aggressive off of it or else he'll die. Your job is to kill Pharahs. Or not kill Pharahs. To force them out is what I should say. Oh, I just die here. I don't have nade. Wait, they're not touching point. Awesome. <sighs> that right there is just like J-Queen doesn't have really anything to help her push aggressively. I'm not one of those things, so she, she kind of has to play slower, but they're playing the better tank for that. If I could play anything right now, I would just play Kiriko. I missed. Oh, I might nano this Tracer here if she gets an angle. I found an opportunity to kill. Oh, well, she just got walked on. I don't know why this guy is just walking and dying. We should get point for free here. So right here, just going to look to keep pokey pokey. Even with Kiri TP bug? Absolutely, I'd still be playing Kiri. Okay. Moira doesn't have fade. That's good. Genji probably has an, a blade soon. He he hasn't been Genji too long, but he should be soon. So I'm probably going to keep my sleep dart for it, or at least try to sleep him before he gets the blade. Probably what I'm looking at here. I don't know why my queen's playing that far out. We don't have the comp to help her do that. Still saving. Yeah, she, he definitely has played by now, surely, right? That's equally as important. And we woke it up immediately. Well, that's just kind of my team's fault. Ah, queen. What happened there? Well, next fight, the blade is coming. 100%. Now I can nano anyone, really.
Oh, he never used blades, so. Please just get the point. Alright, cool. But yeah, this map is not the best. Just because it's kind of like Circuit. You're, you're playing very based off of opportunities that don't come up a lot. You can't peek a lot. You can't pressure a lot. You're just kind of existing, trying to build nano as fast as possible, which is hard to do because you can't do a lot of damage. But it's all going to come down to being aggressive with nades. That's always what it comes down to. And also, the nade nerf doesn't matter, to be honest. It, it really doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't change anything with how you're using nade. You should just use it aggressively anyways. Uh, I usually just take this angle right here as support. Play with my tank instead of just starting up there just because 90% of the time they're going to run a Widowmaker. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to try to peek unless I know for a fact that there isn't anything that's going to force me out up there. Like a Genji, a Widow, a Hanzo. I mean a Genji I guess would be fine. Like like that like that. Come on. You you should you should expect that. Now that my Moira is dead, I need to focus on a more healing centric playstyle instead of being ugh, dude, what is he doing? To focus on more healing just because she's dead right now and my team's going to need that to live. Well, duh. <laughs> you know? Antier because her defense matrix was up for four seconds. Widow's top. Got to start rotating away from her line of sight. Only quick scoped there instead of hard scoping because I'm going to die if I hard scope. Not even gonna, I'm not even going to take the duel. It's not worth it. Yeah, I saw that the Widow was going to peek me there, so I tried to make it harder for her to hit me. Yeah, okay. So we don't have a Widow. It's going to be very hard because she just controls the map then. Our Genji needs to be on that. Our Genji needs to be on that the entire game. And he, he really should call when he's doing that so I can try to support him when he does dive. So right now he's not doing that, but you're not going to get that. Widow's billboard. Oh. Okay, but anyways, I mean, this this comp's going to be better on second point anyways. I'm going to try to maybe quick scope her off of her angle. Missed it. I'm not playing in her LOS, so I can play to hard scope a little bit. I hear her moving this way, so I know that I have to play on this side of the, the pillar. I hear her top left, that's why. Again, th this this map, these types of maps are all based around how this Widow wants to play it, and you just have to you have to mirror it almost. Here I have a lot of opportunities to look for a nano. It comes down to really what opens up itself to us. It's probably just going to be the nano blade. She has sights, so I really can't peek anything. I'm kind of stuck now. She's still has sight. She's top right. Wow, I missed that. Wow, that, that diva's crazy. She deserves a Grammy for that performance. Or an Oscar, or a Tony. I don't know what it's called. That was crazy how she just played off of me. So usually when I'm against a diva, this is a higher level tip. I try to look at the ground and bait out her DM before she nades. Or, or, or before I nade. So that she doesn't eat it. So I looked at the ground. I heard that she started using micro missiles. I thought she started shooting me. She actually set her DM up. So that was that was a really strong play from her. I needed the Ramatra to keep him alive. Because he's uh, he was really important to live there. He was crit. They were investing a gate into him. So I really wanted to make sure he lived there as well. That's why I did that. Instead of using it on my Genji. Because we would have lost that fight otherwise. I don't care that I don't have it for my Genji now because Nano is about winning a fight. It doesn't matter how flashy it is. I can still support my Genji by doing an anti-nade and he can still get some kills off of it. He has to play smarter, albeit, but, you know, I can still help him. If I wasn't talking your ear off, I probably would have also heard the echo flanking, but that's what you get with Anana unranked GM. I got to talk a lot and, you know, teach instead of just being like, gotta win this diamond game. 
I think it makes it balanced in a sense because I'm not really focused super hard on the game. I'm trying to teach you guys. So um, they don't have an echo copy. They don't have a bomb. They don't have a sights. They might have nano. It's like the one thing I want to be aware of. Try to invest in A to keep him up. Well, he got anti. He dies. He dies. Oh, they have bomb. They have. They do have sights. They do have bomb. They actually got it faster than I thought they were going to. That's embarrassing. Our Genji should probably just swap off. Not gonna lie. Even though he's like a meta pick on this map, if you're not good at snipers. Wow, he actually lived. Never mind. I stand corrected. They nanoed Widow. That's crazy. I think no, Widow's bottom. I don't really know what's happening. Oh, oh that's that's a pick. That's huge. I want to use nade too. That kind of stuff's how you carry fights. You just uh, that close to a widow, you can take the engagement because it's very hard for her to hit you if you unscope. Like you have the advantage there because you do more damage close range. You have sleep dart. You have more to do. Long range, me going like this. If she's right there, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, but now we can look for Nano onto the Genji if he can build it. I'm playing here just because now they have an Orisa, and I don't think she's going to be able to walk at me from here as easy. Obviously, if they walk left and they really want me, they can try, but I'll just run away from it. Echo's over there. I kind of want to force her out. Now that the Widow's dead, the fight opens up to me. I can look to be more aggressive. Sleep the Ram, walk away from him. Oh, that's interesting. If you sleep a, a duplicated tank, they don't sleep for as long. Interesting. Didn't know that. Impressive. It says diamond five. <laughs> Dude, like, like that right there. Don't do that. You are throwing games by doing that. Okay, we can look for a nano blade though. Oh, what was that? What? Oh, I missed. I missed again. Yeah, so right there, we, sh we saw full circle. So here's the thing, right? It might seem minor, but on these maps, not peeking a Widow... You open the fight up to you naturally, especially in lower elos. Look at what the Baptiste did. He's like, oh, I can 1v1 this Widow. He dies immediately. That stuff loses you games on this map. I've seen countless VOD reviews of people sending me this stuff. Why am I losing, bro? Why am I losing on Circuit? Why am I losing on Ana? Step one, the map's different. It sucks. You can't carry. Okay, suck it up if you're going to play Ana. Number two, don't peek the Widows. That's how you actively set yourself back. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. If you if you take anything, don't do that. Because that stuff that stuff pisses me off. I'm gonna be honest. That stuff that stuff rubs me the wrong way. That stuff wets my willy. That stuff that stuff butters my my biscuit. Not in a good way though. Oh, like too much butter. Don't do that. Don't do that, please. Please. Fueled. It's been so long. I hope you're doing well. I hope your family's doing well as well. What is dog doing? Like, just stop peeking. This is the only way I'm ever going to get an aggressive nade on this map. Because if I go this way and I force them to look at me first, then once they look at me, I have to run away. But this this is like an angle that I can actually get some value because they almost always play this corner. It's a double anti. They still aren't forcing me out, so they're making big mistakes by doing that. The Widow is dead, so the fight naturally opens up to me more. And I walk in and kill everyone. It's a lot easier at higher ranks because you it's it's a lot more consistent at higher ranks, I should say. It's a lot more consistent. You can trust that your team is probably gonna go through the basic motions and and it sets things up for you. Push up a little bit, make it gap. Okay. Symmetra. And lower elos, the reason why we lose an icon wallet is that you have to you really have to just react to what's going on. Yeah, okay. 
They have a sim now. That's why I'm playing this angle instead of sitting on cart. Oh, you're anti. You're dead. My bap's going to have a hard time hitting this just because he's not level with him. So I'm going to switch my focus to heal. Oh, man. My bap. He's struggling. I'm just going to build nano here. Maybe get that. Wait. I got the mercy. That's big exit frag. Now we can actually just take this next fight immediately because we have a Moira now instead of a Bap. Wow. Okay, now we can look for a, a, a Nano on the Ramatra when he gets his Suffer. This is ultimate. Dude, my, my, my Moira is terrible. It's okay. We're just going to carry this. That's making that fight even. They have no turret or teleporter now. They're on us, sleeping. Can we just walk point? Like, we, they don't have a tank. Run away from that. We are on the other side. I want to keep my Moria alive. Right now, I'm realistically... Oh, come on. Ah, dude. How do you get slept on Moira? That's annoying. Yo, heal your Pharah, please. Okay. We're playing against our we're playing against our team right now. We did set it up though. They don't have grab because the Zarya is dead. I did almost carry that. Okay. Here comes grab. Run away from that. Don't get caught in that. Nice. She shouldn't have used it there, but she did. So now I'm just going to try to take aggressive positions. I heard the turrets here. They're on uh, ram now. The reason why I tried to keep my uh, Moira, by the way. Oh, I'm dead here, aren't I? No, 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 no. Not. The reason why I wanted the nano on my Moira earlier is because my Ram was anti. He was going to die anyways. My Moira could keep me healed to carry throughout that fight. I have an orb on me, so I can actually peek pretty... I could have peeked aggressively until it ran away. I knew they were going to TP on me, so I kept my sleep. She was staging to do that. That is a play if I've ever seen one. Anti the high ground. Ugh, dude, I hate playing against Sim got to be my least favorite person to play against playing on the same side of the wall as my team the anti there though forces them off of my team which is why i went for it dude oh, i missed well that's what you do this fight at least Use like half their roster results though, so I'm not even mad. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do here because their soldier's still top. Like, I want to force them out, but I kind of can't because they're forcing me out. They're, they're starting to locate. Yeah, can we just walk left and take the height? Ram? No. Sim's behind us. Kill the Sim. All right, nice. Just walk point now. And live. They're loading. May go ahead. Walk. They're down their tank and their sim. Just walk. Please, please, please. Go, go. Soldier's top behind. Kill this mercy. Kill this mercy. Mercy's one. Keep me alive, more. Soldier's one. Kill the turrets behind you. 
Stick three cart. Play for supper on point. We'll win. Just keep your ram alive, Moira. Use ram out whenever. I'm almost back. Let's go. Monkey anti. Come monkey, 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 monkey. Sim, sim next. Sim, sim. GG's. That one right there, it would be a lot easier if you just take the high ground and force them off of it first and not just keep walking to the low ground. But I'm trying to play this like they would play this. So it's not like me completely smurfing, but when it gets to the point where I need to win the game, I need to win the game. All right, this map we played four times, I believe, in the last unranked to GM. This time, what are we going to do? We're going to look for off angles on the high ground with big nades because we have a Junker Queen. We also have a Kiriko who should be able to keep most of my team alive in this composition. Real trap shit. Uh, Punk with the follow, I appreciate you. Um, so for the most part, I, I think... I think we'll be good. I mean, we do have a double hit scan, so maybe I will have more opportunities to uh, have more time to look for nades, more time to look for this and that. In terms of nanos, I'm probably going to be looking to nano the soldier on this map, but it depends whether or not they have a shield or if they're in the line of sight of my soldier when he wants to look for visor. If not, the, the nano onto the Junker Queen is completely uh, fine. That is completely viable. Uh, let me get this nade off real quick, though. Uh, I think I mixed it. I wasn't fast enough. Favorite DPS hero? Hmm. Probably, I don't know. Ash. Ash is the most like Ana. Easiest to transfer. What do they got? Okay, they have a J Queen. I gotta help my soldier by forcing her out a bit. Wow, they actually whip shot me off. That was really smart of them. Too bad my J Queen's just running through them. That is 110% on my Kiriko for not being there with my cast. That one was just me sleeping. Oh, fuck. They have a Widow now. Oh, I might die. God damn it. I didn't check. Oh, that's so annoying. I played to help my Kiri and I got caught out. We're still winning this. I mean, we should still win this. We have we have Junker Queen Kiri up. Realistically, my Kiriko should be doing all the healing on J Queen, but it's kind of flip flopped to the point where sometimes we're just healing for the sake of doing it. Right now, I just need to make sure my Cassidy doesn't die while my team comes back. I slept him off of the window, which is good. But now I need to get out before he wakes up and shoots me again. Get out of there. Give ticks. Give ticks. I think we're winning this fight. So, I know I haven't said it, but their Baptiste is a smurf. 100%. He's playing so much better than the rest of his team. My main goal is to make his life hell. My main goal is to make sure that he does not just roll my team completely every single fight with aggressive windows because that's what he was looking for. I'm going to be saving my sleep for him. I'm going to be saving my nade for really his team, actually, so he can't heal them. That is 100% the idea here. Now that my J Queen's creating space forward, I'm going to start walking forward. I'm not just going to stay and do nothing. But again, public enemy is Baptiste. Now, the thing is, they do have Visor here. It's going to... I want to save my sleep still for the Baptiste. But if the Visor is in a good spot where he's going to get a lot of value... I'm going to have to make sure I use my sleep on that because that's arguably more important. I mean, a, a person that can't miss any shots, like, come on now. That's that's a little important. Let's 
A Jigman wants to get aggressive here. I wonder if I should look for Nade. That's huge. That's all of them. Yeah, there's, we can just run away from that visor. And now we just have to int for it. Unlucky. I didn't like how deep we were playing there. I mean, especially when they have... I mean, we have J-Queen, so we, we have to kind of play faster. But they have an Arise, so they can receive it a lot easier. So I don't know. But thank you for the follow, Crystal. I appreciate that. Oh, we just got booped off. Now we just need, we just need to take height. We need to chill on height. We used Visor before I could build a Nano, but we also died a little fast. So they don't have Visor anymore. They do have the High Noon, so I'm definitely going to play to sleep that. They don't have anything to pressure me off this height. So I'm just going to chill here. Okay. My guy, what are you doing? How is he not dead? So again, it's the same idea kind of here with with the Zenyatta, except Zenyatta, it's like kind of easier to carry on this position. Playing up here to create an opportunity with your team with the anti because what are they going to do? They're going to jump on me with Baptiste. That's about it. It's so powerful to do this. I tried to anti the Bap there and also get the, the, the Risa at the same time. It ended up getting no value, but I tried. But again, oh, they have Widow now, so actually they, they can force me off of this position, but we'll, we'll see how they go about doing it. Right there, I just played the angle that I thought she was going to come from. They used the gold already, so I'm going to anti her so when she's out of it, she can get forced. Bam, there you go. Winning out the gold. That's what you got to do. And immediately she switches. She's like, I'm not even going to go for that. I'm going to go for Reaper. The moment he goes and teleports up here, I go for the sleep. I rotate back here and over there. That's what I'm going to go for. The moment this guy's going to TP on me, because that's what he's going for. It's very obvious. I don't need to go for a big nade just because my, uh, my Junker Queen is going for it. Wait, no, he's not going there. Why would he go there instead? That was questionable. I, I want to almost save mine. Okay, never mind. I'm using my nade aggressively. Like right there would be good if I hit, but I hit the shield. Unlucky. This is a little angle that I like. This is a good nade on the Reaper. Forces him to not be as aggressive on my team. Or if he is aggressive, he'll just die like that. Get my nano. I need to keep him alive. The visor really doesn't need that nano because, I mean, <laughs> really? I thought I was. I was kind of a troll. We should win this, though. My team's pretty decent. Nice. So, um. Yeah, that stuff's pretty rudimentary. It's a, a lot of it's like I'm thinking before the fight happens. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes my shots, I feel, are a little hard to hit for someone that hasn't played thousands of hours of Ana. Um, but there are ways you can set yourself up and think about what's coming to you. Like what, what, where the fight is going, how it's going to approach you. There's ways to think through that that make it a lot easier to react to what they're doing. I don't want to. I don't want to clutter the unranked GM too much. We have double, double like sniper pretty much. We're gonna be playing like very dull damage, like we said earlier. This is very like elongated fights. But we do have a fair that we can shoot into, and that's gonna be our job. Is just pressuring her off of angles. It's really our whole team's job. Um, I don't need to kill her. I just need to make it so that she doesn't. Oh, I mean, I could kill her if she plays dumb, but better players aren't gonna let me just walk all over them. I'm just gonna force them out is the big thing. Oh my Kiriko deals with J Queen is what should happen. What's their other DPS? Oh a sim? Yeah, I can definitely just look at that fair all game and get alt charge for free. See, forcing off angle. That's all I gotta do. At the start of every fight, I know she's gonna be up there. 
Look how long she's she's out of the fight though. Only now is she back in the fight because she has her ability again. You force her out, it, it does a lot more than you guys realize. Okay, that's such a huge projectile. It's kind of crazy. I do have a Zen now though, so life's a little more difficult. Oh, that's unlucky. My J Queen's a little psycho for pushing this right now, but here we are. She definitely has barrage, and it's coming for me. I didn't have sleep for it. Oh, that's a big pick. That's a huge sleep dart. That clears. Three point. Right there, I was looking for a sleep to prevent push, but I couldn't hear where the Ramatra was coming from. That's why I, I was quiet. I was just listening. Right here, I don't want to play cart. I'll send someone else to play it. Because Azana, what do I need? I need high ground. We've kind of learned that throughout the entire thing. You need a stage to take this height as early as possible so you have more options throughout the fight and you're not looking up. Obviously, you don't need to stay there the whole time uh, based on the situation, but you, you you always like to start there. I don't have a Mercy anymore for that pair. I can, like, actually force her out so easy. Oh, I have a Lucio now, though, so... Help this guy on the flank. And that's a GG's. Oh, is support the easiest role? What's the hardest, easiest role? It doesn't matter because at the highest level, every role is really hard. But when we look at this round, let's 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 switch it. Um, we got a Reinhardt that's going to be good to Nano against in the neutral fight. If my Genji doesn't have Blade, if my Genji has Blade and the situation uh, sets up for it, it's going to be good. I'm really just playing to force out this Tracer off the start. If it's first fight, it's going to take forever on this map. It should. If we're in a high level lobby, it's going to take a while. This fight. My Ryan got completely destroyed somehow when there's three people on our back line. So I don't know what happened there. Don't let them push any further. Oh, I missed. You might die for that. Hit him with an anti. He can't walk anymore. This map is going to be hard. We have a life weavers and they're, they're running dives. So uh, our life's going to be pretty difficult. Got the tracer. You can do that very easily on uh, Ana, by the way. He's not looking at me, so I'm just going to go for it. Okay, we really need to just drop on point. The reason I quick scope there is because uh, I'm only going to get to take one shot. Oh, no, no, no. Go, 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 go in, go in. I have nano. Please go in. Oh, God, dude. Higher level Reinhardt's go in there, and that's really annoying because I expected him to go in. Ah, uh, dude, he's so scared. Ah, uh, dude, that's tragic. Our team is really lackluster, and on a game mode like push, that really hurts the most. People are staggering. It's not a good look right now. Oh, that's a good pick. I mean, can we... I don't think we can do anything off of it. Oh, fuck. Make it hard for him to hit me. Playing very tight angles, so he kind of loses track of me. Sleeping him so that he doesn't combo my Life Weaver. Okay, this game's winnable. My Genji hasn't gotten a blade in two and a half minutes, though, which is a little, uh, a little annoying. Let's get snake skin. Uh, really, this is gonna come down to me living and also like, kind of just doing everything, like damage on this tracer to force her out, healing the, the entirety of my team because I have a life weaver and I don't do anything. Um, or he doesn't do anything. 
But I can't I can't spend too much time doing one thing. I, I really just gotta micromanage everything. The fact that he dies there is just uh unreal. I hear her. Realistically though, I have a Torb now, so I can just play around turret. And I should be fine from the tracer. Oh, he moved turret. That's kind of kill me. I'm going to rotate under now because it's safer. That's a good life. Protects life. I'm stuck on the tree. I'm going to walk here. She probably has pulse, so I want to make sure I'm not staying stacked too hard with my team. Uh, I do want to stay relatively stacked, though, because like they're on Winston, and I need help from my team to live. Mm, that's not good. I wasted sleep there. That's forced her out. She can't really walk on me anymore. Where's my life weaver? Oh, there he is. That was a good grip. I need my Torb to live because he's an all. He's what's going to be killing this monkey for me, so. Why I nano him, even though my Doomfist would be a really good nano in most fights, that Torb right there was like he was in the perfect spot, he was activated. And if you think of nano boost like a multiplier, two times zero is still zero. She has pulse, she's anti, she, she should die there, right? Okay, nice. He probably has Primal, so I'm probably going to save my sleep for that, even though they do have High Noon. If it, whatever comes first, really. They're probably going to go together, though. And now we just don't peek it. It's that simple. Just don't peek this. Although it ain't looking good for us, that's for sure. Oh, it's a huge sleep dart. Get inside. Oh, get to the health pack. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. They used Window, High Noon, Pulse, and Primal. That's looking so good for us to take this next fight. We're good. What's up, Joyrides? How you doing? Alright, but we got Nano. I could wait for Blade. It would be pretty strong if I did wait for that, but I don't necessarily have to. They're on Junk right now. No more Tracer. They probably have Coalescence. Like, that's the one thing they have. So... I would have loved if my team would have touched that sooner. I kind of need to keep him alive. Dude, that's just... I hate that. I hate that's a thing in this game. Tried to kill the bap there, but at least I forced out his cooldowns. He's jumping like a maniac. I don't know why he's doing that. If, a, if you ever see a Baptiste jumping like that, free his kill of your life. Just go, look for damage in that situation 100% of the time. It's so easy to hit, and you force out cooldowns as an Ana without using really any utility. It's, it's very nice. He got a little trigger happy there. I'm just going to look to build Nano as fast as possible here and stop the cart push. Because that fight's, that fight's dead. We already lost it. Um, now I'm going to just build Nano again. I can use it on my... Uh, I can use it onto my Doomfist here. Uh, hopefully my team doesn't push up too far. He backs up. Nice. I have Nano for his next jump in. Oh, I might have to use it on my Torb, though. Uh, well, he wasn't LOS'd. I don't have an a or sleep dart. I don't know why I did that. 
I mean, we're still going to win the fight because I was aggressive, but probably shouldn't have looked for that nade. So I used Nano there to help my Doomfist be aggressive on the Moira, which allowed him to cancel the Coalescence, which was nice. Uh, hopefully we get the, to that halfway point. A lot of this next fight, I don't even know. Like, I kind of just have to save my Sleep Dart because they definitely have the Primal on me. Um, but my team is just playing so aggressively that this fight is already dead. So I'm just... Oh, you forced window. Awesome. Okay, I'm totally fine with an exit frag if that's what happens because my life grip helps me out there. So utilizing my... Oh, can I force out Primal here? Nope. They're down their junk though, which is huge. Okay. I thought my life weaver had me. Definitely had life grip there. Okay, well, we forced Primal. That's huge. It's coming down to the last overtime push here. <clears throat> it's just about us getting alts for that last fight and not trolling. They don't have ammo. That's huge. Okay, I got to kill Tyre. That's how I carry this. I did it. Cool. Now we can push this fight without anyone dead, and we should be smooth sailing, considering their Winston is behind us. Their Moira is sleeping for off-the-map kill. That was their win condition. I shut it down. That was... I don't know. That's the thought process you have to have. You know that the junk tire is coming. You can two-shot it as Ana now. You can shot. You can shoot a nade it too if you need to for a faster kill. Sup their bap. That's going to be big for maybe a kill. Uh, if our Torb doesn't troll, he trolled. So is our Genji. He's almost on. Okay, I got to build Nano. I'm good. I'm good. Go for it. Go for it. Go Nano. Nano. Nano blade. Nano blade. Good shit! That is a W, baby! That was, that was perfect. That was, that was it. Oh, he almost died there. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. That game, there were so many things that I had to, like, teach you. That it's... I, I don't know if I that's a good one to watch. But that was a good game at the end. In terms of pulling it back on push. I think any other support player in Diamond, that one's probably an L. But... Here we are. We, we should be 10 and 0, but I kind of suck. So, here we are. What's up, B-Dog? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Happy... What is it? Tuesday? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Hope you're still enjoying Overwatch as much as I am. I actually do, and I do enjoy the unranked GMs. Playing on is fun, but okay. We have a Lucio, so I'm gonna be the one that's doing mainly the poke healing or the 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 sharp healing onto my J Queen. But she doesn't really need a lot of healing, so realistically, I'm still gonna be the way I carry this is still just through aggressive nades and forcing out that Zarya's bubble. They do have a Torb. Right now, I'm just kind of scoping out what they have before I just. Okay, they have a very spam-centric comp. That's so annoying. Okay. I suck. I trolled this fight. Oh, that comp is so annoying to play right now. It's so annoying to play into. Tracer's looking for a flank, I hear her. Okay, no, I think I might be uh, schizophrenic. Gonna try to get that Zen out in the back. Ah, I couldn't. Gonna walk forward here. Why did my thing just turn off? That's a big anti. Tracer behind me. I'm not even gonna look at her, though. I'm just gonna 80 strafe. Need to build nano. I need to hit shots right now, so that's why we're scoping. Oh, 
A J Queen is a moron for this push. literally nothing I can do here. That right there, like, I have to build Nana to maybe carry that fight off. I can't really do a lot of damage because they're taking so much poke for not breaking this turret. I'm doing a lot, but they just need to do a little bit more for me. Gracer's bottom left. I'm playing to build my Nana, then we can Nana Blade. Zen's bottom left, or bottom right, rather. Fister tag, she's out. Break the turret, quick. All right, nice. And that's their Trank, too, so Nana Blade's just free. Even though Nana Blade can kill through Trank. Maybe, never mind. I wanted to take high ground, but they're going to have it before we do. We're just going to take, we're going to retake the high ground with our Nano Blade. I think Hanzo should take cart. Or Genji should take cart. Tracer's coming up for you, Hanzo. Honestly, dude, I'm not even mad about that. That was pulse, that was pulse. Don't jump in 1v1s. Look for the crouch spams. Uh. I saw an opportunity for my J Queen to kill their tank and just completely win this fight right now. That's why I went for it. Yeah, we gotta just break this turret and we win the game like for free. Oh god. Let's take height though, come on. When I get an 8 again, I can look for it. I got to rotate back to my team. I really need to take height. Gotta one v one the tracer and win somehow. Damn. Oh, we have another nano before he used blade. We just need to take high ground. That's like as simple as it is. All right. When I get back, we're just gonna dash up nano blade high ground and keep it. But just wait for me, please. Tracer no pull. Oh, okay. Walk team. Tracer one. Dead. Mercy. Alright, take height. Stick one card. Stick one card. Everyone else take height. Oh my god. I'm 0 5. Card, card, card. If you take height, I can probably just help you with the high noon. Tracer is top right. Mercy's trolling. Nice shot. Chris is gonna flank top. Break the turret in the back. Turret's broken for you, Genji. Chris on cart. Tags. No re. She's so hard to hit. All right. Zarya has all. 
probably now. She didn't have it last fight, but after all the damage she's going to do in between fights here. Yeah, I got it. You guys go. Uh, I'm going to stay cart because uh, they're taking the fight up there, so I'm not going to get grabbed. Also, it's so long ranged that this is like I'm going to have an easier time getting back to fight. You can keep space. You can keep space. I got cart. But the li the sight lines are so long that I can I can play the fight from here no like no problem. Now that the fight's getting closer, I'm gonna start backing off. I have nano. Um, very close, very close. All right, now we nano play this one. Can we just live? Just live? I want to play for next fight, Nanoblade. Right. I sleep. Here, Pulse. Ready, Genji? Go with Genji. Walk with Genji. Kirin OTP. Backline. Our backline. Dude, I didn't know where this shit was. It's unlucky. Pick the fight cart. Okay, yeah, we gotta get off Genji. Actually, no, we do need to get off. I don't even know what we need to do. Our Cassidy needs to shoot turret, I think. Our Cassidy needs to shoot turret, and we need to get off J Queen into Azaria. Um, if my whole team pushes under, I'm pushing under with them. It, it really depends on what they have on first point. To be completely honest. Um, like, if they have a comp that is just going to hard spam us, like, it's difficult. It's really difficult to say where you should push. I know where you should hold. You should hold the high ground. You should look for nades every single time. If they push through high ground, they're just going to meet you there. I honestly think you never should push height. I think you should push main or push far left if it's not working. If you have a Ryan into a J-Queen, you could go Lucio and just boop the J-Queen's axe. If that never connects, you'll win the fight every single time. Um, but if you're not good at Lucio, just look for, look for value elsewhere, honestly. Again. Lucio very strong in this meta. Mercy. Same comp, same comp. We just got to break turret whenever we find it. Tracer going far left. Or far right, rather. Sorry. Torp Nancy. Torp can die. Oh, they suited. Nancy Torb. Chris are pushing me top. Mercy one, mercy one, mercy one. Mercy dive heals or no? I oh, thank you. Four Banty again. Tristan Ari. Yo, no, no, I got you. No, I got Nano. Go ahead. Dude, I, I, I've hit like every shot in her too. That's so BS. Like, that's why we say that support is the most busted role. Like, what am I supposed to do against that when she has that much regen? Play for EMP is still winnable. I'm almost back. Okay, I'm coming, coming. Mercy, 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 mercy. Okay, Zarya, 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 Zarya. Tracer chasing our mercy. Help our mercy. Nice shots. <laughs> he pulled 
Yeah, like I'm I'm doing a lot for us. I'm forcing out tracers. I'm 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 forcing out their utility onto me. I'm not necessarily killing things, but I'm doing a lot. Like I'm creating a lot of opportunities for us, but our team needs to take it. That's kind of how you do it. Like just if you create so many opportunities, even the worst teams are going to be able to take advantage of that. But again, I'm taking high ground here. I'm going to look for Nate, flank Nate. They probably have pulse, so I got to be aware of that. They probably have another fucking grab too. Sorry, down bubbles. He's one. Here's around me, any help? Oh, I re I fucking located in the grams! Mega's hacked, Mega's hacked. Yeah, I die here, but you guys get this already. You should win that. Oh. Dude, how? You have a mercy pocket. Damn. Like, there's three people on me. We killed their Zarya, and we still lose that. It's unlucky. I mean, Echo going hard. Wait a minute. Yo, go for the touch. Go for the touch, Sombra. Uh, okay, well, I'm probably dead here for it. You should have died for it. Zarya, hello? He's dead. Right? Surely. Oh, no, he's not. Woo! That forced me off hype, but... So the reason why I nanoed there is because I knew they were going to respond with ultimates. So I I wasted no time stopping them. Why are we still up there, oh, man? Tracer low, no raid. More up faded in. No fade. I don't really want to 1v1 a Moira when I don't have nade because she will win every single time. And, like, where's my mercy at? What is she doing? We just need to take height and keep it instead of holding down there. A lot of people tend to do that. It's like, I don't know why. That's cool. That's cool. She should die for that though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, help her mercy. We get res. Okay. No heals. Winnable. Dude, he didn't touch, man. That's so annoying. Oh, I guess I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't play that close to the J Queen, but I thought I had support. I didn't think she had knife either. I want to try to take the high ground because it shouldn't have anything to force me off of it. I kind of have to go for these aggressive plays. Tracer's always looking to come up here. So now that I use my sleep, I know she's going to try to push me out. So I just drop in advance. Behind you. She's one. I need to focus up this game. I got false down. I can copy the. Do I need to stop nanoing my Junker Queen? She's not getting anything done with it. She's losing 1v1s. I, uh, well, I guess Junker Queen versus Junker Queen, you're just going to outheal it. Oh, we didn't need that. Ooh, maybe we did. Just your tag. Uh, can we no Suzu? Or, or TP? No Suzu, no TP. J Queen Anti. More is low. More in a fade on your Ana in the back.
Torb's one. Torb's literally one. Stay on res. What the fuck? Tracer sleeping. We gonna have some fun. Really just gonna be uh, using our nano to give our Zarya ult faster. Damn, well she doesn't have any bubbles now. <laughs> okay, they got Zen Hanzo. We are going to have a very not fun time this game. Our goal is to really just find nades, but it's going to be hard to do that when they have Zarya that's just going to cleanse it every other fight. So the main idea is that we are going to force out... We're going to force out their bubbles as soon as possible. Can't really hard scope anything and get like good damage because the Hanzo is just chilling top the whole game. He's actually not chilling top, he's just out. We're just getting a run over. This is going to be a very... Uh, I think this is going to be kind of like a... Kind of like a... What's it called? A Havana circuit kind of game. Alright, well we forced out both bubbles. Now I heal my team, hopefully. They just, they just fall over. Just chilling. The Reaper's in my spawn. Cool. Yo, Sombra, can you swap? Let's play for MP at this point, dude. Oh, one of these days I'll end up in PG. Once we get past this first point, our life is so easy. I don't know. I feel like we're playing against like a stack. I mean, someone uh, dude. is just giving that Zarya a hundred charge. Look, they they have all. It's just build alts and we win this game. It's really not that deep, yo. Zarya has no bubbles. We can win this. All right, walk. Reaper behind. Sleeping. Just keep walking. Where's my Zarya? You just... Zen is in security. Flanking behind you guys. Behind you, Zarya. He's hacked. Good job. Alright, look, it's not GG, it's winnable. Take high ground early. We're going to have to keep our team's mental alive and play for comms. Hanzo got a sonar on me. Can I have help? Why are we just sitting there? We need to take high ground. Three, two. I'm convinced he's part of the other team. Convinced Azari is part of the other squad. He just got gapped. Azari doesn't want high ground. She just wants to walk me in. So if it's too dangerous for me to take it. Oh, well, I missed sleep. That's not good. But she doesn't have bubbles, so. Zen, Zen. Maybe call out the 
I didn't expect to get Hey, chill out, chill out. Play the game. Upper Zarya in front. Zarya, please, please, man. You're not playing perfectly. You should not be talking to other people right now. Because there's Zarya on cart. Zarya on cart half, no bubbles. Zarya dies cart. Zarya still. Zarya still dies. Let's walk. Care Bastion, he's sleeping. Don't. 3, 2, 1. Bastion. Kill whoever walks out here. Kill Tasana. She's anti. Now Zen, now Zen. Nice. <laughs> I gotta force out this Hanzo here. <laughs> wow. The Hanzo's one behind you guys. Nice. <clears throat> this. This game should um be you very winnable. You just. I just have to come. Nano blade versus nano you tank. Super situational, but we have been talking about it a lot. It's all about just winning the fight. Sometimes, like, you need the Nano Blade. Sometimes you need to just win this tempo fight with, a. Uh... Holy shit. He has alt top. That Something has alt top, I think. Zen's one, Anti. Over your cast, so... I'm building Nano. Just, can we just live? Just live, just live, just live. That's all we need. All right, sorry, your turn in three, two, one. Walk, 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 walk. I got Nano. Let's keep walking. I'm up here. Zarya anti. Kill the Zarya. Ashen, one in the back. One in the back. Kill the Hanzo next. I'm ping. Left side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, you guys win this. Zen left. Okay. Man, I'm sorry. I just trolled again. I thought I had bubbles. Oh, God. Goodness me. Still winnable, though. We have our coal. Play for Ko. Play for Ko. Still winnable. We ran three. We win this. Help her. Help her more. One on one. Oh, ho. Oh. That guy, that guy is not a diamond player. All right, we have grab. I have need. Yeah, we have to kill the Zen first. He's gonna get. I have need. Just force out bubbles first, and we'll be fine. That's one bubble. Well, I don't have need anymore. I killed him. He has trance. We don't have grab. It's very winnable. This one. Not sure on that. Looks about right. They're at five seconds. If they walk out of spawn, but maybe they won't walk out of spawn. I don't know. They didn't walk out of spawn fast enough. I probably should wait. I should probably wait till four. Widow Hanzo. Double snipe. So I'm not playing that high ground or the other one. I really the only thing I have to worry about is that angle there. Which immediately finds something. One widow in a second. Still winnable. Adoring point. Tagged twice. Very killable. She's dead. On in the back. Sorry now. Both anti. Yo. Hanzo's top. Echo on me, I need to live, I need to live, I can't help you. Echo anti one. A lot of this is looking for opportunities for aggression. 
and not like forcing yourself onto people. It's things we talked about at the start. But when they're running these double sniper comps, they're just going to one-shot you. You have to play very tight. And it's it's annoying, but it's just how it is, you know? I do have Nano. I'm probably going to end up Nanoing, like, maybe my Sombra or someone that's, like, actually doing something. Because our J Queen is not the best player in the world. Oh, please. Thank you. Oh, uh, the Hunza's half. He's one up top. Bait them to spawn on NR Torb. Or bait them to that point, I mean. Our Torb's gotta go in, though. Okay. So, not nanoing the Torb anymore. How does Cody play? I don't know what he plays. Yeah, my J Queen, I'm trying to figure out like what this team really needs because I, I don't know. We're, we're kind of getting run over in the tank department. And J Queen isn't the best into what they have, not going to lie, especially with what we have. Like, can't take height. My Kiri should be able to heal that stuff fine. I'm gonna EMP on point. You ready? Three, two, one. Why did we core? Happy to assist. I have to play up here to try to get like a flank nade mid fight, but I also don't really get, uh, I'm getting forced off. I was already sleeping height, but you're gonna have to drop. Like, there's no way you lose in that situation, though, as Torb, right? Like, you don't just shoot the Echo. I don't get that. Right there, he's activated. He should get value, but... We don't need to touch. Yeah, just care for us. Yeah, we're, we're, we're two down. <laughs> just chill, bro. And now we walk. Let's go. Sorry, on points. Kind of trolling. Sleeping. Don't wake, don't wake, don't wake. Leaving with Ana. Yo, I'm somehow still alive. Can we get cart? Can we touch cart? It's okay. We got EMP. You'll have to try harder than that. Gonna take height here because it's easier to get a nade off. They might have Hanzo here, so I gotta be aware. Oh, yeah, there's an echo here. Missed the sleep, which would have been nice to hit, but it's not the end of the world. He's that. I tried to hit the wall to kill her quick. He's above. Hanzo's above. Ah, oh, super winnable. One's on the left. So we have a Reaper now, which is going to be really nice for J Queen that she can actually like, do something.
We're on ball now. This is actually really good for us that we're on ball. Now we just hold this circle. We should be fine. Don't push too hard when we're down. High just play this around and take angles. Don't like force anything. They have a lever. Not free win though. They can just build alts. Beware. All right, four and four. Now the Reaper there because he's on a huge flank. They have him back. He's on a huge flank. I can help support him just to carry the game because he was closing his ult as well. Uh, that's what you have to do there. They bap. He's on Sombra. Just play angles. Force them in. Reaper's Don't above. go too far, too fast. Sombra right side. No hack. I'm pressuring Zarya right now. I'm in. Zarya down one bubble. Sorry, uh, no bubbles. Backline all anti. Baps anti one. He's gonna spin. Reaper has all. He's gonna do it. Careful. All right. All right, we gotta see what they have. Right. Oh shit. Uh. I have a Widow, so I'm not going to be able to play this angle super hard. I'm going to have to play over here and look for a nade when they walk up on my ram. What is top? What is top? I'm going to fall back. I'm going to fall back. So now I'm going to have to look for some like flank play here, I think. But my maze already going for that, so I don't really get to use that flank play. Maybe I do now. All right, we're getting picked. Fall back. He just kept his crosshair still. I'll hold it here, but I don't think I'm going to survive. Nah. All right, next fight. This is going to be a hard game because their widow's just kind of holding us hostage. Back up, Hanzo. You by yourself. We're outnumbered. Be careful. Might have to take a break today after a few more games. The cues today are a little rough. But alright, looking for an aid this fight. Maybe trying to build Nano quicker. Uh, considering the fact my Ramatra already has Suffer. Well, because we have a Zen, I kind of have to play with the team. But he's playing with the team. He should be the one. I got it already. What is, what is sleeping behind? Okay. That he might be what happened. The big trank. Too bad he took it away from me. Alright. One of these days I'll end up in PG. It's okay, third point we hold. We can nano the ram here this fight. He still hasn't used his alt. I don't know why we're pushing. Oh, wow, we actually got a kill. Nice. Just going to be playing for a nade. He doesn't have shatter anymore, so I can especially play aggressive off corners, but they have a widow, which makes my life annoying. So now I can look for nano on the reaper. Uh, if he goes for a flank. I don't know what widow angle she's going to go for here, uh, but... They got tire, I think. Yeah. Hanzo, ooh, you should not peek. Oh my god. Shit, I think I'm fucked it. My team's just kind of walking in and getting picked before I can really heal them through stuff. So, um, very difficult to get things done. That's for sure. I go out on my terms. Your honor's still dead, care. Where's their widow? Coming back spawn. Right, 
So I want to try to play right side so I don't just get like widowed on, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Again, don't hard speak. Don't hard peek widow. She's always gonna look for you when you're scoped in. Third is draws. Yes, you can also look for nade nade ops off of this. I got Pharaoh. All right, no more widow. So I'm actually gonna play in sight lines. I was gonna play before. She might come up top. Just gotta be aware of that. Oh, never mind. My Reaper's looking for a flank blossom. That's what I'm gonna help here. Not necessarily nanoing him late there to get any kills. I'm more so nanoing so he doesn't die. Because I kind of need him to live. We didn't need to use that suffer, but. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Oh, good pick. I can play aggressive off of my nade still uh, in spawn. If it's not going to be great to anti-nade, you can still use your nade to be aggressive and spawn to try to get some more ult charge. I wouldn't do that very often, though, because they're going to catch on and start, like, sending people to lurk. They're, they have shatter beware. Yep. I don't know why I wasn't hitting the jump there. It's like whenever you actually need to hit some of these jumps, you just... That's when you die. Okay. Why? Oh, my bad, my bad. See that shatter block, though? Oh, you blocked that? Yeah. I don't know, Nade. I don't know, Nade. Fair is still low. Almost there. Oh, my God. Honest is anti one in the back. playing cart so they're gonna have a barrage this fight i'm gonna have to save my sleep for that they might go for a barrage like right here so i kind of want to i almost want to like bait it uh into me uh but i'm probably just gonna be looking for nano on the reaper mid fight or onto the uh, ram mid fight really just to keep them alive or if he has ultimate if either of them get ultimate but the fair is playing for like <sighs> she's playing for it Play on that position so if I get knifed, I don't just die. Okay, well, I missed the sleep dart because I'm terrible, but at least we made a trade. But I kind of, I have to kind of live. I need healing. You only have Zen. There's an orb on you. Oh, you only got Zen? Okay, okay. I'm just going to chill. Reaper, fight a live. I'm going to look for this. Nino. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I'm just sitting no this. way. <laughs> okay, I'm in. All anti. Kill the brig. Brig, 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 brig. No, not that. Ah, uh, well. I should have just played in the back instead of trying to go for a carry play. It's a good start. Nice. I don't know why she's playing there. Not nice. <laughs> Don't worry, much is low, much. For example, Echo's trolling. Right there, using sleep dart to uh, take advantage of their aggression. That's bullshit. <laughs> Playing with an Ana Zen is hard because you have to play more of like a healing centric playstyle. <laughs> There's an unranked GM. I want to play more. Aggressively, I want to I want to get more damage done, but realistically I need to be doing a lot of healing Oh, he's so low nice He looked like he was one shot No, it's yet. I don't think that was necessary. Something tells me that, but um, 
I'll take it. Oh, I tried to hit it off the rip, but I missed it. Uh, I really want to build my nano here from probably my bastion to just burn shield really fast. LP just used his turret really early, so probably not. Pick up a tire. We're down one. You're <laughs> wild. Might have been. <laughs> uh, I thought we could kill him. This junk is gatekeeping me at the window. Okay. Well, I don't know. Shot. I'm surprised that I'm nade didn't. Back. Surprised that nade didn't hit. I genuinely really surprised that nade did not hit. Probably just gonna need my or nano my Ramatra when he walks here. Okay. Holy shit! Just getting spammed by junk rat. Yeah. Just walk right. Walk all the way right. Just gonna live. Again, forcing out their aggression, just getting a pick off of it. Mm. Nice. Not wasting time breaking that Junkrat trap because he's probably going to reposition right it. There. That's where Junkrat held us last time. Yeah, Don't get I'm picked. Trying, I'm trying to hold it up here. Using my nade because that's the only way I was gonna be able to heal him there. Yeah, I'm gonna sure save my to, sleep uh, for uh, Ramalt. Okay, Ramalt, I have sleep for it. Yeah, the Ram probably has all by the way. Well, he I hasn't spent it. One. I got spent. Anti Ram. Playing for my nano. Let's go focus ram, focus ram, he's free. Hey. Watch for trap. Nice. Nice. tag. Fucking trap. <sighs> you said watch trap and you took it. So we have... <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I... Dude, this guy's so loud. He's somewhere else, I swear. I got car, you can go forwards then for Trank. Alright. Get Nano Blade next fight. Fuck that guy. Okay. Oh, bro, he's oh let's reset. Let's reset. Yeah, I, I don't think we need a hard reset. Yeah, it's all good. All right, now we get. Now we get out. Now we get out. We just buy time. Just buy time. Back up. Back up. Yeah, yeah. Buy time. Buy. Time. Oh wait. <laughs> don't need that. Okay. We have Nano Blade still. You can blade whenever. Uh, Fuck, my bad, I didn't know I was low. Jay Queen sleeping. Free free dash reset here. Care, you guys are even. They got better spawn too, care. You guys take are Take space though, take space though. Kill the Sana. She's one. On his one, on his one, on his one. Okay, Torp first. Torp's one. Turret. Nice, nice, nice. He'll die. Back. Ana should stay die. Alive, stay alive, stay alive. Is Zen one, Zen one. Stay alive. Dead. Nice. Fall back, fall back. I'm here, I'm here. Nice. No, you guys popped off, hell yeah. Good so right face. there, um, I didn't need to use my, my nade yet because I thought I was going to deflect for one. For two, if you can just outmove them. It also works out just fine. Um, quite frankly, this game, this game, I'm trying to just like wipe off the tilt. Watch for that thin burst, and and if, if it were me, if it were me, and I wasn't trying to get this done really fast. 
I would, I would, uh, honestly just take a break I, I, when I'm feeling this way. But, uh, after losing that last game to just terrible me mental, uh, it, it hurt mine for sure. Because I think that's like the number one thing I can't stand in people is when they're like, yeah, we lose this game, GG's. And it's like, dude, you are, you are the reason we're losing. Why are you saying that? Like, let's, let's bring it together, you know? So that's probably what tilts me the absolute most. Without without fail. They're probably going to have a Widow again. I'm probably not going to peek here. You might not want to peek if they have Widow here. Repeat of last time. Um, I'm probably just going to play on this corner with my Ram. And look for like weirder angles. Yeah, they're going to contest your high ground. Monkey, toast, so monkey Bastion and Tracer. I'm playing back a main so I can just play with my Ramatra and not get jumped off height. Like what they are doing. Oh, it's getting damage. I'm gonna try to force out this tracer. This card. Careful, one monkey and tracer. Monkey discorded. On him. Nothing to be afraid of no, if it's just you. Tracer and you have support from your team. I was a little afraid that my team wasn't going to help me there, but. Be careful, I'm good. I slept their bat or their monkey. He's jumping from here. Wait, I'm going to go for that. Brig's anti behind you. Kill the Brig. I saw. Thanks. Keep me alive, Zen, if you can. Fuck, oh, that Bastion melted me. I cannot hide. I reset. think that that fight. Bastion was going to get back fast enough. I also thought I could stop their touch, but my team kind of shrugged. It doesn't matter if they get the point. What matters is that we just win the next fight. Yeah. Build software, I have nano. Nice. Oh, wow. okay. Nice. No, no, no. We zoned the shit out of them. Good shit. <laughs> Honestly, sleeping the the monkey there, I thought would win the fight like immediately. We had a Discord on the Ana. She used her nade. Realistically, our Ram should have killed that Ana. Should have killed that Brig, and it should have been a win immediately. But he kind of trolled it, so. That's that's tough. Alrighty. Let's get it done, shall we? Cheers, my friends. They have an Arisa now, so uh anting after gold kills her. Let's see if I can get an off angle here though. Okay, cool. They were lurking for it. Tracer's up top left, right next to you, Hanzo. We're down one? Okay. What is we're down two, we're down two, we're down two, we're down two, we're down two. I've never seen it before. Have to try than that. It's okay. Don't don't try to flank the That's that's insane. Um there's Investing nades so we can force this tracer out. Arisa no gold, killable. Arisa no defense. Nancy, she's one. Good shit. We're down one. We're, we're even, we're even. Tracer behind. Oh, we're even? We're even. Tracer tag, she dies, nice. Yo, no, 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 don't, don't peek, don't peek. Just live, just live, just live, just live, just live. Yep, 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 playing life, playing life. Nice. I have Nana for next fight. Do you have stuff? Yeah, okay. Just build suffer, we just play for point fight. Don't get pulsed. Or just care for pulse, rather. Yeah, care, uh, she's gonna go for a pick. Right, I'm pressing Q. Oh my god, I helped. 
Walks in. Just walk with our team. Walk with our team. Yo, Zen, Zen sleep. Zen's frozen in the back. One, 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 one. Oh. I'll present live for Trank. We play for Trank. You gotta be kidding me, man! Had some rough games. I spent some time with my puppy. I let her out. I got a new bottle of water. <sighs> Let's keep pushing forward. The games that you guys have to go through sometimes are difficult. So let's just play onwards from this point forward with a fresh mind. Let's get back into it. We have a Zen, so that we're gonna be we're gonna be healing our, our Ryan a lot, uh, because our Zen doesn't have a whole lot of healing capabilities. So our, we're gonna be playing to just support that frontline fight. Um, not as much damage, because that's his job. But uh, let's see. We got a four and four fight here. Our Sig is pushing very aggressively. They have a Widow I hear, so I'm gonna take a less aggressive angle. Hanzo finds that pick very early on, though. So I'm actually going to start walking forward because space has opened up after the Widow's dead. Get a huge anti-nade. It's going to be a quick kill, and that's that's just that simple. The Hansa did a very good job of opening up that fight for me after our Tracer got initially picked, which she might get picked again. And that's enough. Just get out of here. All right, so now no more Widow. I can play a lot more aggressive now. The uh, thing is, they still do have a Hansa, so I still can get logged. Antiing the ram. Don't even let him walk while he's in his, his fist form. You don't have to kill him, but you do have to force him out. Because now if he if he walks in like that after an anti-nade late, after it's worn off, look what happens. He doesn't have it as long. He he can't be in as long. It really helps out with the grand scheme of things. Let's try and get some anti char or uh, some ultimate charge there with the anti-nade. Sleeping the ram just to slow down their push a little bit. Looking for a nade. Oh, I missed the nade. I suck. Unlucky. All right. So we got nano. I'm probably going to nano the Ryan when they start walking in here. They don't have any alts other than, like, maybe the support alts. Uh, because that ram, he hasn't gotten any damage. So... Realistically, we are still just chilling here, just completely running over them. Usually, Reinhardts don't just, like, pin in at the higher levels. They, they walk in and start swinging and then do the pin. That's why I'm usually just waking it up. Also, pinning in there is really dangerous when they have all of their DPS up. So now they have an Arisa. Still, definitely no ults. I mean, maybe not even the Dragon yet. Uh, so still, just, like, we can Nana to be aggressive here. They used their gold already. Use their Suzu already. Yeah, just walk in here. Sleep the Arisa and run away from it. Don't stay next to it. You don't need to. There's no need to. Keep baiting her to you. Drop off. She's wasting so much time. I hear the Kiri up there, which is going to be a little scary for me. But again, this is pretty textbook stuff. Just playing aggressive with your Reinhardt because that's what he's posturing to do. If, he, if, if they want to play aggressive, you can't play passive as a result. Um, so now it's going to get to the point where... That Hanzo definitely has alt now. They definitely have Kiri alt, if she's been playing on it the whole time. So, sleep dart's gonna be have to be used some, somewhere in the front line probably. But now, now they have the tilted people. It was it was a good play to take a break there. So Arisa used gold. So when I get nade again, I can be aggressive with it. They they have a widow again, so we got to be aware of that. Care of that widow in that angle right there. Oh, that might be the end for my. No, never mind. It's not the end. Now I can really just. Oh, he's anti. Wait, I got to play with my Reinhardt after this ends. If he didn't get naded, I would have been able to flank because he wouldn't have gotten low so fast. That's a big anti nade that's gonna really just win us the fight right there. Because the once their tank's dead, if it's like an Arisa or like a, a heavy anchor tank, and they're really relying on that. 
the moment that gets taken out, you just kind of win the game. So overall, this game is like, wow, my team takes advantage of every opportunity I give them. Breath of fresh air. But all right, let's get into it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep walking. Wow, if I hit that nade, it's like a free win. That's unlucky. Uh, okay. That, I Honestly, dude, I needed that. I, I, I honest to God needed that. Okay, Diamond 3, that's not terrible. This map is going to be... If we're playing with a Widow, it's really just going to be very slow. Playing for opportunities with my nade on high grounds. Just making sure that I'm using the high grounds to get easier nade opportunities. Um, Nettering the Reinhardt's obviously going to be really good. I thought he was jumping off the map. Nettering the Reinhardt's obviously going to be really good, but we have double sniper, so we have to realize that this this map is going to be played very slow. We're going to be we're going to be elongating the fight as long as possible. We have a Baptiste, which is going to make this easier, so I can do more damage. I can poke more for Nano instead of just like trying to heal my Rhine. But uh, this this is looking good. This is looking good. So long as my DPS are strong on the characters they're playing. New card though. Let's see if we can actually get to masters in this. I'd I'd really like that. That'd be awesome. I don't see their. I think it's a Hanzo Genji. It's gonna be hard to hit nades from up here. But we shall see. I don't love the fact that we're just kind of giving them high ground control. I gotta drop off and take the next high ground because we're, we're kind of just giving a lot of space. That's a good shot for my Widow though. Well, he got a Suzu so I'm not gonna be able to do anything there. NG. I thought that was a Widow at first, but still, I'm playing far. He's probably going to push me here, so I just got to be ready for that. It's a good pick. I'm just setting up opportunities for my team by dealing some effective damage. Not killing, but forcing people into worse spots that maybe my other teammates can kill. I got to look for a flank nade here, though. Pulling a lot of aggression, which is good. I missed. Oh. I had to play for that if we were going to win. It was just unlucky. It kind of sucked that we didn't pull, pull off the win there when they were looking at me, but it is what it is. We have a better team now to walk with our Reinhardt. Instead of a Hanzo uh, Widow, we have a Tracer. Uh, a Tracer Cassidy is just going to make it easier for him to walk forward. So I can play off of my Reinhardt a lot easier now. They are probably going to have Nano Blade though. So I'm going to keep my Sleep Dart for that this fight. And probably just need, uh, Nano. Maybe Nano my support if I miss the Sleep Dart. If not, I'm going to look to press forward with a Nano on my Rhine. He's looking for it now, it looks like. So I'm just going to do it now. I'm not a fan of this. See that. Wait for the nano to wear off, and then I'm gonna kill it. There we go. See, that wasn't that hard of a sleep dart. It was just understanding that he had the the blade that made it. Oh wow, that's is the most unlucky spawn dragon of all time. But they used nano blade. They used dragon. I think they might have curi altered there too. So. Overall, this should be a pretty easy fight win if we play right here. I just want to make sure my Ryan lives so he can walk into this Sigma. I really want to be more aggressive, but my Baptiste is kind of missing heals. 
so um, I'm not getting the chance to as much as I would like. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I almost have Nano. They're probably going to have a uh, Sigma ult soon. I'm going to save sleep for that, and if I can do that, then I can maybe Nano my Ryan into them. So long as people live that are important. That was an impact nade if I've ever seen one. Dude, 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 you have a shield to my guy. I, I, you should not, don't even worry about them. If they die there, that's their own fault. Just look for more aggressive damage and try to maybe get your nano faster if you don't have it in that situation. Thing is, now they're Cassie's top. This is good though, because if they overextend, I can just get on my Reinhardt like they are right now. I'm fine, I think. So right now, I'm going to take high ground immediately. Why? I want to get damage onto their back line. You always say you want that. The reason why I want that is because the Reinhardt is going to shield me up here, and it's going to be much safer for me to do so against a Hanzo and a Cassidy. Uh, well, if he doesn't just block all my damage, that is. Dude, it's much more efficient. <laughs> it's much more efficient if I get to do the damage against Squishies, because... You get less alt charge for shooting tanks. Oh, now I'm all anti. I'm not, a, not, a fan of, not a fan of this. Not a fan of this. I don't know why we dropped. Now we run. Now we run. Now we run. All the way out. They can just take the high ground for all I care. Their Cassie probably has high... Well, there it is. I'm not, I don't have to nade it. Oh, that was a good nade. Holy. I almost have Nano. I'm just playing for that off of my Reinhardt. Okay, I need to look for a Nano on my Reinhardt when they get close. Wow, I missed that. Yo, point! Okay, if I was in voice chat, I'd be calling that. But... That's like a lot of C9s today, too. Doesn't matter. We can just still hold this position fine. It's just that now they have close spawns and... Yeah. I guess I could have hit, hit the sleep there, but... No matter what, like, there's no real need to get off point. Right here, we, they lost their ram, so the fight's pretty much over. I'm just playing for cleanup now. Uh, I really want to play on that high ground, but it's a little too risky for this team. Okay, now it's not, because the Hanzo's not just going to one-tap me. I'm fine. Well, the soldier jumped off now. We're just going to reset. They're probably going to have... I don't know if they're going to have Visor. They're definitely going to have Cole, though. Orion is setting up for a nasty shatter, so I need to keep my... I need to be aggressive here. Oh, my God. I should have killed that. We shouldn't have gone for that shatter, to be fair, but... I should have also killed that Kiri. It's okay. We have alts. We have spawn to come back here. They're probably going to have a visor, so I'm going to... They're, they're going to have a visor and a coal. I have to choose which one I want to sleep, though. Hans is probably going to come through here, so I'm not even going to try to peek it. I'm just going to listen for him. He's actually main, so that angle is cleared. look for a flank nade here. That's all of them. 
It's a forced Suzu. Tried to sleep the visor, but I missed. My Ryan is still just like wreaking havoc, so that visor can't do anything, so. Okay, but now we're just like split and we're gonna lose. Oh, I thought he was moving that way. Yo, Ryan. Ryan. What happened to the no pussy shit? All right, well, it's, it's going to be the same thing we've been doing, looking to, like, nade backline when your Ryan is uh, being aggressive. But for some reason, he just, like, stopped being aggressive all of a sudden, which... If he was aggressive there, I think we carry it, because he would have been able to pin to point. I would have healed him. But it's okay. So whatever. We've, we've won before. We'll do it again. We'll do it another few times until we get GM. That's the plan. But like, yeah, you'll get teammates like this, but you can still win. It's very hard, but you can still do it. Care for boops here. The main goal we want is to get high ground so that we can hit easier nades on them. I heard their Suzu, so I'm just going to look for nade now. Okay, dude. Like, what are you smoking? I guess he's okay because he's a BAP, but I'm, I'm rotating now. Alright, so even though I'm not killing him... I'm pressuring off this angle, right? Like, that's that's the idea. I'm making sure that he's not shooting my Ryan. He's instead shooting me. I'm not going to die from it because I'm playing off the angle correctly. Real trap shit. There we go. Not going to scope into that even if it would be easier to shoot him there. Because I'm going to be easier to get shot. Using the window there. I mean, there's nothing really to learn from that. Inting that. Okay. I mean, Real that's just shit. finding that we were aggressive and winning. That's two follows. I appreciate that. All of you guys. Everyone that's followed the streamed. So now that we've won this point, the most important thing on Rialto is taking high ground. High ground control on second point is how you win this map. So don't waste any time. Don't don't push point. Put your Hanzo or Bap there. Realistically, our Bap should be there, but our Ryan's just going to continue pushing. Don't waste any time getting here. Do it fast and hold it. They use a Kyrial to try to force us off of it. Or just to force us off the card, I guess. None of the cast there because I thought he was going to die. Okay, I traded. That's fine. I forced an all out. Uh, they still have blade for next fight. No, he switched. He doesn't have blade yet, so I don't need to save sleep for him. I do need to save sleep, though, for the Ramatra ult that they're probably going to actually use now that I'm not there. But the real question is, do I want to take height here or do I want to just walk? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to walk height. I pre-aimed it too early. Oh, I died. <sighs> well, they used what? Coalescence and Suffer. They probably have a Genji Blade soon now. I really just need to tell my team to go height, which I might do if we lose another one of these fights. But I think, nope, he actually knows to do that. Awesome. I don't have to tell them. I don't have to leave chat. It's a big sleep dart to. Wait, he doesn't die? Whiffs the nade, but at least I'll have it by the time I get back into fight. This should be just an instant win. I must sleep again. Ooh, I don't like this position. I need to take top. They're going to have blade. Honestly, no. I'm going to stick next to my bat because I'm going to try to bait him to come to us. It's easier to hit the sleep that way.
I didn't expect the Genji to go after my Widow, but I also didn't expect my Widow to be back left their side. That definitely hurt. So now that we have a Baptiste with the ball, though, he's probably going to be the one looking for more damage because it's harder to hit the ball to, to heal. So I'm just going to start healing ball more. They shouldn't have any big alts that are really going to force us out. They might have Suffer soon, but we have a ball now. That shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, I don't know where that Hanzo went. Dude, like, that's fine. The, the guy inted so hard to try to kill me there. We should we should win a, to, we should win that fight if they're gonna int that hard to kill me. Realistically, my Bab should have turned around and healed me there, but that completely, guys, guys. Probably his blade. Probably have Ramatra alt. I'm gonna honestly just look to Nana, whoever they jump on here. Save Nano or sleep for Blade. He's sleeping. No fucking way we're losing this. Nice. They see nine, just like we did. That's like literally what we needed to win this game. Alright, this game's still winnable. We still have Blade though, so I need to save my sleep for Blade. going to start walking here. He's dead again already. Wait, he's just... Wait, the Ramatra was in shooting form. But he was... That visual bug kind of sucks. Yeah, you know what's crazy though? We're probably going to lose this game because we see 9 I think that's something. This guy's just running in like a maniac. We do have mines. It's winnable, but he's just kind of feeding his brains out. And Oh, I got some damage to force out the Genji so that he dies there from someone else. The problem is, is now they're going to have Blade with Nano, Suffer, and I can't sleep everything. It's going to come down to us having to go first here and getting stuff done early. He's so low. I thought he was one shot. <sighs> He's Kiri Suzu'd. I don't know. I don't know. Like, but uh, just keep it going here. 
Right here, I can look for... Yeah, now that I know they don't have a Widow or a Hanzo, I can look aggressively for damage. But this right here, this spawn right here, it's safe for me. And I also can find a really easy nade if their team decides to ever walk in here, which they're, like, not looking for it. So I'm just going to nade their Sig. Should be one. There we go. I have a Kiriko, so my monkey shouldn't die. I should be allowed to be more aggressive there. What did they lose? They lost their Brig. I can look for some Brig damage to get some ults. That's fine. Maybe some Ana damage. Or Zen damage. Maybe kill that. Ooh, oh, ooh I might die. No, nope, I'm good. I'm chilling. Thing is, now they might try to force me out. I played closer to my Kiri there to try to help her get out. I didn't know how far her TP was. Anti that they force out the Suzu early, so now we can just win the fight because we have Suzu advantage. I'm waiting until I have a good opportunity to use my anti. I'm not always using it at the first look. I'm also just looking at like, oh, this is a good time to go for it. I'm going for it. But this right here is so much better than that over there. Because I don't take any poke. If they jump me, I can just drop off. Or I can go this way because I have my Kiriko over there. This is where you want to hold on Numbani. It's right here. It's it's the best spot, 100%, without a doubt. They're on Reaper now, though. So I got the only thing you have to do is you have to make sure you listen for any flankers that might show up. Ah, oh, like that. But don't waste the sleep as early as I did. Yeah, I anteed the Ramatra while healing my Windstone. All right, but Nanovisor is going to be good against this comp after that shield goes down. The condition, though, is that shield needs to go down first. I can't just look for it whenever I want to. So honestly, if he it, he did use shield though, so honestly, I think he should use it now. Oh, I didn't mean to jump off. I trolled. Honestly, now that we Kitsune rushed, oh, I need a man of this that we don't lose. I honestly probably didn't need to nano him, but I don't know. They use they use nano suffer. I got a little bit scared about that. I probably didn't need to use my nano there. I just wanted to make sure that that fight was a win because they used Kitsune. They used nano. The only thing they might have is like they don't even have Reaper ult. That dude's done 700 damage, so they don't have any alts here either. We have a good hold on this. Now I'm just going to poke for some charge. I see your toes. Didn't get anything, though. They're going under. That's, like, the worst place for them to go. Oh, no. The soldier's going top, though. My soldier's just not even, like, contesting it, it feels like. I got shot by the toes. Yeah, honestly... What we did wrong there was we just dropped high ground way too early and we let their soldier have it for free instead of just like forcing him out first and letting them touch point. So that was kind of on our tank. But you know, it's a good hold. I, I can't be upset about that. I can't be upset about it is if we die here. I want to take height, but I really don't want my Winston to die. But while I'm rotating, I use my utility just so there's maybe something I can have going on for me while I'm kind of doing nothing there. On his anti. Ooh, I almost killed her there. Looks like my Winston wants to go, so I'm going to jump in with him to try to get an opportunity set up for him, but he's just punching them all out of line of sight, so that doesn't really help us. He's looking for an ult. I sleep back. It was very telegraphed there. Oh, well, we just die here. We, do. we don't? Oh, now we do. Okay, but they use Suffer. They use Nano. 
They use Reaper Alt. They use Kiri Alt. Like, now they just have Visor. Now I just have to worry about sleeping the Visor. Uh, and that's what I'm going to set up that utility for. I'm going to go high ground. We have a J-Queen now, so the anti is going to be really effective. But try to get my Kiri out here. She should try to get out before dying. Probably didn't need to invest in aid, but I didn't want her to die. Surprised that guy didn't die. He was burning too. Just gonna invest my nade because I'm gonna get it back so fast since I'm in Kiri Alt. Gonna rotate to high ground so I can maybe set up an opportunity with nade for my team. But it looks like this fight's already done. But I'm still gonna stay up here. Honestly, because they're gonna have to walk to point, I could stay up here and wait for to use my nade all the way down there if my team wants to back off. But since we got a pick, it's looking like backing off is not in our future. So I tried to go for an aggressive nade there. I, I ultimately failed. But reloading while she's anti. Be aggressive here. Don't even let him touch. I got to run away from the Reaper. He probably lost me. I think he lost me at least. Yeah, he did. I gotta care for Visor. I gotta care for Reaper Alt coming soon because he's got a lot of damage on his. Oh, come on. Why do we always lose overtime fights, man? Now they're gonna Visor and have Reaper Alt. I gotta be aware. Again, remember opportunities for the team. I'm saving my sleep dart for the ram alt as possible. Okay. So right there, I was sitting behind a wall. I wasn't doing anything. But the thing is, it's like I, I have nothing to contribute to the fight there. I don't have I don't have nade, I don't have sleep. I'm waiting for those cooldowns. I'm also making sure I don't peek this soldier that's like hard peeking me the entire time. Um so that I can live and wait for that stuff to come back online. And now I'm, now I'm contributing again because then the Arisa was pushing in. If my Arisa was crit, I kind of have to peek. But she was chilling. So I'm chilling. But all right, let's see. Let's keep it moving here. We have a J-Queen, so we're, we almost have to take top. We're almost confined to go there. Which sucks. I, I would rather him just go Winston. But he says, nah, we're not doing that. We're going to go main. We have a Sigma, so I guess I'm not complaining. But this is a lot of just like, okay, my team's got to make it happen for me. I can't really carry on this point. Loading and we're chilling. Like, there, there's not a lot I can do. I can just build nano. Which is what I'm doing. I think that's what we're playing for. Uh, again, I'm not really going to be able to create an opportunity. So I'm just going to use my nade defensively until I get nano. Which I have. Now they need to actually push forward and make something happen with it. Oh, I thought he was hitting it. Honestly, dude. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. They use Nano, Tire, and Flux. You know what I'm saying? Makes us so much easier. With Ana, you have to know how to create opportunities for your team. That's that's the entire premise of what we're doing here. If you can create consistent opportunities, eventually they'll, they'll win for you. But it's not about just doing damage. It's not about being aggressive. It's not about doing healing. Like, the way you make... Obviously, the way you make opportunities is you, you are aggressive... That's how you do it, but it's, it's deep too. It's deeper than just be aggressive, lol. It's about how am I going to create an opportunity for my team. You can't just do it all the time. Well, he had his hands, which kind of sucked.
We gotta hold this position. We gotta hold this position. Okay, I gotta rotate around. Oh, wait, nope. My Jake means here now. Gotta play for Nano. Gotta play for Nano. Oh. oh, he dies. Nice. See, like, it's not about flanking there. It's about just like, okay, my J Queen should live if I pocket her. Getting nano, getting nano, getting nano. Opportunity! Bam! Okay, we win. The counter for Ana is... I don't... Okay, here's the thing, right? For most of you guys, I don't think there's ever going to be a counter for Ana. For most of you guys. At the highest level of play, when they're running, like, a 3-2-1 comp, where they... Like, a Sombra, Tracer, Winston, Kiri, Lucio, like, then, yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to play Ana into that. But for most ranked players, I think you can one-trick Ana and get GM just fine. I missed. Well, I, well at least I went for it. But he has ult for next fight, so I gotta make sure I'm looking for that. Reloading this. Well, no, while you're anti while someone's anti, you can always look for a reload. Especially if they're like a key target that like no one else really needs the healing. Never do what their Ana did in, in a nano a junk rat. That's that's just throwing. Straight up. Like, look, that does nothing. Don't na Never nano junk rat. That's for sure. It doesn't even matter if it's a good situ Like, I can't even say it doesn't matter if there's a good situation because there just never is a good situation. Just just don't do it, you know? Nano visor would be strong in most situations, but I got to make sure that the Sigma doesn't have shield or that he puts it down in a place that my soldier can still get damage done. That's what I'm thinking this fight. Also, I know that they have the Reaper ult, so that's the main thing I'm going to try to focus on stopping. Which, yeah, he was going to look for it there. But we win. Cool. Nice. Next game. Awesome. If you're looking to hard carry, because you're so much better than the players at your rank, more like a Baptiste or a Zenyatta, I feel like is the play, because you have so much more output. You can just deal with stuff on your own. As Ana, I can do damage. I can create opportunities. I can't necessarily just do it all on my own. I need a little bit of help. I need, like, if I set up a really good ante, most of the time they're going to take advantage of that. Sometimes they won't. As Zen, I can just always do it. The problem is, you have to be so good at aiming on Zen, so good at understanding how to rotate on Zen, to a level that, like, let's say a plat player, probably shouldn't reasonably need to know. So if I was a plat player, and I was plat on every single hero, I think the easiest way for me to get out of plat is probably just playing Ana. It's probably, instead of playing Zen. For a, for a player like me, playing Bap and Zen is so much easier to climb out. Uh, I guess depending on the compositions... But it's so much easier to climb out because I can do healing, I can do damage, I can have an immortality field, I can have a transcendence, I, I like that kind of stuff. If I use it aggressively, will work all the time. But most people don't have the mechanics needed to be aggressive with that stuff. Right here, though, I'm just gonna look for some alt charge. I don't think this guy has the hits on me. Okay, so Genji Junkrat, that's what's gonna be coming after me, and a monkey too, but. I should be fine because I have a mercy to force them out. Reasonably, though, I need to just help. I, I, we just need to stop the dive. So if I anti this monkey every time he jumps us, he should die. Eventually, he'll have to switch. We're kind of just playing to counter the monkey's jump, especially if we're playing D.Va. Okay, well, here he comes. I missed the sleep. That's fine. I missed the nade there. I must have been behind the bubble and didn't realize. But still, that's the idea. That's like the cooldown rotation of what I'm trying to do here. Junkrat's flanking. Gonna just try to dodge the spam. Don't necessarily need to kill him. Damn. That would have been big if I hit that too. Sweep him so that I have some time to maybe keep my diva up. Barely do. Now I'm just playing for Nano next fight because I built it so fast. Whenever they have a monkey and you have a diva, the diva is going to be playing to counter jump the monkey. That's why you play diva in this game anymore. So, um... Make sure you kind of switch, shift the play style a little bit if that's what's going to happen. If that's not what's going to happen, be, be aggressive with your nades. They shouldn't have Trank yet. He hasn't gotten a lot of damage, so I can probably just nano my D.Va on the jump and kill this monkey relatively quick. Because I don't think he has Primal either. Might have Blade, though, so I need to make sure I keep my sleep for that. Now we just Uno Reverse. We should Uno Reverse. There we go. Yeah. 
Dude, I'm missing sleep or antis that I just shouldn't. I love how they're already saying GG and so many people just do that for no reason. It really makes me upset that people do that at your ranks, guys. I'm sorry. It actually happens to GM a lot, too. Oh, that Kenji's one. Damn, that's tragic. Okay, he's going to look to Blade here soon. They're also going to look to Primal. Uh, I tried to make the carry. Oh, well. I thought he was going to dash at us right away. That was a really hard sleep to make, though, because he was blading so weird. That's an opportunity that you can take to be aggressive. Uh, you got to make sure you're hitting your shots and you have nade to back yourself up, though, for the combo, which is shot, shot, nade, shot, nade, shot, shot, nade, shot, nade, shot, punch. That's all the combos, but I don't really think about the combos, to be honest. I don't think they're really all that important to really think about. Why did I hit Z? Oh, Z because that's my ping in R6. It's like, what am I pinging? Oh, she's just dead. Mm, do I have... Oh, I do have... Oh, I have Sojourn Alt. This is winnable. We need to get that Diva out of mech, though. I'm so mad I didn't hit that nade. She didn't either, though, so we're even. So the reason I entered that was because I didn't want the Genji to get dash reset, and I thought he was... Wait. Tire. Holy shit. Still gonna die for this, though. That's the life of a support main. Wait, wait. Wait, give me, give me him, give me him. I want him so bad. Let's go! So I got an exit frag that's going to slow down their push a little bit. Now I'm just taking it for high ground. I netted the Mercy earlier because I wanted to make it so the Genji didn't have a dash reset. So that we could kill him there, but we somehow didn't when he was half health, which was a little upsetting. They're blading my Mercy next. Prob oh, wait, he just dashed out. Okay, what is my team doing? I need to... He's going to come over this way. Oh, wait. Not trying to drop my high ground presence here because it takes so long in this map to get back up top. In uh, the D.Va versus D.Va, though, I'm not really sure. I feel... Oh, what the hell? Anti-Junkrat. He should die for that. Sleep the D.Va so she doesn't get micro-missiled. My D.Va doesn't get micro-missiled to keep her alive. Wow, that's, that's tough. Do I need a nano? I don't need a nano this yet. Uh, I kind of want a nano visor after we get her out of mech, though. But I don't know if that's a good idea, because they have Trank. I don't know. This one's a little up in the air. You, it could go either way. I feel like actually nanoing the D.Va onto the, to the Zen to force Trank is probably the best play. He doesn't have Blade, so I can look for an aggressive suit there. Yep, th that right there is what I wanted. Because now we get a free visor after the D.Va gets out of uh, out of mech. Or if she gets slept like that. Setting up an opportunity for my team to pop off. Unlucky that... Oh, wait, where's that at? Damn it, dude. That's just tough. Like, I just need to hit that first shot. I think Ana's a really good support for beginners, honestly. I think she's difficult, but like it's it's where I learned. Someone's gonna touch from up there. Oh, I'm trapped. That should be fine. Let's see the brig. It's realistic. Realistically, once I plant my utility, if it's big enough, even if I die, we should win. 
If, if it gets a four-man anti, I, it's a four-man anti. So with this, with this take, it's very similar to how I... Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. With this take, usually I'm just going to try to engage just like I did in the Zen Unranked to GM. I want to take this high ground. Thing is, I have a Mercy. If, if he goes Monkey, I might not do that. But I, I generally want to set up over here uh, and try to get like high ground nade control. Uh, they also have a junk rat, but I want to send myself up over this way and see what happens. Because my team should realistically be good at the start here. Oh, they have a Zarya. Okay. Because then you can go for stuff like that. An opportunity presented itself. I didn't even really even make the opportunity. The way I made that one wasn't with my nade. It was with the way I positioned myself before the fight happened. And now we have this controlled. And even though we lost the fight, it's really not that big a deal. Because we have height now. Mm. That's bullshit. We should get a res for that, though. Yep, now we have high control. Now we have a monkey too, so... Oh, what? How did he... How did I get needed? Okay, I'm pushing up while my team deals with this. We have like 2 DPS on that. Like, we should really be fine. But I guess he's living. Mm, this is bad. I used nade in a bad spot. I see Junkrat flying though, so that's an opportunity to get a kill. You can take time away from looking at your monkey if he's not like hard engaging and he has jump still. So just focus on yourself in the back line. Usually they won't jump in and just die. A good player wouldn't do that at least. I didn't need that, but eh, I, I wanted to win that. I can I can use Nano as a tempo alt to make sure we win because it, it's more important that we don't get held there than it is that you know I waste an alt. If if you're unsure, you can always use the alt there. In, in retrospect, I probably didn't need it, but uh, my mercy should give me most of these heals if I nope. Okay, well I can't shoot through those. I I hate that you can't do that. That's so tilting to me. A uh, little nice spot to know. If you didn't know, you can stand up here to just keep height. Oh, dude, he's just like not playing the way I think he should play. That was weird what just happened there. I just need to focus on this 1v1. Oh, that was an overflick. Again, look at the Baptiste. Whenever he's jumping, it's like the easiest thing to hit in the world. That's just like small tips. Echo should go cart because, or or monkey. Realistically, a lot anyone could really go cart because they have an easy time getting back into the fight. My monkey died so fast there. And we win. Nice. Alright, so this map is weird for Ana. It's one of the maps I prefer playing Kirion and just running like a... I mean, it depends on the composition, the meta. But this one's hard because this map's very specific. The way, the way you play Ana on Ilios is... There's no real rhyme or reason to it. You have to just know how you play it. Like, there's no way to really think through it. The whole idea is I want to take my high ground, but I don't want to reveal myself if they're on, like, a monkey comp. Because it's very easy for them to just jump on me high ground and I die. So, usually I hide if they have a monkey, tell my team that, um, and then just kind of chill. And wait until the opportunity presents itself where they're like, where's the Ana? They jump. They use jump. Now I can reveal myself. I can look for an anti-knight and uh, finish out the fight from there. That's typically how I'm doing it on this specific point of Ilios. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be sitting like up there and waiting to see what they have uh, at, at 15 seconds in. 
But if people decide to go up top with me, like the Zarya, it's not the end of the world. Um, they have a Junkrat. Tracer. We already got a kill. Okay, we already got a kill. I'm just walking. They also have a Hog, so that just clears this high ground for me. I can play extremely aggressively. This Life is easy. Life, life is good. Life is easy. I can deal damage up here. I can get big antis up here. L life is good. Also, they're playing Hog, which is like the easiest character to play on into, so that, that's a plus as well. I think the Ana nerfs were... They weren't even nerfs. They're just like, bro, why are you changing that? You should use your nade aggressively like 90% of the time anyways, so it's not that big a deal. And now we're just chilling. Best supports for this map? I'd probably say like... It really depends on the comp your, your team's playing, but I, I don't say... I don't think any support necessarily stands out here. It's like Moria and Kiriko right now, though, and like pro play, they do so well on this map. Also, Lucio is just like a staple. But this is ranked, so you guys can really just one-trick any character you want. So long as you really get good at them, you can pretty much just get GM. It might take some time more for some characters compared to others, just because of like how they function, their kits. Like Ana naturally, I feel like is a little harder to climb consistently, like fast with. It's harder to carry with, I feel, but. Looking for an aid on the supports there. Banking it off the wall is easier to hit. But right here, it's like they're not even trying to like take me off the height. The big thing though is that once I drop off height, I got a long walk back to it. So you want to make sure you hold this height with your life. Like you, you don't, you don't just you know drop off. Sorry, I like lost my train of thought there for a minute. I'm probably going to look to nano my... Honestly, it depends. This last fight's going to happen on cart, so I, I could reasonably nano my Zarya if I wanted to. I'm going to have to to keep her alive, aren't I? Oh, no, never mind. We have a trick. Oh, I tried to. I really did. I'm actually going to look for it here. Keep my Zen alive because he's going to carry this. Keep that sleeping. Or, or wake it up. <laughs> Alright. It's hard. It depends on the composition. With what we have, we're playing a Brawly or Core. I think we're going to try to take the fight on the Mega right side. So I'm just going to walk with them. They had a ball last time too. So I don't want to play super far away. I just want to play with my team. But realistically, it's just playing with my team and where they want to go. They have a Widow, so I'm just going to play in whatever spot she's not. If she's playing left side, I'm playing left side to just live. Again, this is about creating opportunities for my team. He should be walking. If he dies here, it's not my fault. Like He, he should just be walking and not so far away. Keeping my Zarya alive, she's a key target in this fight. I'm just pocketing my Zen if he's going to play that aggressive. Like, see, that's what he should do. Again, I need to find where the Widow is. She's main, so I'm going to just play around this. Oh, she's top left, actually. Okay. Looking for a nade after the Suzu there. Gets value. Uh, Securities should die. I hate playing against Widows, Azana. If you couldn't tell. Honestly, I'm okay with him getting the health pack because he definitely already has mine. I should just get bubbled there. So if I get bubbled there, I'm okay with him getting the pack there and living longer because one, we stagger him. Two, he already has mines. Three, I'm getting nano charge. And my Zarya is getting uh, her alt charge back too. So um, I'll respond to questions in chat after this game real quick. Uh, we're probably going to play for a nano blade. They don't really have anything to stop a nano blade. So... It's just a matter of him getting it. I need to keep him alive so he does get... Okay, well, mm, I couldn't nano the Zarya here if I wanted to. Right now, I need to play to sleep this ball before he... Ah, uh, god damn it. I think this is just a lost fight. We still look for the nano blade next fight. I really don't like this at all. Problem is, if we nano blade, they're just going to mine it. 
we gotta be aware of that and try to like force things out like this okay well i'm nanoing because he can still carry this damn uh, my zen tried you know what I i'm not even mad because my zen tried he tried to block the shot he saw that and honestly good on him for that i i can't even be mad we did use all of our else though we didn't need grav So again, looking at like kind of where their widow is and just playing out of their line of sight here, they typically go top right. That would have said now though, so I can play aggressive. Oh, the ball's gonna come for me and widow, so I need to set up to support my widow. Our widow's probably gonna come back the top up there, so is that? Oh no, is she in widow? No, she's not even on widow anymore. Oh, my life's easy. My life's my life's simple. Cause now I can just play this top high ground. There's there's nothing to stop me here. Like sure the ball could come up here, but like, what's that really gonna do? This tracer's not gonna come up with him. So I just get this off angle the whole the whole fight. Gets the Ana early. Now we can take the fight from here. There you go. If you like Ana, play Ana. She's, she will get you a higher rank in the long run while you improve with her. It'll be like a very good slow improvement from what I'm learning here. But all right, this is going to be all about uh, creating like opportunities for my team. It's not even about damage and healing so much. It's about hitting a good nade and then following up with it. But they have Kiri Lucio. They're running meta, so it's going to be really hard for me to justify the pick I'm making here. All right, we forced Suzu out early. That's good. So the number one thing in this meta, it's Junker Queen versus Junker Queen, right? And th this is this is meta specific. So if you're watching this video, like, if you're watching this VOD, let's say, I don't know, um, two months after this, this isn't going to pertain. But it's whoever hits the axe on the other queen first. So my whole idea is if I can nade the queen early, I'm almost guaranteed to get that Suzu out because that's like the core thing of this meta. It's it's getting this this queen dead with the axe on her. That's immediately going to force out Suzu. And then my queen can actually go and axe. It, it's going to be great. Oh, wait. Well, now they don't have... Wait, now they don't have Kiriko. So everything I just said means nothing. So now I can just do whatever I want. With Nade. This is one of those situations where I was out of position. They're going to chase for me, I think. But my, again, my team doesn't really need healing. My team just needs me to live and get Nades. That, that's all they need from me. When they're running Junker Queen, Lucio, Genji Tracer. So, don't don't kill yourself to get heals to get damage on this. Just build Nano in in, in the mid fight. Realistically, I shouldn't be on the cart. I should be king to get to my Nano quick. You think he has Blade? Mm, I don't think so. But I have Nano. My Genji has Blade. He dashes up immediately. simple Look, I, I i didn't really heal that many i didn't heal that much i didn't do that much damage but what i did do is i set up an anti-nade and i set up a nano and we won opportunities is how you carry is on it in most compositions just some you do a little bit more healing than others some you do a little bit more damage than others that's really what we're looking at today with this variation of comps but now it's their turn to blade so oh I don't know what he was doing with that. We knew he had that, so we kept sleep for it. For Bang! Mm -hmm. Slow that down. That's ping. That doesn't kill me on land. Um. 
That doesn't kill me on land. That's annoying. Alright, we're rotating the height. Care for a possible flanker this way. No flanker this way, so he's probably up here. I'm actually going to pressure this. Because again, my, my team doesn't really need heals. My, my Junker King definitely doesn't need the heals. She's one. Fuck, man. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have stayed around. I. I shouldn't have tried to ego for the clip. My fault, y'all. You should just die fast. There. But the reason why I'm saying Junker Queen doesn't really need heals. We got some self-sufficient DPS. We got Lucio. He. He. He will do the healing that he needs to do. My job is just to get an anti nade so they can win the fight fast before they take actual considerable amounts of damage. Tracer's coming this way. I hear her. She definitely has a pulse, which is what I'm a little bit concerned about. That's all being right here. Just checking if my team needs healing or if I need to take or if I can take the 1v1 the quick reconflict just to see what's actually going on. Alright, well, we used a lot of alts there. They probably have their blade again. I'm going to be lo looking to sleep that. This fight, though, I can use nade. They have Kiriko again, so I can use nade early, actually, to try to force out the the Suzu before my J Queen wants to look for an alt. So I'm going to do that now, actually. I don't know why she doubled down on it, but it worked out for us. Need help from my team, really? Like right, right there with the 1v1, you're you're prioritizing your life over anything. You're not you're not dying for something like that when you're already low. Because you gotta sleep this nano blade next fight. You yeah, know, J, J Queen just heals herself. She she doesn't need any help. Alright, blade's coming for me in the back line. Just keep that in mind. It makes it a lot easier to sleep when you know that. I guess pulses too. There it is. And that's how you do it. <clears throat> oh, yes. Again, the way you win this. Opportunities. Playing for nades. Making stuff happen. It's going to be a little bit hard to get stuff done because Lucio kind of makes up for the slight healing they might need. So that might be a little bit difficult, but I don't know. I think we can do this. Hello, J Queen. I'm just walking with my J Queen. I, I prefer walking top, but if she sets us up to go bottom, I kind of have to just respect that. The moment I see a Pharah, though, she is dead. She's mine. Ah! Okay. I'm going to be honest, Midas. I have no clue what you're saying. But we're going to keep walking here. Again, so here's the thing. When Farrah doesn't have a mercy pocket, I can actually go for kills. I don't even have to just pressure her. Pressuring her is just fine. But I can also kill her. Like, it's, it's totally fine if I do that. 
Especially a Baptiste that's kind of trolling. Yep. Don't need to kill him. I do need to force out that Immortality, though, if I want to carry. That was really risky. Don't do that. Oh, I missed my sleep. That's tough. But I can kill that. So, like, the, honestly, too, like, the higher you go as Ana, the easier it is to win. With Zen, it wasn't that way because they kind of, like, counter you. But Ana is, like, a pretty conservative pick for the most part. Like, she's 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 got some stuff that she can fight back with on her own. Real but I feel like the higher you go, the better she is, too. Uh, like, I'm learning a little bit. Even I learn from these unranked GMs. Okay, I'm probably going to save my my Nano for this Genji when he gets Blade. Wow, that was a weird angle to sleep from, too. She dies here. I, nope, maybe doesn't. I was just top, though, so I can't peek this angle. You win this. All right. Damn, I thought we won that. Oh, what the hell? She's here. Well, I'm dead. That's tough. I thought I was wondering where that J Queen was. We still went off that nano because she was at she was engaged. And then once I slept the bap, they had no healing, so it was really easy for them to just like walk through. So if I don't have nade, or if I want to save my nade because they're kind of split, I can also just sleep their healer. Uh, I, I don't go for that very often because usually the nade is just far more consistent. And usually the sleep the, the support isn't that far out of position. But uh oh, oh, okay, I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. They're going to have an EMP. They're going to have everything, honestly, other than the, the J Queen ult. So I'm going to try to sleep this EMP if I see her flying in. I'm going for it. Wait. They, they have that again? Really? All right. Well, I'm just going to go to the point and die fast. Ah, oh, that mother... I did get some ult charge out of that, though. Zorin, everyone asks. It's okay. So they definitely still have EMP. They have window. The sleep dart's probably going to go to the EMP if I can cancel it. If not, it's going to try to go to whoever's behind that window that's going to get value. Either Hanzo or the BAP. I got to look for an... I slept it too... Oh, God, I called it too. But see, the thing is, like, you guys, you guys watch these streamers like ML7, right? And you look at sleeps like that, and you're like, holy crap, that was crazy. How did he react to that? The reality of it is, he didn't react to it. He was thinking about it beforehand. And trust me, when you start thinking about this kind of stuff, it makes it so much easier. It makes it so much easier. So right now, I'm probably going to be using the Nano on my Junker Queen, because, it's again, it's all about who wins the Junker Queen battle who exerts more pressure in the front line in this meta. So again, if I if I'm just going to continue doing this kind of stuff, it's just it's just GG's. I'm sorry. Uh, anti that. Yeah, she should just die. My J Queen doesn't want to do that though. She she wants to run in the back line. So interesting interesting choice from her, but I created the opportunity. Whatever she does with it, uh, that's on her. Yep, okay, now we win. Maybe. She's going to peek here, I think. Oh, that sleep dart was dope. That's fine, bro. Okay, my diamond one. This is, this is, this is normal. I have a question. If my tank always wants to go out of my line of sight, should I leave high ground or let him die as Ana or other support? So here's the thing, right? I can't tell you based off that situation because when I hear that, I think this guy might not be positioning aggressively enough. This guy might just like be playing a little bit too passive. There's other times though where it's like, let's say it's Route 66 defense first point. 
and my Reinhardt pins into their spawn. Like, sometimes I can help them. Other times, they're going to go behind the LOS of the train. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm letting him die there. Most of the time, your problem is that you're not being aggressive enough. Most of your time. Sometimes it really is, though, that people are being a little bit too reckless. You have to just kind of let them go. That has happened the first game of this unranked GM. I was like, eh, this guy's a little aggressive, but still, you can kind of see how I played off of it instead of, like, sitting back. Watch the Route 66 game back uh, when this gets published. But with this, we have a Zen. So, again, we're going to be looking for mostly nades to help our front line. Maybe to break this. Once this Rhine Shield's broken. Oh, wow. I missed that. Man, I'm so terrible. Again, four seconds until I get another opportunity to create another opportunity for my team. Right here, it's like I'm kind of just baiting a lot or, or healing a lot because it's a, it's a choke point. Like, I can't really do a whole lot here. Anti the Rhine, now I get to walk in. Because they have to walk back, I walk in. It's ebb and flow with Ana. This map is so fun for her. Uh, mostly because I, I really enjoy playing Ana with Ryan, even though it's like kind of bad. Baptiste and Kyrie and Moira are just better. It brings me back to when I first played Overwatch. They have a fair now, so that's my job to kind of just force out. Even though we do have a hit scan, like, it's my job to just pressure her so she doesn't make my life terrible. I could rely on my teammates, but. This is just extra value I can get that'll really make a difference in those lower level lobbies. Let's see, do I think they have shatter? No, he only did 100 damage. He doesn't have shatter. If anything, I'm going to be looking to nano my Zarya after grab or my soldier if he gets a sick flank. Because on this map, it's kind of hard for him to get a sick flank. Or if the Rhine Shield breaks, that too. Still doesn't have shatter. He hasn't done any damage. I don't think I need a nano this, to be honest. He's anti, he should die. And there's also a shield in his face. I'd rather use it to get my Zarya's nan or I'll ult faster this next fight coming up. I'd rather use it as a catalyst. Even though you have this guy chirping in your ear, hey, nanomy, hey, nanomy. Sometimes it's not worth it. It's just not. Right here, I would take height, but I'm so confident that uh, we're going to get this that I'm not really worried about it. He should die. He, okay, never mind. I've got to back off now. I'm going to look to nano her when she gets shattered. Or lack thereof of shatter. How is he not dead? That right there, I was thinking that he had that ultimate. I just... I don't know. I didn't say it. But yeah, now my Zarya got that grab again. And that just wins us the fight. Uh, you can use Nano to get ults faster. And if you can win the fight just by using Visor and not really having to burn the shield first, sometimes it's better to just not really worry about it and use it for something something else. That was weird. Okay, they have a Widow now though, so I have to kind of just play this angle. And after they just did that to my team, this Widow definitely can aim. Oh... They lost their Zarya, though. We can be aggressive. And right now, I'm just kind of playing with her. I'm not going to hard scope her, though. And I thought she was going to stick. Okay, well, now she has sights. So now I'm kind of confined to the angles that I take until I see that she shoots. Now I can rotate. She's like an op. She has time that she has to recharge. So when she shoots a shot in sights, that's her time to rotate care because they can still one shot us with headshots in trank so i can't just giga walk in i still have to play somewhat safe especially when she's top she rotated back left though so i'm gonna start rotating forward away from her line of sight i 
my team opted to just walk, which honestly, I'm not against that. I just wish that I would have gotten an orb to live. Because I played it right. Like, I, I kept my sleep dart for the, the coalescence to maybe keep myself alive. But it was the right call to walk in there. Real trap shit. Maki wave with the fall. I appreciate you. Would you use Nano to save tank? So, okay. Let's shift the idea that we have around Nano. It's... Let's not think about, oh, I'm going to save someone. Oh, I'm going to create value, like, aggressively by getting damage. I'm, I'm going to kill people or I'm going to save people. Let's not think about it like that. Let's think about it in a term of, like, activation and amplification. Think of it as, like, Nano is a multiplier when used on your teammates. And it's a, uh, what should I, it's, it's a divider. It's a divisor. It's in the denominator when it's against the enemy. If I'm Nanoing my friendly... I want to think about it more as I'm deactivating the enemy to do something. So if I nano my Zenyatta and he's getting bladed by a... Wait, I get to see you in 2k, so I'm happy. I'm confused by that, George. Anyways, when, 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 when I nano my Zen there, the Genji gets deactivated because he can't kill my Zen. He can't get a dash reset with his blade. Bam. I'm done with that. If I nano my tank... It's usually like, okay, they are going to push in with... They're going to push in. They're going to kill my tank and they're going to take aggression there. If I nano my tank and keep him alive, I shift that. I deactivate the enemy and I actually activate my team to then push in. That's when I should be using nano. If I'm going to nano my tank to quote unquote save them. It's like an Uno reverse card is how I, 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 I say it. When they have a Widow, I can't play up here because they're just going to play on movie. On Zen I can because I can actually take out her out pretty easy. But Azana, it's just safer to play here. It's safer for me to look for nades from this angle than it is others. They have double snipers, so actually I just can't take any angles ever because they're cringe. And it's really boring and slow, but... We, we've, we've learned from our, our, our mistakes. Uh, so I'm going to start rotating over here because I have a feeling they're going to switch. They're not going to switch, so I'm going to walk back this way. But if they had switched, it would have been better for me to take height. I don't lose anything from rotating like that, so... We're chilling. We're just sitting on here. We're, we're, we're not letting them look at us. We're not even going to have a chance to get picked. We can still look for aggressive nades on the choke every now and then. But a lot of this is like the a lot of, okay, I'm healing my tank. Hopefully my tank does something. Hopefully my DPS win. Like just making sure they have health to take duels. So they just have a Hanzo now, so I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive. Not too bad. Not too not too aggressive because I don't know where he is. I'm slowly clearing angles. Now he's dead. Now I can just walk in. Like That's how you play Ana into double shield. Or not double shield, double sniper. But now they have a Ferris, so I'm actually going to rotate around again. It'll be much easier for me to take her out on high ground. Uh, they might have Grav, but we have Trank. See my goal here? I can force her out much easier from this angle. And she knows that, so she's going to force me off every now and then. The thing is, she's using a lot of time to do that. Ooh, wait. I need it. To... Oh, that's not good. We need to kill the Zarya, like, instantly. Ooh, damn it. I messed in the wall. Bro, Shiza. So close. So close to carrying that. So here's the thing now. They have a... Now they have Grav. We don't have Trank. I might have to use my nade to save someone and deactivate the Zarya when he gets low. Because they don't have nade either to stop that that play. So I might have to use it in a less aggressive manner. But he might just die. I might just have to use it now. Right now I'm trying to bait this grab. Well, my team died. That's a no. I'm going to go for a pick maybe. Nah. I, honestly, if that were a pro game, I probably would have went for that pick a lot faster. And we, we could have played for a retouch. But because it's ranked, people don't really look for that. They don't really know that that's something you can do. But in pro play, I'm definitely looking for a refrag. Like, a, a, not a refrag, a, an exit frag. 
into hopefully me living and actually winning it off of that. So, okay, they still have grab. I still have to... The thing is, they're going to barrage it too, so... I might just use my nano aggressively at this point. It, it's kind of a lost cause. I should have went top. So I, I wouldn't get grabbed in it too. But realistically, I'm thinking we're going to walk past this corner soon. There's the Pharah looking for it. She can tell him... Okay, well... Because that orb's coming, I kind of have to do that. Hopefully we get the grab out this fight. There it is. She missed it completely. Awesome. That makes our life so much easier. You guys don't understand. Well, I guess you do understand because I've been telling you. Now we can hold this choke if we wanted to. No, hold the choke. Okay, library corner is fine too if we want. But now they don't get grab dragon. They're, they're off the fair now, so that's... That's that as well. This is a good spot to get needs. Also to shift the tempo of the fight. because uh, I Or shift my position. Like, okay, cool. We, we got two picks. I can... Like, dude, you, you can't outthink that. You can't out pizza the hut. What is that? Okay, dude. Like, I'm supposed to know that. Imagine we lose the fight off of that. <laughs> what is that? That is absurd is what that is. Now they're on junk. <laughs> now they're on junk out. Wow, uh, they probably have trank, so I'm gonna be looking to uh, anti that when he uses suffer, because that's probably where they're gonna use it. So I'm gonna try to save my nade. Hopefully my ult hopefully my teammate uses it aggressively. But if I find an opportunity that's big before the alt, I'm just gonna do it. That's a good pick off the rip. I'm looking for like almost a flank nade because the fight will happen here 100%. <laughs> yeah, but against Azaria, especially in this situation where I want to use my nade later in the fight, and I know I want to use it later in the fight. Okay, um, oh. I want to look for something like this because they should be fine to force them out a little bit. He might come up for me. Okay, he's not coming up for me. Okay, I want to poke for Nano. But my, okay, my, my cast is looking for a play there. I'm honestly going to sacrifice the nano early just to help my cast. Okay, never mind. He got forced out. I'm still going to play here. They're taking so long that I might be able to actually build it while they walk in. Okay, I built it. Awesome. Now I have nano for the suffer, and I also can just play for nade on that as well. I had my util so I could take that 1v1 and I felt confident. If I didn't have my util, I would never take a 1v1 with a Moira. And that's just facts. The GG's. Like, Sleep Dart's one of those cooldowns that... Like, okay, there, there's a way to get better. Don't get me wrong. Instead of trying to track someone like this, understand it's a projectile. So when you hit it, you actually have a time to, like, readjust... So you're almost going to like hit it and then do a quick little flick with it as, as you go with it because it has an activation time. I talk about this in one of my Ana guides. You can look like it, it's you can almost like have an aimbot from close to mid range with it because you're doing that. But if you're not being consistent with it, it's just a matter of you need to play more and you need to get more consistent. But we have a Junker Queen again. My Moira has the healing down. I'm going to be doing aggressive uh, nades. That's my focus. If, uh, even if I like leave the fight for a little bit, it's that's okay. If I if I don't really focus on the heal, okay. Wait, they have a sniper. Where? Who is it? They have a widow, probably far right. So I'm actually gonna play in this little connector. Tried to find something on, but she ate it. It's unlucky. Where's that widow? Yeah, never never hard scoping. Just only a little peek when she doesn't know you're peeking. For now, I'm actually going to rotate point and maybe uh, force this Widow out with a nade. Yeah, because they backed off. They said, yeah, screw it. You guys can have the point. We'll just whatever. So right there, the main thing they wanted to do to win that was to play in their Widow's line of sight. We stopped that win condition by just playing behind this cover. It's not just about playing how you want to win. It's also understanding what they want to do. 
and stopping stopping them from doing that. That right there might have been a little early, but it was far again, so I'm just gonna play off of this. And now I can shift my focus to the widow. Oh, he's one. That's tragic. But again, playing out of her LOS. What does she do? She's got she hit two shots. 240 damage. She's hit two shots. The way you beat Widow is just not shooting at her. And uh, the reason why I'm talking about her so much is because a lot of you really struggle against her. I wanted to sleep her so she didn't get her ult. But... Echoes one. I want her so bad. Again, my Moira has my, my, my J Queen. I can take this 1v1 fine. Okay, until that happens. Like, that was a little absurd. To be fair, I probably should have gotten a little bit more peel from my team for that. But still, the fact that they invested so much is really going to hurt them for the rest of this fight. And we might actually be able to turn it because of that. I think we do turn this because they invested so much to kill me. And uh, this is a concept that's especially true the higher you go, though, when you can actually trust your support a little bit more. So keep that in mind, too. Like, we said it earlier, like, okay, I want to be more aggressive, but my BAP kind of sucks. Like, that, that's, it's it's true in higher ELO, but in lower ELO, it's kind of hard to trust that they're going to do their job right. So that's why I'm also saying, like, I think Ana's genu like genuinely, she's a really good beginner character because you're going to spend a lot of time focusing on the fundamentals. But once you master those fundamentals and you really get good at the character, the higher you go, the easier it is to climb because a lot of people actually utilize the opportunities you are presenting to them. So I think any reasonably skilled player that's reasonably at plat level, they probably would get the most value out of learning Ana because you can really get better at the game that way. If you don't deserve the rank that you're in, play Zen and Baptiste. You'll carry every game. Uh, but if you do deserve the rank you're in, Ana, characters like Ana and Kiriko even maybe are like the characters I would play. But I still have to do the other unranked to GMs before I really say that. So again, we're walking with our J Queen. Watch for anything that might be peeking through those holes. Higher level players tend to like shoot Zen volleys through there or have a Widow. Yep, their Widow's shooting through there. Um, so it's not the safest position ever to hold, but we got to find where she is. I think she's playing mean, but I'm not sure. That's kind of... That was a good wall. Here, though, I got to look for a play. I got to make a play because my, my J Queen died early. I need to find this Widow or find a quick scope on the Ana just to help in rotation. Yep, support carried that. Oh, that sleep dart was crazy. Did I get hit by that? That's bullshit. Damn. Oh, the unranked GM that's the most difficult is Life Weaver. It's literally impossible. This is not Don't play that character. Mercy's pretty hard, too. That fight, though, we just... um. That right there is just like would have caught me out. I like how my my Moira is actually being a lot more aggressive this map because she kind of has to be. Because they have so many angles on this map for that widow, that it, it's really helpful when the Moira actually flanks. So that's something you can learn from her. Being an aggressive Moira player on this point and letting me be more of the heel centric player is actually a really good play. So we forced them off Widow. I can play like this a little bit more aggressively. We they don't have a shield, so actually nanoing my mm. Dude. Don't walk into her. At least run away. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I forced Cryo out somehow just by looking at her. Oh, she needed Ko. If she gets Ko there, she wins. Wait! 
Junker Queen moment. Not a Junker Queen moment. Wait, maybe a Junker Queen moment still. Bro, what? Through that peak hole? That's terrible. That's unlucky. That's okay, though. We just need to get our, our alts. To be honest, our soldier kind of did a little bit of trolling by walking into the Junker Queen. Hi, hi, puppy. Hi. Hello. I slept the alt because I knew she was going to look for it there. We forced out Trank here. This is actually really good. But we're going for Blade. So that's not what I would have done with the blade there, but. Cool. I don't know where my dog is. Um, so I don't know what they have. They use tiny knees. Uh, they might have coalescence. I'm probably just going to look to nano my soldier on the flank. Because they don't have a shield to stop him. Hitting early anti there. Well, that's just unlucky that we played there. And we stuck it. Tried to go for a play where like my soldier would break walls so they could run through it. I think this is still winnable, but I'm going to be dead for a little bit. So my Mora is going to have to heal, but she's kind of flanking and she died. So unlucky. To be fair, that map is just like really good for the way they were playing it and not so great for the way that we were playing it. So. The way we want to play this, care for their widow, stop nanoing the soldier because he's really not doing anything with it and just start nanoing the Genji. Realistically, he should be getting a lot more done with it. They don't have a shield. He, he breaks the wall. He forces people to come out so that we don't have to play behind LOS. We really should have rotated away from that LOS and just played range. Like they had, they had a May and a Cass. I'd rather play range or force them into a bad spot so I can nade them than just like play for brawl. I do agree with the right side mega push. Doing some damage to the Zen in rotation forces him out a little bit. He's looking for a five orb, so I'm gonna rotate off. And that's a good pick. Thought I was gonna get him with that nade. Sleeper so she can't wall. She's dead. Awesome. That's that. That's a good start. Dude, can you not do that? <laughs> Okay, so I want to take height. Hook for my all. Nah, yeah, that's that's what we needed. We needed something that wasn't soldier. <laughs> but right here, I'm just poking for really just all charge and maybe like not really a pick. I don't need to kill myself to get a pick. Like when when they're looking for stuff like that, I'm I'm not gonna continue peeking. Gonna heal myself just for that little bit of extra ult charge. I really want this nano before they get here. Because if I can get nano, we just win. Okay, I have nano, so if they walk in, they die. I heard it too late. Good play. Either Zen to go for that flank. Like he, That's what he needed to go for to carry that. Because they were taking too long. Ooh, that's even though. 
Let's Don't even fight. I can look for a nano if we want to touch. Pass into the iris. We just gave it to him. What the hell? Oh, they have a Pharah. I don't know where this fight's going. I wish we wouldn't have given him point for 16 seconds, but here we are. They have a Pharah, so I'm actually going to be able to play a lot farther away. Because if she's going to play all the way up there, I can just force her out forever. The only thing I really have to be careful for is like maybe a May from uh, Apartments. I thought the Pharaoh already got here. I'm dead here, aren't I? Wow. I actually won that. That's a little absurd. So the reason I unscoped there is easier to dodge. Also, I'm jumping to relieve myself from splash damage. Looking for nades, looking for big nades and Amish. Depends on what they got, though. Looking for nades, looking for just as much alt charge as possible. That's what really turns the higher level games is nano. Because people make use of it. So they got a Pharah. That's what I'm going to pressure out. It's hard to do that off the rip. Just because they, I didn't know they had it before. Ooh, they have a Hanzo, too. This is going to be really hard, actually. She's playing smart, which is annoying. It's hard for me to force her out on this first point. They gotta give ticks. We're gonna go for the touch? I don't know. We're going for it, nice. She's off the map. I t my cast wanted to kill her, but... That's how you retake a sight. You give two ticks, you walk last second. Don't die, don't feed. Okay, so now I, I want to set up to force this fair out, but the Hanzo is making it very difficult for me to do that. Also, this tower is really hard to do that as well. Not a fan of this at all. No! Oh. Dude, if she doesn't get slept there, and my nano goes through in the Moira and she kills the Pharaoh, we actually win that. My Moira was activated, killing the most important character on their team. We actually win that. So... Going into the next one. Try to get our nano fast here. Helping our Genji get that kill. Nice. Taking the next fight. So now we now we have pretty much solidified that we are going to have high ground on this point, which is the, the most important thing. Not peeking that when they have storm arrows. Not peeking that in general now because he's still looking at me. Rotating the top over this way to, for better line of sight because I think my team wants to fight there. No, my Ram actually wants to fight somewhere else. All right, he wants to... I'm honestly still going to stay here because I don't want to stay behind the shield. I don't think they're... No, they're still unfair. Where, where are... Oh, there he is. She's going to look for Barrage on my team here, so I want to make sure I save sleep for it. She's looking somewhere. Where is she? She's such a rat. I think she's up here. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, she's a little she's a little irate. That's not what I wanted, but it's going to work out. Is it going to work out? I grew tired of fighting alone. You. Okay. Don't get booped off. That's that's number one. Number two is don't get pulled off. Number three is retake high ground because they're not holding it. And if we have high ground, we went, oh, shit. No! I wish my team would have held that with me, but. Alright, well, we have Cole. We almost have Suffer as well. This fight should be pretty much an instant win. I kind of want to flank and look for an aid because they might have Trank. And the Echo comes from spawn. Oh, I thought she was with her team. Their team is pretty good, pretty good. I can't really get a whole lot done this game because they're walking in very fast and we didn't take height fast enough, which just kind of sucks. Kill Zen. That's really astute observation of you. That's fun. We have Suffer still, so like reasonably should be a winnable fight. We still have our Moira alive as well. Why isn't he using it ever? Yeah, he's just getting run on. He should really just go Jacker Queen. We were going to see nine that too. All right, cool. So they probably have Jay Queen alt. They have copy. They probably have co. I need to save sleep for one of those things and I can't do all of it. The thing is that we have a Ram, so we kind of have to play for like a, what the fuck? Okay. We never killed her. That was really well timed by her, honestly. Oh, wow. She just carried. Unlucky. Alrighty. We are chilling. Waiting for Hansa to come back. They have an Arisa, so I gotta wait for her. I gotta wait for her gold to do anything. Yeah, this is gonna be a team based game. Well, now it is. Dude, I swear, they counter pick whenever we go. Like, now, now we're playing Zarya into an Arisa. That'll work. Moira's with the team. I'm going to flank. She's got the healing down. Hanzo's going to start looking at me. I'm rotating back. He'll forget about me. I'm walking forward. I'm throwing a nade. I don't think she has gold. Yeah, she used it earlier. <sighs> Playing off of your team is really important the higher you go. A lot of what, like, a lot of the old stuff I was saying, I'm not really saying as much because, one, I need to focus a little more. Two... I've said it so many times that, like, probably have it by now. But hi, Coach Mills. I hope you're doing well. Haven't talked uh, to you in a minute. Now we just want to build Nano, really, and force out this fair. Uh, but it's hard for me to do that when I don't have height. I should have taken height a lot sooner here. So I'm going to do it with Mazari now. I 
I can't hard peek it because the Hanzo's looking at me, but I can heal from angles that he's not seeing me from. Now I can peek when he's looking at other things, and there you go. It's a culmination of everything we were talking about earlier. Just a lot faster is really... I mean, that was the same thing with last unranked the GM. It's a lot faster, which makes it honestly easier to play if you're up to speed. If you're not, it makes it a little difficult. I won't lie. I really should take height here, but... I'm going to save my nade. For the... I think I hit something with nade there. He should be able to kill something. There you go. He got his dash reset. That's all that matters. The reason I wanted to save Nade was because they had Trank. So. Now they have Coalescence, I believe. Oh, no. He was on Baptiste, wasn't he? I don't know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I need to save my nade for uh, Lazaria Grav is the number one thing that we need to do. Because then uh, they won't be able to Moira heal through it. Damn. I fucked up. I didn't think about that. No way. Yeah, so... I forgot that Arisa can just cut my nade. I don't usually play against Arisa. At least I haven't recently. This is awkward. We kind of just lose. We need to build nano. Build nano, we win. All right, we win. A close fight like that where it's either way I just need to get nano when my Zarya is max charge because it's like it's like that weird back and forth oh they're on a Risa there's a better set nade for that I just used it because why not I want to see what they have before I peek this off angle. I hear a JQ. Oh, I hear a Hanzo. Okay. I forced him off of his angle so he doesn't just kill my team for free. He's playing main now. I hit an anti nade on him. He definitely can't take the angle now. But Arisa's is pressuring that way, so this is the off angle. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, no. Is that my Moira? Okay, my Moira was helping Zarya now. My Moira's helping Genji, so... What is happening? She doesn't have gold. She doesn't have this, so I can do that. She should die now. That was a weird fight. I don't really know how to explain that. That was just because I saw him through the wall. Like, there's really nothing else to, to it. She used gold, so if I get Nate again, I can use it. I can also just sleep her, too. And I look for Nate on something else. Arisa's just about waiting out gold against Ana. If you use your abilities, when she has gold, you're going to struggle. Because she does not die when she has gold. Ram also beats JQ. Ram doesn't beat JQ when Ram sits and tries to brawl JQ. Arisa again, just waiting out her gold is the main thing. Just chilling with my team to build charge as well. Looking for nades. The usual stuff we've been talking about all the time. Where Hanzo's main. I'm going to wait for that angle to be cleared. I think that angle's cleared. Yeah, I can walk. Break the turret. I think she still has gold. I think. Yeah, there it is. Tanner got ro 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 but now I can need this if she dies, surely. She should have died. I don't know what she was doing there, but uh, here we are. Getting rolled by... Uh, well.
That was a good bubble by her, actually. I missed two shots, so I had to compensate Nade. I would have rather been aggressive with it. That's a GG's. Nice team. Go next. All right. So we got a Zarya. We got a Genji. We have a lot of options with Nano here. Uh, Tempo Nanos for Zarya and Nano Blades for Genji. If you've watched this much of the unranked GM, you, you know this stuff by now. I, I don't need to really baby you anymore for this. If you haven't, you nano the Zarya for uh, the Catalyst to her ultimate if you need to, but most of the time, Nano Blade is pretty strong. Um, they have a Junkrat. Interesting. Alrighty, though. Masters 4 games. Let's, let's win these. Let's get the games going here. Let's get the games done. You know what I'm saying? Holy show wow, 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 wow. You know what I'm saying? So we're walking. Trying to just see what's going on here. I think that's a Hanzo Junkrat. No, Soldier Junkrat. Emptied the Sig there behind his shield. Ow. Really, the Sig should die. We should start walking in here. I don't know why Azari is so scared to do it. I'm going to rotate around and take this height. My Kiri should be able to heal my team while I do this because she has just high heal potential. Can't stop that. Oh, he can, though. Got that. Okay, that should open enough for my team to walk in and win this. And we didn't walk fast enough. That's unlucky. That's tough. That's tough, man. That's tough. That's like... Explain what... You, you need to take the flank angle there because when you take that space, it pressures them really hard. Please don't walk without me. They're gonna die before the fight even starts, man. Okay, that's resible though. Dude, what are we doing? This right here is still just waiting for the nano blade to go through. But once the nano blade goes through, we we, we win this part of the map, and the first point chaos that is Midtown is over. I missed. Oh. No. It's it's crazy though, because the only thing you need to do on this map is really just walk in and you win. But people just refuse to do that. Even in higher ranks too, so it's not just bronze, silver, and gold. All right, but now I remember we want to take high ground. They have three people in old spawn, so I really should be able to take this. Until their soldier starts playing top. Oh, that's not good. I thought he was taking that angle. Ooh, I should live here. Sorry, uh, come on.
Can I hit a shot? That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? So yeah, taking high ground here allows me to get more damage opportunities. Allows me just to overall play in a safer position. Which is really nice. Right here, I just need to build nano. It's that simple. Uh, because then I can nano my Genji. Maybe he can get blade fast. I'm going to drop, actually, for him. kind of want to nano him now. I'm going for it. So you can actually sometimes go for an aggressive nano without blade, if especially if they're all stacked. Because... You can get him to get his ult a lot faster that way. And also, like, the main idea is that you're you're playing to get him a dash reset. If you think you can nano this Genji in a position where he would get a kill already, and he just nano dashes through them three times, that kills all their squishies. Which is 80% uh, uh, of their team. Uh, now we're just chilling main. We're just playing high ground. We have Grav Blade coming up shortly. I don't have sleep for that, which kind of sucks because I wasn't thinking about it, if I'm going to be honest. But now they're using all their alts for this, so I, honestly, if we lose this, I'm not too upset. I think that is their, that's their Flux, Visor, Tire. They might have used one of their support, art, support alts too, not their Mercy though. See that that's like that's good. They use three alts to stop us. Now we have our we can respond with our grab with our blade. Our nano coming back after that too. This should be pretty much a win. If we can win this fight, we we will hold the momentum, that's for sure. Starts with the grab. I look to need him in there. Clean up on everything. Yeah. Blade without nano is really risky. Uh into a grab. He really should have a damage he should have had a damage boost there. But now like getting to the point where I need to get nano fast, so I'm going to rotate over here. Do I nano for Catalyst, or do I nano my Bastion to just win the game for me? And that's going to be situational depending on if that shield is up or not. Oh, well, that's not good. Ooh, wait, this is so winnable, though. Oh, no, nope, not anymore. Why would we go for that? Wait. Nah, if I, if I live there, we win. I'll probably end up nanoing my Bastion next fight after he uses Grasp, the Sigma Grasp. That'll allow my Bastion to break the shield really quick and maybe find a pick afterwards. That's, that's what I'm looking for. They have a Lucio Kiri now, though, so they're going to be looking to run on me in the back line. If I can prevent that, I can probably win this game. Uh, i probably win this fight, honestly, because Lucio Kiri is about being fast, not necessarily a lot of heals. So he's Grasp. That's big. That's step one. My Zarya is also max charge, though. My Zarya is activated. not dead no way dude oh, he must have gotten healed when he was sleeping that's not a terrible push that's holdable third point midtown is really hard to beat so i'm feeling okay about this oh well they found our they found our genji he should die for that. We invested so much util to keep him alive, though, so we just lose this fight. So we got to just play for retake now. Oh, it's going to be so hard to do that with this position. Wait, they don't have a Mercy, though. They walk point, they win. Wait, but he switched to Baptiste. Well, 
Well, I have Nana for next fight. Ass Whipper needs to get back into shape here because uh, he is trolling our game right now hard. Second point, we got to make sure we hold this well. I have Nano here. Oh, uh, do I have to Nano my... No, she's got heals from the BAP. She should be fine, right? Although she should really get Nano... Yeah, she needs that for her ult. Bro. <laughs> Bro, we MO2. That... That was such an unfortunate series of events there. <laughs> because like, if I don't get trapped, my, my Zarya lives. Also, we got grab off that fight because I nanoed her, so that's good. I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan. We're playing for grab. We're playing for grab dragon. We're playing for grab dragon. Come on. Need to get that grab like now. Don't leave the fight. It's so winnable if you just get grab. Well, I ended up just staggering because my team is slow to get back. Oh, that's so big. Wait a minute. I'm not finished. We're gonna see nine, aren't we? No, oh, wow. We use all of our ultimates, but um, it looked cool. Now we need to take height again. They're gonna have probably a Sigflux tire soon. We can actually, yeah, this is a cool rotation. I learned that 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 fire hydrant part from someone else. I don't remember who, but I learned it from someone else. A big nade on their back line. The Suzu did off immediately, which is good. They forced our ammo though, so we kind of got no value out of that. I have Nano for Zarya when they get close. They got active, so now my Zarya gets active. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it did work out a little bit by luck that we're here right now, but I'm okay with that. Because <laughs> I'm... We might be able to get a grab this fight because I nanded her last. That's a good pick. Yeah, we'll definitely have grab for the next fight coming up. Not if they res her, though. Or res him, though, rather. Uh, I don't like this at all. That's fine, I think. Third point's easier to hold. We have Grab Dragon. Just please don't blade into this too. We have Nano Blade for that. Damn, I might die here. I forgot you can press F and leave spawns. Eat better. We still have our combo. Grab. Nice. That's all of them. I wanted to nano really bad, but I held myself from doing it. 
Because it was a really risky nano to do. It's better for us to do this nano blade than it is to try to keep the Zarya alive, I think. If I have a Zen now, I gotta do a lot more healing. Yep, that sends him in, that gets two kills. Awesome. I'm okay with giving that card space for something like that. We need to get alts faster now, though. There's, they might have... I don't think they have Visor because they just used... They probably have their Sig Flux, though. So we got two fights left. I need to try to get my Nano as fast as possible. Well, that's okay. I wanted to get off height anyways. I don't like how far we're playing, though. I really don't. I need to sleep this. Do I? No, I don't. Arigato. So they have a Bastion. I don't know. Oh, they have a Bastion Ash. Wait, I can be really aggressive here. More so than usual. Because I have no fear of one shot. Take the Bastion though, so he doesn't die immediately and then hit it with an Ancy so he dies. So yeah, if they don't have snipers, you kind of have to be a little bit more active. So that your team doesn't die to what they actually have, which is a Bastion in this case. If I were to play this like I'm playing against snipers, uh, my Winston would have hell. But now, he, now he's going into a Bastion Reaper. That's immediately just not great for him. Again, this bat. Okay, we woke him up immediately. That's that's tough. I don't really have any tip for that. I, wanna, mm, I was a bad sleep because now he just gets a free Bastion. But we do have Kiriko, so yeah, fun support character. Yeah, but now I can get really active because the Bastion doesn't have um, he doesn't have uh, his turret form, so I can I can be very aggressive there. And sorry that I'm using, like, some Rainbow Six Siege terminology. I feel like it's just really good for Overwatch sometimes. Again, mid-fight, or between fights here, I'm not expecting this Bastion to get anything meaningful done. Oh, wait, we jumped out. It's tough. So I'm, I'm kind of using my... Hold up. That guy has bomb, so I need to play in a position where I'm going to be okay after this. Uh, well, the break is one. Got booped. Ah. I want to get as much ult charge out of that. That's why I needed it. It's because this fight doesn't look like it's going to be going anywhere aggressively anytime soon. Reaper has ult when he comes back. So does the Bastion, so I gotta be aware of that as well. I wanna play near my Winston for shield if he has it. Oh wow, you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll. I, not now. Reaper's looking for all, I don't have sleep for it, but I can play around cover. Yeah, well, I'm just dead. So they're just playing to hard counter. Yep, there you go. They went Diva, Bastion, Kiri. Yeah, now they're gonna switch off of the counters for him. But this this will be a lot easier now that 
Our Zarya is just going to be able to beam down their D.Va and stop their the snipers from just not letting, getting to play the game. I like that Sights. I'm playing aggressive off this because, like, I kind of want her to jump me here. I want her to jump me because then my Zarya is just going to get a free, like, win, essentially. Not, not a fan of this, though. Oh, she just didn't have TP, I guess. Starting to get a little upset though with my snipers. Here we go. Now they're switching. I can tell I'm in a higher elo because they're starting to make switches when they're not doing things. Because we're creating a lot of opportunities, it was just hard for them to get any value. What the hell? There's a Genji here. Well, they used Suzu for my sleep. That didn't even connect, but alas, here we are. That's just you playing stupid. Like, I'm not helping you there. I'm going to nano my Zarya if they run in, and it looks like we're not going to kill fast enough. She looks like she's going to... Yeah, there so. Can you kill the D.Va that's out of mech if possible? No way. No way. I could have died there. Wow. We almost lost that. Good thing we didn't troll. So they have a ball now. I'm going to still play height and play really aggressively here. I'm not really scared of ball and Ana. I'm going to be completely real. Especially when I have a Kiriko. Because I can just kind of nade myself. Uh, it's not as powerful as it was before. That's for sure. But it's still like kind of free all charge too, which is nice. I built half my ult off of this ball being stupid. Oh wait, that Kiri's that Kiri's dumb too. You know what's crazy? I suck at aiming. Oh, that was really dangerous. Good thing I. Mm, this is bad. I'm gonna look for a flank play. I think my my Kiri has this unlock. me. I was using that as cover, but she can't shoot through that. Oh, kill the ball. I need help too. Alright, I'm taking high ground. Maybe I'm not taking high ground because my team's going up. I can nano my ball here if he gets on a sniper. I can also just nano anyone that's getting forced out by ball. Probably looking for ball though. Yep. Because he didn't think he was going to die until I nanoed him. And then he's like, oh, well, there's something I can do now. He has mines for sure. I checked back to see if my Mei had uh, lost any health there. Man, I should, I should not miss that. Okay. Realistically, like... I shouldn't have to scope in there and heal my Widow. My Kiri should just be healing her there, so I don't have to do that, and I can live. Because uh, if I have to hard scope, I'm very susceptible to Widow, like we saw right there. I probably could have unscoped from that range and still gotten heals fast enough, but I wanted to really make sure she lived. She shouldn't be living or dying back there. We also realistically should probably get off of the Widow too when they're running a ball tracer. But right now, we have one more fight. I'm pretty close to Nano. The way we win this is if I live and build my Nano. The Widow's playing upper. I don't have anyone contesting that right now, so I'm going to play under. Force out their tracer. She doesn't have recall. Problem is that that tracer probably has pulse, and I can do a whole lot of nothing right now. There's a ball here now too. 
He's gonna wake up. I can't really do anything. I want to keep my nade so if I can get back to the fight, I can do something. What is playing top? Yeah, this is just an L. I did hit a big nade, but I don't think this is getting anything. Ah. <sighs> So like there's crazy things you can do you can force tracers off of you you can you can do this and make them use so much utility but at the end of the day sometimes you're still gonna lose fights because team just is not inputting to the level that they should be mostly because this widow wanted to stick widow for the entire map which dude they're starting to force you out. We should probably just switch off the Widow. If you're not taking height, if you're not calming for height and taking it, then you should probably just go something else. We'll be honest. I don't think we'll lose this game, knock on wood. But if we do, I'm probably just going to dip after this one. I'm not going to lie, y'all. But we have a we have a sigma, so we're not gonna play close angles. It's really just about being quick scoping, trying to just get as much alt charge while they don't look at me as possible. Impactful nades, not so much. Nades to get some alt charge, yeah. Just why Ana isn't that great on these maps. They have a ball though, so actually impactful nades big time. Let me reload. Hey, oh, wait, no, she's still on Widow. I just thought she was the one that switched. Oh, she's on main now. Awesome. Hey, we just win this game now, like actual. kind of like Zen where I'm like comp repeatedly like kiting them out but I'm also playing next to my team so my team can like get some value off of it it's a very active play style you just didn't kill that widow yet there you go so yeah nano honestly I want to use it aggressively on Sega I just don't think it's going to get a lot of value I can nano my Ash in mid fight if she gets a good angle or I could just nano my Kiri so she doesn't die it's kind of what it's going to come down to here because there's not a whole lot of value we're going to be getting with them uh, against them. I could also nano my sick to keep them alive. My widow though, she's just dead. Like, I'm sorry. My sick's actually taking a fight on point. Again, I'm not forcing a kill. I want one, trust me, but I'm not forcing it. I'm just playing to live there and create opportunities for my team to just kill. Living there is the most important thing, especially like in any dive comp, it's just living. Now they have a Genji too, so they like really just don't want our widow to play the game. It, it's, it's so hard, it takes a lot of focus just to play to live and also peel and see where the situation's going. missed that's gonna cost us yep you miss once you lose to be fair it is a ball so i should hit every shot but yeah i think this is just now now that i'm dead mm, no no nope our sig died if our sig lives there we win
That doesn't kill her there, really? That's annoying. Okay, we have Winston now, though, so... Life's easier now that we have double hits cannon on Winston. Once we get off those snipers, trust me, this game gets a lot easier because they, they can't really do anything on the characters they were playing. Surprisingly, they were somehow making it work for like three minutes, but it's not going to be consistent. Now we me immediately start killing this ball. It's going to be a lot easier. Didn't need the Suzu there, but eh, whatever. One. There we go. All right, we're gonna play the Nano V Monkey onto the back line. The back line is super susceptible to jumping on. They got a Genji. They got a. They got a Hanzo. They got a Brig. Yeah, this is this is susceptible. I missed. Oh, you know, walking to my team so I don't die now. No. So as much as I'd like to say that that was calculated because I knew they had blade, it wasn't. But in that situation, it's okay to go for a sleep on something else to stop their push when they don't have nano blade because Suzu kind of stops that dash reset thing from happening. If it's nano blade though, that doesn't count. You got to sleep that. Now they're going Diva to stop the monkey. The visor here is getting nothing because they just have a Diva in his face. Have to be more, dude. What? I'm behind the wall. Oh, that's annoying. The fucking payload pushed me a little bit. And I die. I think we maybe get another touch here. What are we doing? Why do we get off the monkey and go like some sim shit? What are we doing? I guess it's because they have D.Va, but... Okay, we're going to reset. We're planning to kill their D.Va now. Okay. Still just going to get Nano on the Zarya. I'll look for nades when the D.Va DM is down. We got to be more proactive with our positioning here, though. Luckily enough, like, third point is really hard to cap on this map. And we, they don't have a lot of time to build alts, so. It's not looking horrible. It's not looking great, but it's not looking horrible. No storm arrows. Rotate. I think that's their casty, yep. He's going to look for a high noon from top. No way, he pushes me. That's crazy, dude. There's nothing I can do to stop that. The only thing I could do is buy time for my team, and that's what I tried to do my best there. I think it worked out. That still hits you. Good to know that stairs don't protect LOS there. Like, my hitbox isn't low enough. I like how aggressive we're being. This is really good. Our turn, our turn. Nice. We have grab now. We can hold this beginning choke very easily. It's a big nade. Whenever there's a, whenever you're grabbing around cover, try to utilize that cover to splash a nade so you don't have to worry about playing against the shield. The only difference is like if they're on Arisa because Arisa is like weird she has a really big hitbox that that might not have worked they have ball now so we just got to live against that okay we can't all look at that though he's top I hear that the Hanzo is going to try to force me out here so I rotate my position He's still up here looking for me. 
actually going to take the duel with him soon because I have nade. He actually got forced off already, though, so. Nice. Keep going. One more. Again, this is kind of like Circuit. Kind of like Circuit where I'm just uh, playing to take angles. With my team, not pushing too aggressively, not pushing too defensively, just living against what they might have. This might change depending on a lot of different circumstances. Like, uh, I don't know, what's a circumstance that I'm thinking of? Like, if they don't have double sniper or if they don't have a Genji or anything that's going to jump on me, they have like a Casty May, I can be really aggressive against a comp like that. Uh, the thing is, I just don't anticipate them doing that, so I'm going to start play by playing like pretty safe. It was a little late, but it did hit. They also didn't walk out. Widow's top, okay. That's just like our little recon shot. That's what you should avoid doing. Bro, wait, you're just gonna not... You're not gonna step up? Yo, stop being a... Pussy. There we go. Forced out that res early. Don't be scared when they're not looking at you and you have a team with you. It's, it's kind of the same idea. Oh, shit. That's when I should be scared. Not going to lie. I uh, saw that she was using her axe there, so... I, I, I recognize that that's her best ability, J-Queen, right now, so... If I can stop her from axing, she will actually die and not have so much health regen. She'll have to give up the push if I can do that. There we go. She's antied off of her axe, so she should die. She somehow didn't. What's up, Diana? I'm just living, just chilling. I don't really know where the widow is. Right now, I'm just playing to build Nano, and Nano my Ryan is their J-Queen. They might... No, they definitely don't have their blade yet. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this bitch is not fucking peeking me. Dude, this is just annoying. Wait. Hey, I'm living. <laughs> Big splash. <laughs> I got 50% to my next nano. Because I have a Kiri, I can be more aggressive. It's just annoying because, like, these fights, I can't really do a whole lot on this map. I want to do more. I'm trying to do more, but it's... I can only do so much. They have sights, so I don't really get to just push this. I have to make sure I jiggle and make it hard for them to shoot me on the angle. Monkey sleeping, forcing him to lose his push. We got the... Oh, wait. He might have blade. I need to save my sleep for that. He definitely has it. He's anteed. We have a Suzu for it, so I don't need it. That's the thing. I, I only really think about like if they have nano, but I'm pretty sure they used nano on their J Queen earlier, and she's not out. He she's not out healing and damaging me, so I'm getting my nano before her. If I don't have it, she doesn't have it, kind of thing. Damn! Imagine if he would have slept someone there. I would have been so mad. I don't know what to nano here. It's kind of like nothing to nano.
My my Kiriko's a little rough. This is just like one of those maps on support. No matter what you play, it's really hard to carry. I want him to dash on me so bad. Yeah, no Widow next round is going to be awesome. It means we're going to win. Akiriko forced me off height there by shooting the deflect. Which is a little bit annoying. Third point hold, though, is very possible. Oh, great. I can't take that height anymore. Get a big slam. Nope. Taking the high ground here, though. Learn this one from Shocker. That's just like stuff that you just shouldn't go in for. I'm going to be honest. That's stuff you should just let them die for being stupid. Because you're going to die too if you jump in there. This will be the moment they got the pick. That was that was enough. Like they should have been out. Got to reload because they're probably going to take a jump on us. Interesting. What do I... I guess I can know the overclock. That was really good peel for my Akiri that time, actually. Good for her. Now that I don't have a Widow, I can be a lot more active. So them agreeing to not go Widow is actually kind of... It was benefiting the supports more than it was anyone else. She already overclocked those, so I'm probably just going to end up nanoing the Ash on her angle. Or nanoing the Bob. That could also be really big if they use Sleep Darts, but they have to use Sleep Dart first. If they don't use Sleep Dart, um, it's just going to lose out on a lot of value. So Monkey's going to look to jump on me here with Primal. I'm going to have to save Sleep for that. Oh, I'm anti That's bad. Run away. Run back in. He's in Suffer. He needs to live. He also doesn't have a Sleep Dart to work against, so that also helps him a little bit get more value. Because they slept the Bob. Although that is a little bit of an overall, because we overcommit three ultimates to win that fight. The thing is, they also committed a lot of resources, so... Awesome. A third point hold on Junker Town is very good. It's a very good thing that we did that. Makes this game a lot easier to win. Um, also, just not having to deal with Widow first point if they stick to it. Chef's Kiss. That'd be so awesome. Alrighty, let's do this. We have a Reinhardt. It's really just playing slow. Oh, that dude's playing. Bruh, he's playing Widow. Where am I? Oh. I am forcing her attention away. Like. Oh, it's huge anti. Oh, 
That's the kind of stuff you gotta look for. Oh, I don't want to play cart, but my team's making me. I really want to look for a flank nade here on the side of that wall. My team's saying, you know what? Nah, I don't want you to. Now that you want me to. I missed all those shots, really? I want to pull this Genji to me. Yes, it's happening successfully. The pressure was pulled. They don't have a Widow. Oh, they have a Widow now. No more peeking. Unless someone else is peeking first. Oh, we got point. Awesome. That could have been really bad that we lost our Widow there. Dude, she's not dead, really? Trying to go for aggressive plays. Like, honestly, this map, I feel like it's easier. Oh, what the heck? Well, I can't play in the LOS at this time. I'm just going to have to receive it. Can you shield me? Okay. It's okay. That's a little bit of a hard one to... That's a little bit of a hard one to catch if you're a lower level player. Like, I can't rotate away because they have a Widow. We have Nano, but it's not going to go on anything. Okay, he's just got to live. He also hit a crazy shatter that's going to get a pick if I Nano him. Any other circumstance, though, a Nano against a nano with Ryan against that comp is not going to get anything done. Again, I don't want to take Cart, but... In solo queue, sometimes they're not going to let me do... Okay, no, they are. Awesome. I'm off. They definitely have Nanoblade, so I'm looking to sleep that. Cool. What is playing bottom right so I can take all of the space for free? Hello, Kuro. We're walking forward, and we're chilling. Awesome. I think they're, yeah, they're on his top. Where's their Widow at? I hear her. Oh, okay. Never hard scoping, baby. Force this monkey to come top and then I will drop. From the top, make it drop. For this, uh, yeah. Forced out sleep. Okay, well, he's going to jump me now. Sleep him off. Wait, he, oh, well, I forced Primal. That's big. Now I have to save my sleep for the Nano Blade that's incoming. Oh, I didn't think it was going to happen that fast. Well, I still have sleep. Oh, I missed. I'm terrible. That's my first Nano Sleep I missed today. I'm terrible. It's okay. We have three and a half minutes to get third point Junker Town. After Shatter, we're probably going to switch. Make sure that this guy doesn't get the res. Oh! Holy shit, that was crazy. Was scary. It's a big anti. You have a Kiriko to heal you. I don't know who to nano here. It's probably going to end up being either Kiri or my Ash. Or whatever my Ryan's going to hit here. Or we'll just win. Awesome. That's the last game of the stream. What are we at? We are at Masters 4. So, I don't like being in VC off the rip. I'm only going to join when I absolutely need to. On a, yeah, on a, honestly... After yesterday, she feels a lot harder to carry than she used to. I think that it's just the fact that Junker Queen exists and, like, she kind of defines the game right now. It's not really a support-centric game, I feel. Kiri's also really strong, which makes Ana a little bit harder to play, but... 
We're 20 and 6. You can still climb. It's just, I think Zen is just always going to be easier when in lower elos because people don't run like Sombra Tracer to just mess you up. <laughs> and if they do, they usually suck enough that you can just 1v1 them. And on there's a lot more steps. But okay, we got we got a Sigma on this map. Before we had an Arisa, I wanted to play down here because she's a more brawly character. She still should probably have played up here at least at the start. The Sigma, though, will most likely play up here and will probably just play a lot more passive just because he sets up team to be a lot more passive but is that actually what he's gonna do not so sure not so sure they have a may junk on a junker queen yeah so i definitely don't want to drop uh, unless my team like absolutely plays down there it's the only time i'm really gonna drop it's if i absolutely need to nana's probably gonna go to whoever this junker queen can end up walking on whenever i do get my nano or just do my bastion i don't want to use anything quite yet I'm gonna just make this harder for the junk rat. I want him to really have to commit to kill me. I'm not gonna invest nade on that. I am gonna invest nade on that though. Try to kill that J Queen, but yeah, our, our, our six should not be playing that close to a J Queen. There's not a whole lot I can really do there other than try to go for a pick here. Did successfully get one. It's gonna make it a little bit easier for my team. Help my junk or my Bastion. I don't think he needs any help anymore. Should just win that 1v1 better but first game of the day makes my mechanics a little rusty it's okay though because our signal will be back soon we're still in this fight that's that's a win that's a win fight right there oh she stopped damage boosting me i can make that jump i know i can there we go that's an easy way to get back on height if they do push the cart there so it's almost advantageous to keep the cart here but against that composition, with the way that we're playing it, I have to play really slow. I can't really just walk into the J-Queen. I'm going to try to get my ult this mid-fight. At least in their comp, they're playing not characters that don't really synergize with each other. So I can look for flank nades and just try to get like picks when they walk through. Which is really what we should be playing for. Uh, because they don't have like speed boost to keep up with their J-Queen. They have like very slow DPS. Uh, that was just, again, another mistake. I try to anti that J Queen for maybe a pick. No, we can't kill her. I do have Nana though, so like if they try to step on us, I'm just gonna Nano our Bash and we should be fine. That was interesting. I needed to keep her alive there. And she's. Dude, what the fuck is she doing? Dude, she's one. I don't care if you're flying. J Queen's gonna try to walk on me here. I'm trying to just play to dodge her knife. We touch point. Touched point. Oh, it's super winnable. That hits me from that far? Dude. That's a little bit absurd. That's a little bit absurd. Wow, 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 wow. Our Sigma and Hanzo still need to learn to just play range from this J Queen or else we are going to get run over. And okay, I think he's probably switching if he's gonna look for a flux there. I tried to nano my mercy so she'd live. But then she just went for a battle mercy, which I I don't I don't agree with that. I think she should have just lived and pocketed our bastion. That was the play. Alright, we have a Doomfist now, which is a little bit better into what they have. Dude, Kiriko. We should be able to heal that. J Queen's looking to walk up on me on left side. That's what I hear. So I'm just going to not let her do that for free. Hit her with an anti-nade. Dude, my team is just dying. It's just stupid stuff. I can't take that left height because I'm going to break that tire because it was kind of telegraphed pretty early in the fight. Oh. Okay. I don't really know what I can do this game to carry any harder. I kind of just need to kill their backline more efficiently, but my mechanics are not super sharp right now because I just got on. My team is also kind of up oh, and we, we had a lever. So, um, yeah, maybe we just weren't destined to win this game. I don't know. 
heal our Bastion challenge. You're right next to him. I can see that my Kiriko is also struggling a little bit to keep my team alive. So I might need to shift my focus to more heal centric as well. All right, they invested Nate on me, so. Anti that mercy for my doom to maybe get a kill. Looks like it's not going to happen, though. I'm going to just try to. Oh, never mind. We're walking. We're walking. We got a kill. We shift that focus into a progression once we get that opportunity, and it's actually take. Oh, I can't go up that far. That's Kiriko's job to go that far. I'm probably just going to stay in the match until everyone else leaves. It's usually how I go about it. Wow. How, what, what hit me there that. One shot me. Oh, I must have gotten headshot by an icicle. That's unlucky. Good shot on why not. I'm not going to lie. Good shot on him. They probably have tires. So I'm going to look to break that. The problem is like you kind of have to look for those aggressive plays when you're down a player. Hmm, well, don't think there's a lot we can do this game when we're down a player now. Other than, I guess, not get killed super quickly for no good reason. But I'll probably play, like, another minute. And if it doesn't work out and people leave, I guess we'll just take an L to DC. I'm probably going to end up nanoing my Genji for first point just because it's so hard to push past that I kind of want to make sure that the nano blade goes through. And we get that first point because after first point, this map's it's it's e a lot easier to get stuff done. There's a lot more options I have to walk around, so we're gonna see how we actually play this out. Our job: build nano quickly. That is that is our job when we're playing first point potty so and first point really any choke point. There, that dude still plays sig. This is really awesome for us. After that, Bastion uses his turret form. We can jump in and counterattack. Could try to look for a bank nade. I hit the sig. He's half. Oh, I'm trapped. Not anymore. What was that? That was weird. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That was a dumb ricochet. Try to rotate around to this high ground. Our Bastion's giving to us. Just going to try to live so I don't die to this junk spam. And my monkey just falls over. Monkey's not going to be very fun into that comp. I will I will be honest. But still, it's just going to come down to building nano as fast as possible, which I want to do by doing damage. I don't know if that's plausible, though. Just need my Mercy to heal me so she can get Valk, too. Put the Bastion to sleep. That's his turret form down so we can rotate in. That one, you can't really hit all the time, so I wouldn't necessarily kill yourself for it. Just want to make sure my Winston lives here. I need to live. I need to just live for nades so I can get a nade on something for him. They gave me a window of opportunity there to scope on my Winston because he wasn't looking at me anymore. But I think this is a dub. Yeah, after that pick, I don't need to invest Nano. We, we, we've got more than enough to win this. I will save my sleep, though, in case... That Sigma goes for, like, a hero flux play. Because sometimes they'll do that at this rank, and sometimes it'll actually work because their mechanics aren't, like, completely terrible in Masters. But we don't have a Genji anymore, so I'm probably going to nano the... Uh, well, I, I could nano the Soldier, but it's probably just going to go to the Winston because they do have a shield. But it depends on, like, how the enemies use... Oh, that Bastion's one. Sup that Bastion so my monkey can live a little bit longer. Oh, that's big. Good job. Good job, Tracer. Good read. Oh, well. I guess bad read on that. Yeah, Mercy can get the heals on monkey because she needs her alt still. I already have mine. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be uh, nanoing my Winston here when he jumps out. Oh, he got caught. That's tough. Still, there's Junkrat's going to go top there. Oh, wow. I missed that. Uh, they definitely have Sigflux, so... 
gonna gonna save for this. <sighs> Shit, dude, I've, I haven't hit a single one of those yet. I feel like that's like so hard to hit, unironically. Right there, I try to use the high ground to kind of save myself. Because sometimes it can mess up their ult. I'm going to get on car here so we get it faster. But that's their Bastion, Nano, Flux. They use like everything they have other than carry ult. Empty the Bastion there so it's easier to kill him if we want to dive. And now, now my monkey's making so much space for me. After that punch, I'm pretty much good to go. Until he powers punches. No. That was tough. We they kind of just stopped our push with that anti nade. I tried to anti their their doom so we were even, but I kind of missed. Oh, they used Suzu though. Wait, that's a big anti. Oh, I went for the pick. Ugh, I was so close. Well, I got Nano. That's that's the biggest thing here. So if he wants to jump, hit an anti so it's easier for him to clear stuff up. We got the Suzu out early. I found an opportunity there where I knew I had an angle to hit a big nade and I had m my nano. I just wanted to pack that fight up right away. So when you see an opportunity for you to carry like that, like that's how you carry an Ana. Especially if you can trust your Winston because he's like been doing well all game. You know he's going to have that aggression in him. Uh, you, can, you can use your team to help you carry harder. Okay, well that was his own dumbness. We lose this fight now. Monkey went a little bit too deep there. I missed my sleep. Oh. Don't shoot the power block. Right now, I'm just trying to build a new nano. Backing off because that reaper is going to try to force me off. Force that reaper off. Now I can actually still be aggressive here. They're realistically not going to get a lot of their support all off of me damaging the Ana. Because like, that's the one that they're going to try to build. You're not, you're not going to build rally off of me shooting the, the Ana. I was going to sleep the bash in there, but it worked out. We can definitely kill this guy here. I think we can win this fight. Damn, he just got healed so fast. They don't have Nate. They don't have it. Yeah, they don't have Suzu though. So I'm going to just try to live against this Doom. My Arisa should be fine if she has gold. Yep, she has gold. That's a Reaper ult coming up, so I'm going to walk away from it. Nice. No deaths, a lot of damage, alongside some decent heals too. So that was a good game. So here's the other thing, right? I also didn't touch upon this. So I, I think before yesterday, I was talking in lower elos like, hey, I want to build my Nana. I'm trying to do as much damage as possible. I, I did say that you probably shouldn't be shooting tanks. You should only really shoot a tank if it's like the last thing. That you want to shoot because you don't get as much all charge off of that it, you're wasting your time if you can hit a squishy hit a squishy the big thing is though you want to make sure that if you already have your ultimate you only are looking really for damage if you want to like poke for a kill or poke to pressure someone not just to not just to like get ultimate charge because you don't you already have ultimate you don't really need to get ultimate charge so you're just giving them ultimate charge. You're giving their their supports ult if they they don't already have it. If they already have it, you should really just like poke no matter what. They have a Hanzo now though, so me being aggressive on that angle is gonna be hard. I do have my Zen here, so like we can ping pong back into this. But they forced us off that high ground, and I don't know really where my team went, so I kind of just have to back off. They still have a Hanzo, so I'm not in love with my position here. It's going to be very difficult. I got to rotate all the way over to the left if I'm going to live this. My Zen was too late, so he's going to die. We got to play for retakes. That anti nade and heal is going to really help us win this fight in the 1v1. I missed. Wow, I'm so terrible. I have to hit that Winston if we're going to carry that. Unlucky. This is why you warm up a lot more than I do when we play. But... You know, time is of the essence for this, so. Okay, we're on Kiri now, which is probably better for him since his rotations were a little bit off. They do have things that are going to force me off the high ground, so I can't just play there all the time. But if the monkey uses jump, I can be a lot more aggressive off this height. My Kiriko's there, though, so I'm going to just hop over here real quick. 
My Kiri should be just fine at helping them there, but they just kind of got destroyed, so. Instead, I'm going to hide. Hopefully they don't see me. I don't think they saw me. I think they saw me now. So I'm going to keep walking back to this Mega. Let's wait for my team to come back. It looks like we're actually going to try to kill this Winston, so... I think their Hanzo's on left side. I'm going to try to force him off that angle. Yep, that'll do. I'll probably die for this, but we still have Kiriko. Okay, I need to stop trusting this Kiriko because she's, like, letting my team die consistently. Like, every single fight. I don't trust her anymore. I'm going to start playing with my team. Really, she shouldn't be letting my team die against that. Especially if I'm, like, forcing out their Hanzo every single fight, but... Investing to win this fight. I gotta look to sleep that blade if he comes to me, but I can't really do anything if he doesn't. Let's play for Nano. Sleep the monkey, run away. Look for a big nade mid fight here. Kill the Genji, he's won. Oh, he got packed, so we just lose now. Damn. That's a fight where I. I did pretty much everything I could do there, I feel. Um, maybe if my team can live just a little bit longer, I can come back and heal. Holy crap, they actually lived. I need to play closer to my team so he doesn't just jump on me for free. There we go. Okay, this is when. <gasps> Okay, this is not just win yet. The so Genji's looking for a spawn or a, a C9. I heard him. You're not slick. Okay, I'm gonna play a lot safer here and play to just heal my Winston because my Kiri is really struggling right now to keep my team alive. Like I still got more healing than her, and we were like kind of close last round, so. I'm going to play to bait their Winston's jump and support my team killing their Winston. I, I think that's a lot easier. They probably have Primal. There it is. There's no way you're going to jump again with no support from your team after that. So I'm going to save Nade for myself as a result. Anti him now while he's low. To be honest, that was kind of on my Kiri for playing so poorly there again. Something tells me that this guy doesn't play Kiriko a whole lot. And I'm just going to build my Nano. Cool. I have my Nano for next fight. Man, like, he's getting every Suzu denied. I still need to look for damage, but the healing, I still need to make sure I'm keeping an eye on that. I'm not missing some, like, important stuff. That right there, she's going to die no matter what. Gonna help my Reaper get deep there. I he really should have just killed the monkey with the nano. Like you have so much damage onto that monkey. Alright, so I'm not nanoing my Reaper if he doesn't have the macro knowledge there. I'm just gonna keep nanoing my monkey. Monkey's gonna stage to jump me here after a shot. I gotta back up. There it is. Mm, I missed Nade, that's not good. Hey, he jumped away? Oh, you're on a please? Okay, my Kirika really sucks. Like she is a new level of bad. So, there's like no no trust I can put into that person. She is really bad. Like, it's a new level I've never seen before. Um, I really got to play safe. And like play to bait. I have to play nearly pristine if I want to win this game. Okay, if he jumps me, I'm going to sleep him. There it is. He probably has primal, so I'm just going to back away from this. I, I have to be out of this fight because he's, he's he's gunning for me. Kiriko has Suzu still, so she shouldn't die, but that's what the the one the Winston's thinking. Like, Kiriko has Suzu. I'm not jumping that. I need to kill the Ana here. Force out that Ana from having a good angle. She dies for that. That really wasn't that nice of a shot, but he was just kind of standing still. 
They definitely still have Primal. They're on the Reaper now, so they're really going to be playing to kill my uh, monkey. This is good, though, because this means that I can be really aggressive in the mid fight because all I have to worry about is the monkey jumping on me. He does have Primal, probably. Oh, he's on BAP now. He's really going to have a hard time. I just have to worry about the monkey jumping on me, so I'm going to try to play around my Reaper if he's going to play in these weird positions. It... Since he's the one that's going to be able to melt this monkey pretty fast. So there's the Primal. I'm going to stage to be a little closer to my Reaper whenever this guy jumps me, if he does. All right, that's actually good. I don't know why we aimed that. Okay, I might look to actually nano my Reaper here. Oh, that's my Bap, so she doesn't die. Uh, that's not a terrible nano. Oh, I didn't know he was that low. To be honest, that, that nano kind of worked out because he was jumping my Bap too. And Bap's just kind of dead meat whenever he gets jumped. So that wasn't the worst nano. I kind of wanted it to be the Reaper so he could clean up the fight. I'm, I'm not against how that panned out. I'm not going to even try to peek a Hanzo when he sonared me. But we got three big alts. Or really just two big alts to win this. They don't have Primal. They might have a Reaper alt built. So I'm going to actually look to sleep that when I get it back online. Here comes his Reaper alt soon. Oh, never mind. It's dead. Dead in the water. Oh, that's just... That was really good bubble play by their monkey. We still have... Still have mail. So this is going to really stall the point out for us. Oh, that's going to kill the Ana. That's huge. That's a huge pick. We got to play for window here aggressively. So I'm going to take a different angle than our BAP so that we don't get jumped at the same time. At least we have one support alive. Monkey sleeping. Going to just keep myself alive. My BAP's dead, so I got to look for heals. Okay, it doesn't matter. We played that fight really poorly as a team. But still, okay, this is going to come down to me getting nano, me carrying, because my other support is pretty bad. Yep, so this is all just about, hey, let's get nano blade and let's win. That's, that's the plan here. But look like... It's weird because there's some opportunities where I'm like, I just have to do damage here. There's other opportunities where it's like, okay, my support is just not going to be able to keep these people up. I need to focus on healing. Because uh, I'm not I'm not able to... With my mechanics, I'm realistically not able to do as much damage as is needed to just like do, what, 20,000 damage in a game? Like, I'm not, I don't have that good of mechanics. Uh, so, and neither do you. I, Awkward's like the only one that has that much mechanics is doing this kind of, this kind of content. Okay, I have a J Queen. I have to just make sure I don't get walked on while I build Nano here. They dropped on my monkey. Oh, I thought they were going to go right. They didn't go right. They went left. I'll walk up here a little bit. My Kiri should have that monkey. Like, that. that's pretty... That's like plat level heals. Okay, well. She used Suzy way too early. I... I... Put too much trust in her, I guess. So how did I not hear her footsteps? Or maybe I was just talking that whole time and I didn't. Embarrassing, mate. Alright, still. 40% nano. I can probably get it if we have a good fight here. It's just that... Playing against a Junkrat May or not Junkrat, Hanzo May is like impossible to build stuff. I need something. In. Oh, that's Kiriko is so dead. She should be so dead. Okay, you know what? That's not a, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. They used their probably their most game breaking, game changing alts. We have five alts coming online. This game is definitely winnable. So long as no one gets picked right now, it'll be should be smooth sailing. Just get a nano blade and walk it down here. Just gotta be careful for J Queen jumping out. So 
support my Genji by killing the Mei. She used an axe, so I'm clear to go. And see, just like that, that's exactly how the game is played. You build two minutes worth of ultimates, and you win the game. May Blizzard isn't going to do enough when your Genji is just cutting them up way too much. The only way she would have won that is if they somehow jumped off high ground to bait the blade and then played points with the mail that was already pre-set up. That's like kind of the only way they were going to win that. And I don't think a master's level May is going to be like, oh yeah, team, let's do that. I mean, that just doesn't seem characteristic of what they would do. All right. So this map, it's just like we said before. It's about understanding that you want to take that high ground and just chilling on the high ground. If they mirror a Junker Queen, then I'm just going to walk with my Junker Queen or just stay high. It depends on a lot of different situations. But I'm going to start base by going height. I think they have a ball. So I'm actually going to play with my J Queen here. Not a fan right now of the ball comp they're playing. It's very annoying to play into as Ana. I feel much safer on like a Kiri or a Moira or a Lucio. Try to anti the back line so she could walk on something. Realistically though, the reason why I'm playing close to my J Queen this game and not if they were on J Queen is because I'm much safer when my J Queen has a an easy like knife or an easy axe on a ball can you damage boost me bro okay that'll work so honestly this entire game i'm probably not even gonna play height because they're gonna be able to force me off really easily i'm just gonna play right next to her so she can have a free axe a free knife a free anything and anything that's gonna jump me uh, you don't always play on a like a sniper sometimes you play her aggressively up close i don't really want to 1v1 that it's not my job, but I have an on I have a mercy pocket, so I should be fine. I missed my sleep because I'm terrible at the game, and to be honest, we kind of all are because <laughs> I'm sure y'all have missed those sleeps too. I still have my mercy pocket, so like I should be fine to just chill here every now and then. I'm gonna nano my J Queen here actually. Sleep the Wait, that didn't sleep him? All right, well here we are. Just gonna mess around with him a little bit, waste his time. When you have a mercy pocket, you're you're not gonna die, realistically. The mines are still up. It's just so egregious. Okay, now they're not. Now he's anti. I have mercy. We good. Like you, if it's just a ball and you have a mercy pocket, you're good. If there was ball on someone else, you're not living. But because it was just ball, I could live there. Um. Still, for most of the time, I really want to play close to my J-Queen and do damage, set her up with opportunities to kill things in the back line fast if that's what she goes for. It's about staying safe and still creating opportunities. You just do it in different ways. Again, he's forcing point. This guy's so weird for doing that. He really shouldn't. I feel like someone else should be sent to force point. But Now he dies because he's anti -ed. I didn't anti him off the rip because there's no need to. Oh, is he actually he actually got a kill. That's just weird. This is not good. I got booped off there too. I that comp low key though is like so terrible to play against <laughs> on this map the way that we're playing it realistically one of our dps should be sent to point to just deal with the ball with the mercy pocket and our, our junker queen should be up close I mean, we got two picks so i'm just gonna start walking in uh, dude, what do you need help oh you need to fly there you go. And now I'm just walking in. There's really nothing to be afraid of when I have a mercy pocket. A 
Aggression. Aggression beats ball. When you're playing Junker Queen. It's not even aggression. It's just like, to be honest, I'm kind of playing safe. She's just... Oh, we, we woke her up. Let me let my tracer clean these people up that come on point. She kind of trolled by just playing in a corner there. <sighs> but I have more damage than healing there because, to be honest, I'm just playing with my team. They're, they're gunning to kill me. I'm the one that needs the healing. That's why my Mercy has so much healing, because I just play next to my team. I bait the ball to me. They kill the ball. That's how you beat Dive. You don't beat Dive by playing Sniper Grandma. You beat Dive by playing with your team and getting up in their face. You beat Brawl. You beat things that want to walk onto you very quickly. That's how you beat, that's how you beat the uh, Brawl comps. You play Sniper Grandma. But when you're playing... Against Dive, you're playing uh, Bounty Hunter Grandma. Close in their face, Grandma. Now they have a Farah, so playing next to my team is actually going to be a lot harder than usual because now they're just going to splash me. So that's kind of like the counter to this, just playing the, the easier play style. So I also have to kind of force her out when I get the opportunity to, but it's hard to do that on this map because I love Ilios. So right now... Oh, wait. She's trolling. Awesome. I can walk now. Oh, I missed. She just got balled on. So unlucky that I had a reload there. What a sleep. Honestly, what a sleep. Anti that Moira after she already used Fade. Help my Hanzo live. Just play to live off this Moira. I'm not trying to kill her. I'm just trying to live. Wow, that ball is crazy. That ball had the craziest fight of his life. Pingo just had the craziest fight of his life. That was that was really good on him. Slamming that mercy like that was crazy mechanics. Force that fade off the Moira early. Help her get the kill there. I need to save my sleep for the Pharah this fight or the or the blade. But honestly though, I'm a little bit more a little bit more afraid of the blade than anything. The team's setting up to be aggressive here, so I kinda have to as well. She's setting for it. There we go. I got hit by that? Really? I really don't know where my team is trying to set up here. I'm finding demons at back here. Against this ball. Kill the Mercy because I had the opportunity. Oh, that was the right idea. I just wasn't fast enough. She doesn't have fade. Oh, that's a big nade. Again, she's one. I want him so bad. Nice. I should be able to live here with my mercy pocket. I killed the ball too. Come on. Ah! Dang. We did get 50 back on our nano though because we played aggressive there. I have heard of Vinny on console. That was, that's an old name though. I haven't talked to that dude in, ever really, but I do know of him. I haven't played with him in a while. Oh, shoot. He dashed up? I killed this ball, though. Uh, no, I don't. Need to reload before the ball comes back to kill me again. He might look to kill my Mercy, actually. I'm going to try to help him out. Real trap shit. Yo, come to me. Come on. So, yeah, because I helped my Mercy out, the ball couldn't kill her. You got to think about that kind of stuff. Like, why isn't he coming back to kill me? He's probably looking for something else. Build my nano here pretty fast. Now my J-Queen can just walk on whatever she wants, really. Oh, I thought she had something. Yep, anti him. He should die. There we go. That makes my life a lot easier, this fight. No way I die to this. 
The Echo's looking at me, not the Hanzo, so I can let him be crit for a little bit. Because I need to live there. And that's a GG's right there. That was a good game. That was a really good game. So, I mean, Pantera and Meeman, I don't know if the stream's going to help you guys, but I'm going to talk to everyone else like uh, they have no clue what I'm thinking. Because you guys probably have an idea. So, okay, we're, we're playing double sniper Zarya. I'm not going to have a lot of fun in this composition. Uh... I'm really just going to be playing to enable my Zarya and try to get damage done. That's not really damage, more so just looking for anti nade opportunities that are going to follow up on things and just playing to live and play the long fight. Get as many big nades as possible. Their Hanzo's flanking. That opens me up to actually walk a little bit here. I need to walk under, away from that Zen for a second. Now I'm safe from their Hanzo. We killed him. I could be aggressive, but I'm a little paranoid of the Zen up top. Okay, my Widow is just crazy. Hit that nade on the Shade Queen. She dies now because she's slow. She's not even scared of her. They're on Tracer now. Oh, man. That was weird gravity. Happens. She's one. She is so low. Whenever a target is one shot, that's when you quick scope. I don't really see quick scoping in any other matchup unless it's against, like, I don't know, a Widow. Which, I mean, they do have a Widow. You could do it for intel, or if they're not looking at you. Okay, my snipers are... My snipers are making me hate double sniper. Oh my lord! Yes, sir! That kind of stuff... I'm sorry, you can't really teach that. So right here, I don't really want to take no cart. I want my, I guess my Kiriko takes cart. I'm gonna take high ground and just try to get some more damage because I still don't have nano. But to be honest, I'm kind of cosmetic in this game. I do very little. I force out their tracer. That's like pretty much it. Maybe hit a shot or two on my widow every now and then. But this is one of those few compositions where I think Mercy would just be a better pick, or Zen. Oh, well, my team died. Uh, I might be able to kill this Winston now. I think I live this. I think I win this for my team. Is my ball? No, my ball's dead. Because what are they going to do, right? They got to come to point. They're going to have to deal with someone that's better. Close range anyways. That was BM. Do we have Suzu? Ah, oh, man. I still want my 1v1. I think we win this. I set it up for my team. They don't have an Ana. They don't have a Tracer anymore either. Okay, nah, nah, bro. We should have killed the Mercy. I would have said screw the Widow, honestly, in that position. Wait, do I get... Oh, <gasps> I love that. That's so cool. I've never used that before. That's awesome. All right, well, we got Nano. I'll probably just end up Nanoing, like, the ball or something. I'm going to actually push point here because I have line of sight wherever this fight's going to go. Realistically, you just stick whoever's on... You stick on point, whoever's going to have the easiest time to get back and to fight the fastest. That's kind of my theory behind it. I kind of want to take height. Now that I know, now that I see they have a Ryan, I actually don't want to play on cart here. It'd be safer if I was on height. I'm going to... Oh, wait. Ana. I might nano my... Yeah, I'm nanoing my Hanzo so he doesn't die. That's b b b b b baloney Okay, but Lenny and Lenny and Clouds. Uh, my my lordy lord. Yeah, W Hanzo. They are they are doing very well. That's uh. Wow. Me dying there is gonna lose us this fight though. Oh. Dude. Peek again. Ah, she got healed. She's going to come for me again, though. I know she is. Come on. Kill me, please. Come kill me. I want a 1v1. I kind of want to bait them to me, honestly, because I, I feel confident in beating them. I feel confident in just taking this game by the hands and just, you know, doing it. Where's my Kiri? Oh, he's dead. I could have maybe sleeped that, but... She's going to jump me with Pulse, I think. We 
Uh, I can't peek this angle. She, oh, she got forced out again, so she can't do anything. She's got to walk back. Nice shot, Lenny. Got to find this widow. Okay, she's peeking for me right now, so I just got to live. I just got to play a corner and wait. There she is. Still looking for me. I'm playing in a site that she can't see. Oh, now she's moving again. I hate this. I hate this gameplay. I hate this play style. I hate playing against Widows and Hanzos, but this is just how it works. Oh, they used three alts there. I can't be mad. We have Nano now and have alts coming on. To be fair, like... I just need us to take angles, but it's so hard to take angles here. So yeah, it's such into the the Genji here is respectable. I hear the wait. I hear the. He just played siege on me, bro. He just played siege on me. What the heck is that? They have Azaria now, so anti nades are gonna be a little bit more calculated just because she can cleanse them. If I hit a big nade, she can't cleanse all of it. Forced her out with one shot there. Help my Ryan win this 1v1. My Reinhardt's making space, so I'm going to just go for it. I don't know if she has pulse or not. I think she does. So I kind of got to play a little sh movement here. I'm going to play aggressive and just help my Ryan. This is so corny. Dude, this is so corny. Uh, tough. Now they definitely have a blade soon after just kind of farming there. I'm surprised we didn't kill their mercy. Like, no one else helped us there. This Genji should die. I have a Genji Tracer now, so I'm still just going to stick with my Rhine. And like, I just need to walk. hit the Saria, but all right we're just a double sniper team we're just a double sniper team i gotta build nano if we're even gonna have a chance at winning this fight Oh, we played so well at the start. Yeah, it's going to come down on my team just kind of killing stuff. Lenny got off the Hanzo and all hell broke loose. First and second point are so much better for double snipe, though. So We have a Sig now, though, which I don't know. It'll work with double sniper. We have a Zen now, too, so I'm going to be more heal centric. Um, Let's see what they got, though. I don't want to hard scope this anymore because people like to run Widow here. I heard a Widow. I'm not peeking it. I heard a Widow. What they got? Widow Tracer. Oh, J Queen. So annoying. We just got to play up top here in range so that yeah, our, our, our Sig's just dead, isn't he? Don't play Sig in this meta, please. They just go J Queen and you lose immediately. Oh, I did sleep her, her axe, though. That actually might make it winnable. The Widow is kind of forcing me in a bad line of sight. But, oh, wow, we actually killed. That's going to be huge for us. anti that so she can die. I carried that fight. Awesome. Force her out if she's not looking. Damn. 
If you can ever counter that axe, you will win the game every single time. That's the only ability that makes it that that makes any bit of a difference. Or if you can answer after she hits it, but even then, it still kind of does a lot of damage and kind of ruins it for your team. I guess you could purple her shout, but eh. she's still just is gonna hit the the axe later, which is the big thing that gives her the health back. I'm playing just to counter that every time. That's like the most important CD, I think. All right, we're on ball now into J-Queen, which I guess in ranked isn't so bad. In scrims, it's pretty bad. Oh, Widow's on me. If she's low, I can anti her so we can force her out. That's an aggressive blade. I like that. Help him get the dash reset. You don't necessarily need to heal him if they're one shot. It's more important that he gets the mobility. That'll keep him alive. Um... Keep it going and going. They're on a Genji now, no more Widow, but he probably won't be able to build Blade. Oh! He had a headshot on himself. It's okay, though, because Widow doesn't really do anything into that comp anyways. We should be fine. Unless my Genji gets anti like that. and Build Trank, buddy. Build Trank and use it. Okay, well, or just win the fight for me. That, that works, too. That right there is... Uh, no, don't drink that now! Come on! Okay, well, they don't have Blade yet. They'll probably build it in this fight, so I want to save sleep for that. But they also have J-Queen ult, which is going to be a little bit... <laughs> Annoying to deal with as well. I can't really play aggressive off of this fight. I can maybe tr look to build a nano. And she really yeeted that knife for me. That's a good start. That's a really good start, actually. Man, you know what would be great? If I warmed up and killed those people there. Because Blade is coming, and I got to play for myself here. Okay, I got the sleep though. Slam ball, slam! Fudge nuggets, dude! Slam that! Tough. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Well, try to keep my Zen alive in the one v one, and they'll get us a pick because they they like to overinvest for Zenyatas. That's for sure. People love to do that stuff. They're on Zarya now, though, so my life is a little bit, honestly, a little bit easier. Well, he's anti now, ball. So you got him, right? Nice ball. Man, when people be saying I need healing and they're not even like... They don't even need it. Like, they're not even in a fight right now. There's just more important people than you. Damn, that's bad. I thought that was going to hit the ground. He didn't look like he was hitting that. Alright, Nano Blade can work here. It isn't necessary, but... Go for it. He wants it. Oh, I got pushed off by the ball, I think. Oh, wait, they have Hog now? Even easier. That's like the easiest tank to play against is Ana. Because I just do that. Oh, oh, what happened? What happened? Yeah, right there. Just anti the Hog whenever he has breather. Or he's getting pressured out. Sleep him off of it, too, if you don't have it. Like, dude, this Genji is so weird. Ours, too. What's going on, Lenny? What What, what happened? I hear Tracer on point. She's got a damage boost. That forced her out. He probably has Blade if he's getting damage boost. He's, he's getting close to it at least. I'm trying to pressure this Tracer. I'm, I'm never really afraid of Tracers at, at this rank. The only Tracer I'm really afraid of is Rocket. Like, to be honest.
That'll work. Just force him out. I'm taking high ground again. They don't have a tracer. I, they have a Genji coming back. He definitely has blade, so I, I want to actually save it and try to bait it onto me. It's easier to hit that way. It's much more of a linear... Dude. It's a linear sleep instead of a horizontal sleep, which is a lot easier to hit. Trust me. Right now, though, my focus is to sleep that blade and to build Nano for our blade. He didn't find me. Wait. I... Oh, I just choked! He just has to live for Blade. He just has to live for Blade. Oh, no. You'll have to try harder than that. Okay, my team's good. Okay, look. The idea was there. That's all that matters. You guys are going to do that, too, sometimes. You guys are going to do that, too. The people watching this that really are trying to improve... You're going to miss some sleeps too, but at least you thought about it. That That's 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 the important part. All right, so we're playing against some... Uh, we're playing against some GM players. We're going to have to put up some good numbers. Oh, wait, George is on support. Okay, that's good. George on support is probably the easiest to outplay. It's not going to be easy, but it will still be the easiest to outplay compared to his DPS and tank that are... I would say better than his support. But all right. She's probably going to be playing Junker Queen. George is probably going to be playing Ana. They're probably going to be gunning for me a little bit. Because I know that, I need to play a little bit different than I usually would and try to win some 1v1s and still some fear. But I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, they're on Hog? Really? Okay, they have a Widow too. This is so trash to play against, man. I hate playing here because I have, like, no space to do anything. But people like to play this way in ladder, so. Here we are. They're, like, gunning for me behind. I hear footsteps. It's like Hiriko that's, like, pushing for me. Oh, force out Suzu there. Or at least TP. Okay, well. That first fight. Not a lot I can do when they have a Widow. I think I maybe can get out. No, I can't get out of this. We have an orb. Sup that Kiri. That's going to maybe get a kill. All right, before Suzu, though. Okay. Well, we just got to build Nano and look for our Orisa. All right, let's go, team. Oh, that's a Widow looking at my angle. Why are we peeking that way? I don't care about the hog. Go main. Where's this widow? She's just chilling, man. Okay. Oh, no. I got to help my Arisa here. Big anti on the hog. Nice. Oh, that was a rip and a roni. Rip and a roni. I, I don't know. That's more, it's a rip a roni. So now we have nano. I'm probably just going to save it for my Genji blade. I want to take height here. They're on, they're on Genji now instead of the widow, which... They don't realize it's a lot easier to play into as Ana. <laughs> I have a lot more space to breathe, at least. Again, I'm just playing to the chill and not get forced out because I know they are going to be playing to flank on me, so I'm going to make it very hard for them to do that. Until they stop and start killing my team, this is the play style. Try to get that Genji out. He's just building Blade, though, so... We're chilling. See, there he is again. They're, they're looking for that, that flank play that's going to get them all that value. They're so focused on killing me that they're, they're kind of struggling elsewhere, which is good. If you know... I mean, this isn't really going to pertain to a lot of you guys. But if you're playing as a streamer and you know people are going to start playing like that, you got to adapt. To be fair, they're probably not sweating their hardest. They're just playing Overwatch. I'm trying to get a, a challenge complete, so... A little bit of difference there, but still, it definitely helps if you're trying to win games more. See, like, the dude's trying to go for flank plays on the daily. Yeah, we, we respond with the blade here. Oh, do we? Where is he? There he is. That right there was just kind of like, I should have walked in with my team, to be honest. And oh, now we have no healers. Oh, that sucks. 
that's tough. So this next fight coming up, they already used Nano, they already used Kyrial. The thing is, we don't have any healers, and they took out one of our people. We're just planning to take a fight with all five of us. So I'm going to walk in here and maybe get some ult charge, maybe force this Genji. Wait a minute. My team's just backing all the way out. Oh, this is bad. We killed this Genji, though. Oh, huge. Nice. I don't have banana or sleep dart or fucking nade. I can I can speak. I didn't have nade, so I'm just going to sleep that instead. And nade that. He died, though, so it doesn't matter. All right. We're getting back on the spot as soon as possible. Get the speed going here. They definitely have Nanoblade coming next fight. Like, if they still haven't used it. All right. See ya, Pantera. Um, if they still haven't used it, they have it now, so I'm going to save it for that. I'm probably going to nade myself, but if I find an opportunity where we discord the hog and he's low, I'll definitely just allocate the nade to that early too, if we can win the fight fast. But the way we're playing, I don't think we're winning the fight fast here. Yeah, again, the Kiri's looking for flanks. Ah, shit, I missed. That's a no. That's just an L. It's, it's it's a lot. See how it's a lot harder to hit sleep darts on Genjis when they're going left to right than they're going front to back. I probably should have waited to sleep. The higher you go, the better these Genjis are going to be. And honestly, I might make a workshop code that you would practice against Genji sleeps because people play that character like a lot. We've played against him so much in the unranked GM right now. It's kind of insane. She's going for it again. She's probably going to go up there now. Yep, there she is. I don't like how much cart we're giving them, but this is just how it is. Right now, I need to focus on building Nano for my blade. They're probably going to jump on me here soon, so I just got to be aware of that. I got my hog. That's good. Uh, I anti the Genji while also healing my team. That's going to be really big for my team, actually. And then we sleep that. She dies. Cool. So now I have Nano Blade for the next fight. That's going to really... Help us push through here and maintain our aggression. Which is what push is all about. It's about maintaining momentum. That's a better word than aggression. Uh, they don't have a flank set up for me because they just lost. So I can take this space knowing that I'll be safe. And now I can just wait for my Genji to dash. I want to sleep that hog while my Genji's blading, but again, it's more important that I live. It's more important I don't kill myself for it. They probably have a high noon, so I want to try to save it for that. They're on Sojourn, no more Genji. Probably have a high noon coming. Or maybe not, because he's playing so close, but I think we just lose this, actually. That's fine. Honestly, a push like that, you essentially win the game. So we just have to hold for three minutes and get ultimates and not let them just win in overtime is essentially what this is. So it's just going to be back and forth. Sleeping that high noon is what our next step is probably going to be. But if we can get a pick by sleeping the hog, that's totally fine too. That's a sojourn that is flanking. And she's antied. They're solo back here. I want them so bad. But they have a Kiri now. Aw, oh, damn it, dude. I don't care. That's a good exit frag. It's a good exit frag. It also gets me a lot of alt charge. So they don't have spawns either. So this next fight, they're going to have to take very... Uh, what is the word here? They have to be very disciplined in the way they take this next fight. In order to win it. And discipline is not what a lot of people in rank have. So. Well, they're going to gun for me. I got to just live. We do have Trank. There it is. Anti the hog on point. Forced out the Suzu. Uh, I could use nade here. Or nano. 
He shouldn't have died there. I just don't want to get hooked. That's what I'm focusing on right now. She, she might be playing around a corner to look for it. I don't think she is, though. I think she's out. All right, now we just chill. I'm waiting for my Genji to get blade. Maybe hitting a sleep up here. I missed completely. I'm terrible. And I die. <sighs> oh, man. It's okay. We, we really sh shouldn't use ult. We should just chill out. They don't have good spawn. Just chill. Get our nano blade. Go for the next fight. Next fight is last fight, so we just got to make sure we win. Ah, right, oh, Arzen's going to die late. It's tough. There's no need for me to peek and poke for damage because I already have my nano. I'm probably not going to find a pick at this level, so... We're just chilling. They're going to be looking to hook me or the Genji here. They already used hook, so... That gets us a pick. That gets us another pick. Now it's just GG's. Should be. So them, honestly, our Zen dying late was kind of a W for us. Just because it allowed us to take that last fight. Yeah. Here's something right side. I think that is Moxie. Okay. Reset. Next fight. The J Queen's way too aggressive there. Great. Awesome. This whole game is just going to be... Alright. Did I live against Hanzo? Did I live against J Queen? Did I get Nano fast? going for the nade here I missed it and she died immediately I don't know who that is damn that was good movement moxie that was good movement almost won that 1v1 though Still should be fine. Like, we have a Kiriko. She should be able to heal my team just fine. We have two picks as well, so we should also just win by default. That's the dragon back a point, so I'm going to walk forward. I'm not even going to peek it, really. I want to take that height. But I might just have to take back high ground because he's there. They have my ult, so I'm going to get off cart here. I can't really do anything about it other than maybe sleeper, but... He actually hit that? Dude, why is he jumping away? Dude, I hate that shit. It's happened so many times in key moments where, like, if I nano him, he just lives there. Shouldn't have hard skipped there. That was really risky. Alrighty, we're just walking forward, getting the car here, hopefully. Although we might not. Oh, we got it. Let my Hanzo deal with that because he's low enough to do that. I was really just looking for him to start the, the combo. If I needed to, I was going to invest in aid, but I didn't think I needed to. Now we just take high ground because high ground is the most important valuable asset on this map. If you control high ground on Rialto, you win the game. And it really is just that simple. Uh, playing farther away, though, so I don't get axed. 
I don't want to nade that just because there's no there's no op real opportunity for my team. Now there's an opportunity for my team. Nah, okay. Like that's that's so annoying, man. We should kill that man afterwards though. Like that should just be a free fight win, honestly. Unless my team is playing so scared that she lives. I still have some fight in me. Okay, that's good. They might have mail when we they come back. But if we stick three cart, we should be fine. We're not doing that. We're playing for one more fight. The Junker Queen's dead, though, so maybe we win this. I'm taking high ground. I'm taking a longer... I, I am taking a longer rotation, yes, but it's more important that I get high ground. I'm safer up here. She got walled again. May is so annoying in this meta, too. They're playing a really annoying composition. But if I can just continuously sleep this J-Queen... Be a lot easier to win this she missed her knife that's big i don't want to i don't want to pressure her though because she's such a broken character that i i can't 1v1 her huh <laughs> would you look at that here comes mail i can't really play on cart I'm going to play over here. I'll give you tips after this. Just let me focus. There's the Mayalt. There we go. Playing out of the... In a place that I can break line of sight with the Mayalt is very important in that fight. This time we're just going to look for Dragon... On something in the back line, I'll try to anti it so it, I make sure it dies, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen, actually. Oh, well, we got the point. DC9. Nice! Tips to land nades. So, landing nade usually isn't the hard part. Usually isn't the hard part. I think the first step you should do is you should think about when is, the, when is it the time to nade. Because if you think about when it's the time to nade, the nade will be easier to hit. Sometimes, though, it is a little hard to hit. It's behind a shield or something. That you, sometimes that's finding a better position earlier on in the fight that will make it easier to nade. That'll make it easier to nade later on in the fight. So if I think that we're going to take a fight on a choke hold, I don't want to stay like two chokes back. I want to make sure I stay in a position where I'm like, okay, if let's say my Zarya grabs, I can maybe walk a little bit and then look for the nade. The other thing I can say is look for walls and stuff. Like, let's say that there was a shield like right here, but there was a little gap right there. I'll bank it off the wall up there. It'll splash on all of them. I won't wait for the shield if I have an opportunity to just get a little a little bit of a gap in there. And yeah, don't don't worry about it, Mariah. You're good. So much power. But um, look at their products, especially if you're looking for a good monitor, too. But let's get right into this. They, have, they make great stuff, so don't count them out a good starting pick honestly this high ground i know that they have an echo now i know they have the only thing that's really going to force me out here is honestly they're hanzo i missed oh no don't kill me moxie oh we, we walk and just kill here i don't know why the kiriko went out here he's really trying to carry he's doing a pretty good job to be completely honest they have a widow now so i can't peek that angle i gotta i gotta wait until that gets cleared before i can just peek it which kind of sucks I'm going to rotate to this angle since she's not peeking that right now. It also gets me an opportunity to land an 8 on her and kill her. So I'm walking forward here. She dies. Looking for flanks sometimes can work, but you can't do it ever. Oh! Widow, Widow, Widow. You can't do it every single time because then you're going to be... Uh, it's going to be expected, and it's not... It takes the surprise factor out. They have a fair... Oh, they have a May. Okay. So now, actually... Eh, no, I don't think that's necessary. Oh, it actually would have been pretty good. Wouldn't it have been? <clears throat> I do not game on the laptop. I game on a PC, but the monitor is very helpful. Uh, for that. But we'll, we'll explain that later. Let's look at the nano here. I want to try to get nano here. I want to try to get a big nade. That's a big axe. Honestly, though, like, we have to remember we're playing into a 
a, a J Queen comp. We're we're trying we're we're playing J Queen double sniper. To be honest, all my value is packed in nade. If I were to die there in a scrim, we probably wouldn't have fight still because I got such a big nade. They just invested more because they lost it pretty early on, so they had to invest to to compensate. I don't like this at all. Let me just get out of that. So May's gonna be top. Hans is playing main. I don't think May's gonna have her ult yet. Holy shit, she needs that. Ah, damn, she already has her ult. I'm gonna nano my J Queen, I think, on recontest. Oh no, we don't. Never mind. We got the mercy. We win. The reason I want to nano that is just because like it's first point Rialto. If you can beat first point Rialto, you can beat the map. It's the hardest one. Um, so sometimes, like, it's not even the kit that's really informing my decisions. And I've been learning... I've been trying to learn more about Rainbow Six, because that's, like, my other game I used to play when I was a kid on console. I've picked it back up again. What I've learned is that some stuff, like, you can't just learn from being better at the operator or better at the hero. Sometimes it's just experience that you just got to play the game a lot, and you'll learn as you go. Uh, it, it just takes experience, some of the stuff. Uh, I want to nano her here. I should have waited to need that. But the nano is still going to get the value that it needed to in that 1v1. Or that 2v1, actually. Don't go for the ego sleeps. She's still going to push me here? I was going to say. No, no way. She's... she's uh... Yeah, my Kiri dying, I should have immediately started backing off instead of trying to kill that Mercy. Once my Kiri dies, my team doesn't have any healing. But real realistically, all they need is the Kiri heals. Everything else for me is just like I'm getting aggressive value. That might change a little bit now. Now that I have a cast, he's a lot more susceptible. He actually killed her. Wow. Now my team's like a little bit more susceptible to getting jumped and killed because Cassidy's just like he doesn't have as much mobility. Nade. I think we can force him here. Oh, see, that's that's just Kiriko moment. I'm actually gonna wait to use my nade here until the anti nade wears off, and then do that. Cause my J Queen just ulted. I need to hit those sleeps there if I'm gonna kill. Oh my god, that character is so busted. So much bleed. Okay, again, a, a lot of my my value is just packed in my nade when I'm playing it with the Junker Queen. And Sleep Dart, if I can find the Sleep on the J Queen before she swings, it's big. But if I can't, that's fine. I don't expect people to be able to do that consistently. She's so hard to hit. I anti-naded her and healed my J Queen. I thought it would be enough. But they also they invested, though, because of that. So it's like not the end of the world that we're losing this fight. I'll go for the exit frag instead of staggering. Uh... Honestly, I, I, I made an opportunity that my Cassidy was going to kill that that uh, Hanzo. He actually took it up on that. And this is why I think Ana is low-key easier to climb with the higher you go. And like that diamond to Master's range. I think she's perfect for that Master's range. Because it gets to a point where the players are going to be able to consistently follow up upon the opportunities that you're giving them. In GM, it's always going to depend on the meta. I think she's still really strong in GM. But... It's really just you're creating opportunities for your team that you're they're they're constantly able to follow up upon and that makes a big difference. Right here I'm just gonna nano my J Queen whenever they come close. They might have a mail though, so I kinda wanna play away from her. She's on a little bit of a flank. I like this. Slept the mail so it doesn't come out this fight. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. That's one thing I didn't touch upon, but if you know they have a really crucial ultimate, you can try to sleep them before they actually get to use it. That makes a big difference. Jesus, my god. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird movement. All right, well, GG's. 
We are masters two. 18 per ooh, higher than 18% of players. We gotta win five games. 600, 600 DPI. That's a weird DPI. I've never, I've never heard someone who run 600 before. It doesn't matter. It's EDPI is what matters. But okay, let's focus in this game. This is all gonna come down to uh, just hitting a good anti nade or a good sleep dart on the ball, playing next to my J Queen because they have a ball, and forcing out this pharmacy when I find her. I don't like this at all, actually. Like this is not the map I would want to play against that comp on. It's a lot of open space that I just don't get to really exist on. I'm just gonna nade to keep my team alive. We really need to find something and walk on it. We can't just sit on cart. Also, Brig into that is gonna be horrendous. We're just gonna get poked out the whole time. Ball comp's annoying to play against. We kinda just need a Lucio Kiri, but I can't play Kiri. So. We have a Brig abuser, so I don't think they're going to switch either. I think we're stuck with what we got. Hans is playing up here. I'm not going to kill myself for it. I'll hit the sleeper if he comes out, though. Let's walk with my team. Still just playing with my queen. Seeing if we walk in anything here. I got their Pharah. We just got to stop the res, but it looks like we're not doing that. So what we need to do, we need to find their Hanzo and walk on him like every single fight. Like as soon as we see him. Our Brig needs to focus on packing me and some of the DPS. Our J-Queen just needs to walk. Not spend a lot of time sitting in the open. She's staggering so hard right now. It's really hard for me to pressure out Pharah on this map because there's like a lot of high ground cover and a big skybox that doesn't really let me do what I want to. And Hanzo doesn't make it any easier because I can't hard scope and my Brig doesn't pack me. Why do you not pack me there, man? I'm 100 HP. This guy doesn't pack me. That's a good pick, though. You can win this fight off of that. Now we're on double hit scan though, which is going to open us up a little bit, hopefully. It'll pressure this fair out easier that we have people actually looking at it. It'll compensate for the fact that we're not really playing the comp that well. We're not playing it very well. Ping it for my team because the ball is going to be coming up there. Stay on cart. They're, they're stalling right now. Just need to look for a nano. We'll look for a nano visor up top probably. Here's the mines. I don't think the rally was necessary, but it'll work, I guess. This guy isn't the best at abusing Brig, I'll tell you that much. I thought I saw an opportunity to keep him alive and create pressure. I don't know why he wrapped around that way. He should have wrapped around the other way. This is just a lot of like really tiny mistakes that are making big issues for us. Oh, we got the Kiri though and we got the Mercy. That's actually a one fight. Yeah, we, we should definitely win this game, but like we are playing very weird. Like we're just not, we're just not playing very well right now, to be honest. Oh, their ball's up here. He's sleeping. Need to rotate over here. Pop my J Queen live. That's big. That's a huge stagger. I think that fair is a one trick. Problem is like, I can't hard scope the Farah because the Hans is always looking at me. And I, I kind of have to hard scope her to pressure her out. Like two shots is the only way I'm gonna actually force her a little bit when she has a pocket. If she didn't have a pocket, it's a different story. Like one shot and she's done. Like what is that? I wasn't even hard scoping there, was I? No, dude. This is not the end. 
Honestly, dude, I just might let my hit scan deal with this and I just need to live. Uh, that's probably what the play is, honestly. Now they have a Widow, so like definitely this is just, just not going to be a fun game for me at all. I, I think I just need to play cosmetic and just heal. Look for opportunities and nades on the, the... Now they have J-Queen too. I need to focus on winning the J-Queen 1v1 or just... Maybe just using my nade to live, honestly. Like, why is the Pharah down here, man? Where are our hitscan? They're killing the backline. Never mind. Realistically, that Pharah should not be able to do that when we have people set up on height. But if they're going to play to kill me every game, but they're, if my team wants to play to bait me, that's cool too. I didn't think they were that smart to do that. But that is another play you can make here if they're going to hard in for me every fight. But now, since I see that they're going to try to start doing that... Now I'm probably just going to be like, okay, never mind. I'm going to use nade for myself, which kind of sucks that this is the one situation where the nade nerf kind of hurts. Yeah, if she wants to flank for me, I'll flank for you, man. I'm not even going to hardscape it. I'm just going to play to live. No ego. Just going to play to live. I'm probably going to enter the Cassidy when this... I, I think the Pharah is looking for an ult. That's that's what it is. So we, we need to eliminate her fast. They have a Sig now. So now they're going to be playing to shield the Widow. This is just adapt adaptation at its finest. Really assessing what's going on here. I think she's going to try to flank from this angle. Or maybe from inside the building. Oh, there she is. And now they have sights, so she knows where I am to sleep it. She's trying to pressure me out early. Widow's top. I can't heal you there. Oh, this is winnable. I'm trying to help my Brig. She needs to get out. I don't know what my Brig's doing. I, like, I thought she was going to come out because I thought they were pressuring her, but they weren't. Oh. Oh, they don't have fair anymore. Okay, I can play aggressively again after, off of the Widow peak. They're on Sig now, too. So if I can anti the Sig when my J Queen walks on him, he just kind of falls over. So they're kind of trolling by not sticking the comp. I'm setting up such a free kill for them. The shield. They'll be fine, though. That right there was scary, but because I had sleep dart still, it was okay. If I if I missed the sleep on the May there, I'd 100% die. But I, I had utility. I used it. It paid off. I forced them into a tight corner. To be honest, like this whole thing, I, I have to remember, and this is hard to remember, but it's important. All of my value is packed in nade. Like nothing, nothing else matters. Nothing does. I don't know. Okay, what is top left? Uh, we're dead. That was the first sleep I got, and it was too late. First sleep on the SIG this entire unranked GM. I hate when people do this. They're so corny for that. Just like all push games, though, it's going to come down to the last fight. It's going to come down to do we get pulse? Do we do we stagger this last fight long enough that it's reasonably going to be like tw around 20 seconds where we're going to take this last fight? That's what it has to be. I'm going to walk a little bit so this Widow doesn't get a peek on me early. They're probably going to have a May ult, though, so... I'm actually going to play top with my cast. Well, that sucks. Oh, 
I need to die fast. We need to die fast. We need to die fast. We need to die fast. Or get out. Alright, one more fight. I think they didn't use my ult, so I can try to sleep that. I gotta play with my J Queen. I'm just look to nano her. Damn. No nade though, no nade. Oh, fuck, no, we lost. Damn. I don't know. Honestly, if it were up to me, I probably would have played like a Zen. I probably would have swapped off the Queen. Uh, it's just that Ana in that situation is so difficult to get something done. Maybe we can stall it out, but I don't think. Yeah, that's... I don't know. There's just not like a lot you can do in that situation. The Kiriko is so strong. We had a Brig player. We're, we're forced on Ana. That 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 game right there. I don't know. I think that right there is just the fact that you I have to run on on a map like that. Not even on a map like that. Just with what they were playing, they were playing so hard. To just, just, that's not a win. That's a loss, buddy. They were playing so hard to just force me off, and we were we were really forcing that J Queen. I probably should have that first fight just said, screw it. I'll let my cast die. I, I wanted to try to support his flank better because I knew they were going to mail it on me. I wanted to I wanted them to use mail at that first fight. But it happens. So what rank does it matter? What team? What what your... So what rank does it matter what character you play? It, it really doesn't matter what rank the character you play. Like most of the time, most of the time, it doesn't matter what character you play, no matter the rank, unless it's like GM1 most of the time that last game was an exception the last game was an exception because they were running a Farah hanzo like a, a sigma there was nothing i was going to be able to do in that comp we had a brig we had a junker queen everything was just telling me you cannot play ana in this comp you were just going to lose they played to counter me there was really no way i could have carried i i could have just lived but they just had a better comp that was just gonna completely annihilate me j queen meta doesn't make on a fun i'll tell you that much okay they have a queen or uh, an echo cast rather okay the echoes on me i missed oh well. Wait, why is my queen going that way? All right, well, I might die here now. Why is she going that way? She, like, completely 180'd. Oh, wait. That just set up my ferret to pop off. Damn, if I would have hit that sleep, she would have just went off the map. Happens, though. More ult charge for my Pharah that is going to have her barrage next fight, so. You would have gone Bap. I would have gone Zen. Honestly, I would have gone Zen and just killed things on my own. Or I would have went, like, Kiriko. Honestly, Kiriko is probably the best pick there. Last game. Doesn't matter. This fight, I'm just looking to pressure out their Echo because their Echo is going to kill my Phar Pharmacy. That's, like, the main thing they're going for. If I can pressure out Echo, my Pharah won't die. We'll have a good time playing this game. Nate on the... Lucio there, he should have died. I have Nano. I might Nano Barrage. I'm Nanoing to keep my or J Queen alive. I gambled wrong. I thought I was going low. I only really think I had time to go for lower. Yeah, I Nano my J Queen there because... They were investing everything to kill her. It was a deactivation nano. We still have damage boost for the blade. So it's not like this blade's going to do nothing. So I wanted to win that fight and while they were investing over just like 
for no good reason, just nanoing. Uh, they have Zarya now, though, which makes my life a little bit more annoying. Her Echo is, like, not forcing out my Pharah at all, which is weird, because that's, like, her job, but... She's off of me now. Wow, now they have a lever. See, it always comes back around. You can't you can't let one lever tilt you. A lot of people blame the fact that they're not climbing because people leave their games. It it's not that consistent. That might be an actual person. Let's do it again. From the top. But I think they have a Widow. They're probably going to have to try and carry it out with Widow if they want to win. They have a Reinhardt. Oh, they have Echo. Okay, well. So right there, I found an opportunity to pressure out their Mercy, which means that the Mercy can't heal the Echo, which means if the Echo goes in, the Echo dies. So the thing is... Like, ideally, I'd want to pressure out the Mercy. But the problem is, like, you're never going to really get an opportunity to do that. It, you're not... The Mercy's generally pretty smart. She isn't going to just, like, hard peek you. But this angle is the, the broken one. Because what are they going to do? They have nothing to jump me. They have a Ryan. They have a Cass. The only thing that's going to jump me is a Moira. At that point, I'll have enough time to rotate back. And yeah, now they're just leaving the game. All right, well, that that's a win. I'll take it. After the last loss we had, I'm okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Not Atlas. Okay, let's go. So, really, I'm just playing to enable my Zarya against the J-Queen. Yep, again, like I said, I think Zarya is really good into J-Queen because people don't have discipline to bait out bubbles. I fucking missed. I'm terrible. Kill the Moira there. That doesn't heal her. Honestly, I didn't even need to use it for her there. Awesome, though. It's a good first fight. That's a good start. Very good start to the game. Next next step here is I want to get high ground with my team. Forced out that fade. Uh, she's got she's got a pocket, so. I really don't want to push the cart. But I might have to. I sometimes try to break the wall for your team. Sometimes. Okay, yeah. My team's going to force me to play cart. Honestly, I don't think it's the end of the world because, like, the Mercy Pocket can really heal everyone. Unless they get headshot, which, I mean, even I'm not going to really be able to do anything about that. Okay, well, here we are. Oh, Hanzo carried. I went out of LOS. That's that's on me. But to be fair, um, it happens. Hanzo has dragon now. We got to get on height. I still have some fight in me. Switching to the Diva here is really nice because it'll kill the Winston very easy. Also, it's really good to stop that Hanzo, so that's a good switch. Uh, I'm still just going to rotate to height. That is my goal. Is high ground. I thought he would play on height. I didn't think he'd play low. Happens. You'll have to try harder than that. It's a big anti nade. I don't think I need to invest to kill that. Okay, now I might want to invest. 
Hmm. I don't. I still don't think it's necessary. Now that I know that this Hanzo is playing a little weirder, I'm just gonna be cognizant of the fact that that's happening. I'm gonna support my Diva here because this fight's getting a little bit too long. Yeah, this is gonna be a long fight. Sleep the Kiri so she can't just kill everyone. I think Moira's gonna. No, she's not gonna fade on to me. Alright, so I'm gonna. Oh! I'm gonna try to help my Diva get as much charge as possible here. The Diva's anti. That's big. That's big. That's exactly what we wanted. We want our Diva to get back in mech. That's that's the goal here. Even though our Surgeon dies, I think it's more important our Diva lives. Because if we can win the Diva 1v1, we can win the game. Right now, I'm playing to get Nano. I'm not going to stay scoped too long because I don't know where that Hanzo is. Again, nading to do anti as well as... Ah, oh, shit. She just barely... She just barely died at like, the worst moment. I live still, though, so this is winnable. We can overclock into that. Sleep the Diva so she doesn't wake up and stop the shots. That'll get us a Moria pick. Oh, shit. I'm dead here, aren't I? Nope. Try to help my Tracer. I anti the Torb for that 1v1. Now I'm just not even going to focus on it. I'm just going to focus on keeping my Mercy alive. Man, I, I thought she already used all of it up. I thought I timed it right. Four seconds of DM, y'all. Care for that dragon. It's definitely going to be coming cart. Just rotate over this way. Not even peeking it because they're still going to just play to kill me. Where's that Hanzo at? I don't know. Someone's anti in there, though, so that's going to force him out. I think my Mercy has res for that. I'm not sure, though. So if she does, I'm just going to make sure I'm ready to help her. She looks fine. I'm just going to let my team push up, and I got cart. Awesome. So now I want to rotate high ground again. They have a they have a Reinhardt, so this is especially true. Like you want you want to force them to rotate onto you to take you off the high ground. But at the same time, my team is almost gonna force me to take the cart. Really, our tracer to take cart, but against what they have, I'm okay if my team takes angles and I play main. Like I'm okay if I back off a little bit. It's not ideal because this stuff's gonna happen again and again, but. I'm not in voice chat, so if I were in voice chat, I'd be telling, hey, Tracer, take cart. Hey, let's just take a rotation here. They have a D oh, Zarya again. I'm just going to reload, try to keep my D.Va alive, get that nano boost. We got nano. Time to rotate around. Damn, well, they used three ultimates there. I am so okay with this. I am so okay with losing this fight. One nano just got out their Kiri ult, their dragon, and their coalescence. They don't have a grab, and they're going to be closing their Torbalt. If we can win this next fight and shut down that Zarya early so she doesn't have grab for third, I'm, I'm feeling good right now. If we can meet those conditions. I hear someone back here. I think I might just be hearing stuff, though. Again, idea is I'm going to build a fast nano here because we're against the Zarya, so I want to make sure I go in with as many shots for healing as possible. Looking for a big nade there. She can't really do anything about be forced out fade and a bubble. That's huge. She has her grab. She already has her grab. That's crazy. That sleep dart's going to actually kill the Zarya from the Diva Bomb. That wasn't intentional. I was just trying to look for an aggressive sleep. Keep my Mercy alive. She needs to live. Damn. She just barely died again there. That Corp should die. No Suzu. He has bubbles again. Well. Oh. No bubbles. No bubbles. Our team should have turned on that. Unlucky. That was not the best Mercy movement. But he is an Ana player, so low-key. Can't be mad. Right now, we just need to chill and try to force out that Zarya as much as possible. The moment her bubbles are down, she's, like, so free to kill. The problem is bubbles are kind of hard to force effectively as Ana. I do have Nano, but I kind of want to use it for my Sojourn.
The focus is on my Sojourn, so I'm trying to keep her up as much as possible because she's the nano target. Just need to live here as long as possible for my team to get back on whatever tank they choose to come back on. Tried to find an anti there, but it didn't work out. The Torb is sleeping. That's huge. They used the bubble on that. It's a big anti nade. It's going to find a pick for my team. They used Suzu and Fade. This is huge. Ah, oh, I thought the Hanzo died. I... I didn't see the Zarya died. We might lose off of that. So that right there, if I live, we win that game. I thought the Hanzo died. I thought we were focusing DPS and not Saria. Oh, if I live there, that's so tragic. Oh. I don't know. I'm doing a lot. Like, I'm trying to keep my D.Va up and sustained against the Zarya, which is so hard to do. I'm trying to force out her bubbles so it's easier to sustain her by being aggressive. I'm actually going to wait till 4 to throw that nade this time because people take a second to walk out of spawn nowadays. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to wait a little bit longer for that nade. They have a Hanzo Torb. I really should start top, but... I should start on Juice, but I don't I don't like how much poke they have and how I have a D.Va. They have a D.Va too, so actually it's okay that I'm playing farther back so she can't jump on me for free. I guess I'm the one that's like gotta heal my D.Va because I have a Mercy that's gonna be healing my DPS. Diva's taking a, an aggressive angle. I'm gonna take one with her. I didn't get any kills there, but I, I forced him out. Just getting Nano really fast is really the plan here. Nade so that she doesn't die. I have Nano. On her next boosters, I'm gonna Nano her in. There we go. I'm gonna take top with her again. Look for an aid in three seconds. I'll reestablish this high ground for our team. It's a winnable fight. There's no way she doesn't die, right? That's embarrassing. So I kind of just got to play for myself right now. I'm probably dead. Nope. I can live this. So that there, I was trying to bait her defense matrix. She, she saw past my bait, but then I did a, another bait, which was just waiting for my sleep dart because she thought I already used it. That was a fantastic fight by me. If you guys want me to VOD review a game, this would be one of them. This would be a fantastic option. So they definitely have Tor Ball. They don't have Bomb. Realistically, I still want to play high ground, but I I don't want to in ranked. I feel like it's just too dangerous. Right now, what I really need... Okay, well, now that they're doing that, I'm just going to back off. Oh, we're pushing into it? That was not smart. Wait, no, maybe it was smart. What the hell? Why, why did the fight just stop right there? They should they should have won that. All right, well, I have Nano for whenever this D.Va goes on someone in the back line again. Go. Go fast. Go fast. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. We played the counter. The push. That right there is I, I found an opportunity for me to go for a flank fight. That's what I'm going for. Like... I, if my diva is going to play to counter dive, then I can't play to do that. My play was I was going to count. I was initially wanting to counter the dive with my team, but my diva did that when I nanoed her. So instead, I took her fight, which was just going up top. I'll I, I don't know why they did that. To be completely honest with you, they don't have a Hans anymore, so I could play top and be fine. Honestly, I'm gonna do that. 
She has bombs, so. This is just free nades to force Suzu out. Or just not, because they already used it. Or they forgot they had it. One of the two. You never know. It supports at this level. And now that they don't have a Hanzo, I'm, I'm, I feel a lot better about doing this in ranked. Because I'm not going to get one shot. I, I, ha I can react to the stuff they're, sh they're throwing at me now. That was inspirational. Still didn't... Oh, that was really stupid. I was so focused on whether or not that nade was going to hit. I almost got my head taken off, so don't do that. Just throw it and forget about it. Again, it, it, I think they have a Junker Queen. Yep, this is going to suck to play against, dude. I hear her flanking, so... I'm looking for... Oh, she's there. Okay. Well, she's anti. She should die. She didn't die. Hell. She did. Oh, well, there's a res. P Papa's party. Carrying. I'm trying to help my junk. Or my, or my uh, Roadhog, rather, win the J Queen 1v1. That's, like, kind of what I want to do, even though it's kind of impossible to do that, just because, like, Widow kind of just ruins my line of sight uh, constantly. Until that happens, I help my Hanzo pressure her out. Because then he only has to a bot. Wait a minute. He only has to hit a body shot if I quickscope her. Because she has 175. I didn't think about that. That actually might be the play to actually just quick scope to pressure her out. I didn't think about that. That might be something I should have been doing this entire time. Yeah, because now he's on Tracer. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. So, I thought my Mercy was going to stick on him. It didn't. I didn't need an end of this. That was stupid. That was really stupid because we have damage boost. Why did I do that? That forces her out immediately. Oh, I have my Hanzo live. Damn. What the hell? Dude, the Genji's won. Melee him. Mercy, you could have meleeed him. Oh. That is tragedy. To be fair, if I didn't waste my nano, I probably could have just nano my Hanzo out, but I think we get another fight here. here. Tracer doesn't have recall. Okay, well, she has Pulse. They have J Queen. I'll, I'll try to sleep some of it. Is he going to stay hog? We do not know, but hopefully he doesn't. Smile. Oh, he does. At this point, he probably just plays hog. Going to use my nade here if they push aggressively onto my soldier. Tracer's forced out, so if we walk out of another angle, this will be very good for us, which is what they're doing right now. Reason being, it'll force them back, but... Oh, I die now. <laughs> I love this game! <laughs> cool. My team is getting rolled because we're all pushing the same angle. We have a hog. There's not a lot that we can do. It looks like I'm going to be playing eight more games. Yeah. You like my song? Because I don't feel very good about this game right now. We are just continuously staggered in perpetu perpetuity. I'm probably just going to end up nailing my hog because we can just damage boost the visor. That's what we learned from doing this wrong. Surely we damage boost it. That'll force her recall. I'm going to drop off. <gasps> oh, man.
Fuck, dude. She's anti, so she'll die, but like, oh god. I need to play better. My sleep dart didn't leave the gun in time. I feel like I cannot really do a lot this game. So they have J Queen. We have Hog. Okay, that's a kill, right? There we go. Wanted to make sure that Genji dies, but honestly, if we can hold, if we can hold this, we can win the game. This is where you need to hold. Everything else you can get on the map just fine. But this, this is what means the most. I want to play kind of close to cart just because the C9 is very possible. I want to force her out so bad, but I know I can't. I don't think they're going to have any alts here. I gotta rotate down. Dude, how are you dead? Like, genuinely. We just have to just reset our mental because now we have a good tank. Now, now the guy's like, you know what? I was kidding. It's time to win the game. Why, why do we see that? It's okay though. We got Devatomac. They're like, you know what? We're going to play to just completely jump past the entire game because we don't like him. He's a smelly pooper. Uh, that's things that just shouldn't be happening. They're all so low. It hurts, man. Gotta get that diva killed before she gets mech. Oh, she got it. Oh, all of that space meant nothing. That pick meant nothing early on. I just don't get how my DPS are dying. It kind of sucks because this is such a DPS centric map. Oh, they're like all pushing me and my team is just like sitting in spawn. This is tough. Hey, cheese. Look up my, look above my face cam. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Yeah, I think this is going to just be an L of a game. If it was, if I was on Zen, it might be a little different. Like the last unranked the GM, I could really just take advantage of this and play aggressively on flanks and stuff. This one, I'm afraid, might not be the best. Just putting in that shot late so she doesn't get healed from it. I tried to sleep the diva behind me, but I was uh, not good enough mechanically. All right, well, I think wait, she, she's here. She's here. She's there. She's there. She's there. She's somewhere. I'm keeping my sleep dart online. They might try to recontest this with an EMP. <laughs> I knew they were doing it too. I went for the sleep, but I was too late and I missed it. I knew they were going for it. I knew they were going for it. I just couldn't get there. I probably should have played farther away and just let it happen and played to sleep the blade. But uh, you know what? It happens. The game's not over. <sighs> that was just a little lower, man. If they're Genji's behind me and just use dash, I'm walking in. I'm walking in. I can't walk in when their Ana has pressure there, so 
They're on us playing very well as a result, but I'm saving my cooldowns for the Genji. I'm sleeping. That's not good. Oh, I'm just dead to blue bomb. Just dead to bomb. <sighs> yeah. I love Junkertown, Circuit Royale, Havana. I love them all, guys. They're my favorite maps on Ana. Sarcastically. We stuck the, the worst tanks to play into their comps each round. We... So remember where we start on this map. Usually people are going to either play main or they're going to play it to take that top high ground. I always play here because it allows me to poke them after I know they don't have a Widow or Hanzo that's going to kill. Um, and also when they walk out of that door there, it gives me an easier time to hit any need. So they have a Winston, so they're going to play for main probably. Most likely they're going to jump on me, but I should be fine. Oh, they have Life Weaver. Free win if he stays. Yeah, that right there. I probably didn't even need to nade him, but I made sure it happened. Dude, this guy's just GG. Bro, that guy's mental is terrible. But well, we're running Diva to counter the monkey. This definitely is not looking good for them. The way they're going to win this is they have to just build a nano and jump on me with nano. We can kind of see how this is a really safe position for me because they can't, they don't really have a lot of cover on high ground when they push me, and I have a free nade every single time. Dude, we get it. We don't, have, he, he doesn't have sound. He typed it like three times. Alrighty. Put the monkey, get an anti him so he dies. There you go. He didn't have a way out because he just jumped to get to me and I slept him so I wouldn't die, but yeah, they kind of just have a life weaver. Yeah. Their tank. Wow. I don't I want to hear the comms on that side because quite frankly, they must be pretty terrible. Like that life weaver has two hundred less than two hundred healing and damage. That's that's yikes, man. I mean, sometimes you get lucky and you get some levers. Sometimes you'll be unlucky and get a lot of levers. But if you keep playing, it ain't the end of the world. This is... This kind of sucks, because, like, Masters Overwatch is where you really can learn a lot from watching me play, but... We're just not getting a lot of actual good games that matter that I can actually do things on, which... I mean, thus is the unranked to GM, I guess. I guess I'll go up forward to support my team. Not going to nano boost here because we already have damage boost. It essentially does the same thing. Huh. Yeah, this is... Just skip to the next game. <laughs> Just skip to the next one. <sighs> I don't know why there's so many levers, though. Like, it's a little absurd. You know what's crazy? <laughs> that Life Weaver still has less than a thousand healing and damage. That's just how bad that character is. Honestly, I don't even. Sometimes I don't even blame the tank for like for leaving there. Hopefully we get a tank. You know, that'd be awesome. Oh, we got a queen too. W. First, first fight is going to take a very long time. 
um, because that's just how this map works. It's just a very, very long fight where we poke back and forth. My job is to maybe find a huge nade when my team's actually close or to build Nana. So they have Hanzo. God, I hate this meta. Oh, that's huge. They don't have Hanzo anymore. I can actually be really aggressive now, so dodge the knife. Don't get five orbs, but be a lot more aggressive since they don't have a Hanzo to stop me. Force out the Tracer early. Anti the J-Queen after she gets knifed or swung on. She missed her thing. Sleep Diana. She dies. Nice. Such a GG, I think. Never mind. She just fell over. They have a Hanzo, so I got to be aware of that in the angle that he's peeking. Okay. Moira is making space for us, I think. Don't know why she threw a damage orb. That was quite not the best idea. All right, well, I got to back off. Is he going to go for a play on me? Doesn't look like it. But my team's dead here, so we just didn't wait. We're down one. With J-Queen. Wait, am I carrying? That's just mechanics right there. That's just me carrying. I kind of assumed she was going to keep walking back, but she didn't. So I lost down some value due to that. I was just looking for a we I hate this fucking map, dude. I want to, and I want to look for an anti and there we go. Yeah, that'll work. That'll, that'll kill. That'll kill. No, it won't <laughs> put too much trust in my team. Huh? Like I said, this first fight here takes forever. Dude, why are we? Wow. We actually might lose this game because of that fight right there. We used our Blizzard and our Jake Queen ult when the fight was not winnable. We just made it like 10 times harder to win this game. It's okay though. I think we'll try to make this win. So we're walking forward here. Just going to look for maybe some poke damage. They don't have Trank, so I don't have to save my nade for anything. That's just... Yeah, we're just going to take this fight anyways. Oh, we're even. Forcing out that tracer is my goal. I anteed their J Queen. She doesn't have knife. Or axe. Sorry, that's what I'm looking for. I missed my sleep and I lose because of it. Awesome. Love J Queen, man. I have a little bit of a DPS Moira as well. So, I don't know. Like, I, I'm really just going to focus on trying to anti their queen and try to just make their queen's life hell because they're making my queen's life hell by having a constant suzu up their queen and also a discord on mine so i really need to hit the sleeps like there's just no other way i'm gonna win this but here here comes the back and forth perpetuity of coliseo yeah i just can't be missing that i just i just gotta hit that i'm gonna play on him Just got to hit that, man. It's win-loss draw, not win-draw-loss. Like, we just can't be dying there that like that. Wait, now we have Sigma? Oh, we just lost. <laughs> Damn, that's tough. Uh, and we're staggering more. There's not a whole lot I can do in this meta against that comp. I'm not finished. We can try to win this. What? I shouldn't even have nanoed that fight. 
to be fair, like, I probably should have just not nanoed at all and kept it. All right, now I gotta back up. Oh, now we can walk back in. Now I gotta walk back out. I'm just chilling back and forth based on the ultimates to flow of the fight. Yeah, my Moira's going flank Moira again. And we lost. They have better support characters than we do. Also a better tank. Definitely hurts a lot. <sighs> Farah's actually a really good switch. Because maybe we can play to just poke them out before they take their fights. But Junker Queen makes this really difficult. So I'll try to keep sleep I'll try to keep sleeping and antenating the J Queen. They don't have wait, they don't have teleport. I can find it. Oh, what? That's a big anti. Forced out Suzu. Awesome. Big blizzard. Okay, well. I'm gonna go forward and get my ultimate since my Moira is the one pushing cart. I don't know. Yeah, little foot's kind of base for that. The dude just insta dies. This maze got a big mouth, so we're just not gonna engage. We do have flux, which is good. We need to play for a long fight though. A good flux. Oh, she's dead. Need to make sure these shots hit. Can't be having any of my teammates die when we're pushing past this point. That Zen is pressuring us so much, but there's not a lot I can really do. That's a big stagger if we can. Ah, oh, shit, we couldn't kill her. That's tough. Alright, this is okay. I Our Sig isn't wanting to take height, so I kind of have to play really safe here. I want to nano my Farah for barrage, so <laughs> I will no longer be able to do that. I'm not liking this at all. Okay, well we force Trank out. Well, we forced Trank and Kyrial. Honestly, that's not terrible. Why are we freezing? Now we actually just lost the game. Why are we freezing there? <laughs> that, that's going to make it very, very, very hard to win. And we just wasted that, that big ult again. Trish is coming from behind for me, I think. I hear sh I hear footsteps. And there she is. Almost died to that. I'm just chilling though. Okay, Farah, what is what is going on? Our DPS are just struggling a little bit. That's a big oh, that's the first big wall of the day, holy crap, and a big nade to kill that Hanzo too. Oh no. I'm, I'm like saying what the problem is, but I'm not saying the solution because quite frankly, I don't think there is a solution other than me being a complete aimbot and completely forcing out the tracer every single time. Like, I don't know. Okay, they have a casting now though, so my life's actually a little bit easier. I will, I, I'll be a little bit, I can be a little bit more aggressive and not get super caught out for it. But I don't, I don't like how we're always setting up to take these fights down here. I almost want to like force them into my Pharah. She gonna drop? No, she's not. I gotta get my nade off before I die. Play closer to my heal orb. Honestly, it's okay that my Pharah dies there. She'll be back fast enough. Who's contesting? Okay, last fight here. I need to build my nano. Shit. Gotta focus. Play for Nano onto my Pharah. 
Okay, I have another one for Pharah. Where's my Pharah at? Okay. You found one with Nano Barrage, died, <laughs> and we still won. I'm I'm astounded. I'm astounded. I am astounded. Well, hello everyone. We're on both YouTube and Twitch again. This is where we play. Play this high ground. When they walk in, you anti them, and you stick on this high ground as long as you possibly can. You fight your for your life on this high ground. You never play up there where that Genji's playing because he's gonna die. I don't know why people love to poke that hard. Like, you just die and you lose the game, man. Big anti, though. Maybe gonna get a kill for that. Yeah, there we go. The Junker Queen meta, you just play to fuck up the Junker Queen. Dude, that's insane. Oh, okay. We lose the first fight. We lost one off the bit. The bat. And someone's already pissed. Welcome to Overwatch after the announcement. But, uh, alright. Take the high ground this second point. Dodge the knife. RJ Queen's dead. I don't know what she's doing up there. Wait, maybe not? Nope, she got pulled. Now we run away. Run away. Ah, ah I'm so scary. I appreciate your support. Dude, I don't get why people type so much in ranked. It's kind of weird. Right now, we just got to chill. Oh, wow. We actually got a kill. That's huge. They're going to res it, though. I could have went for the sleep, but it was going to be really dangerous for me to do that. Instead, I'll go for the sleep into an anti-nade to kill. Yeah, so... At this point, this unranked to GM... Just like the last unranked to GM with Zen, it's it's just coming down to it's being harder because it's the meta. The meta is Junker Queen. If you're going to win as Ana and Junker Queen, you're going to invest all of your utility to just stop her because she's just that strong. Dude, like, how are you dead? Okay. In, in the Zen unranked to GM, it was easier because you could just Discord her and she would die. Now it's a little harder because I have to hit a Sleep Dart, which is a skill shot. Much harder than... The other option. She's one. Ah! Was then I just send kick him and he dies. Or I two tap him in the head and he dies. Or I have trank and he dies. We really should trank that. If we need. Wait, what are we doing? We just bladed? Okay, you know what? It's working. I won't I won't complain. We're probably gonna use trank for the mail if it even hits anything. No way that missed. Hanzo, hit a shot, please. Holy shit. Oh, man. That's just tragic. That's just tragic, man. All right, we're on Kiri now, though. Awesome. Yeah, Ana's probably, like, kind of a throw pick in this, this meta. I'm not going to lie. She's, she's near impossible to win with. Oh, touch. Dude. Alright, well, I don't have sleep for this. No, I do. Now she's anti and dies. If you can do that every time, like, then Ana isn't a throw pick. But the problem is, is that Junker Queen is so hard to hit. And my team, 
just keeps dying to stupid stuff that like it's kind of impossible. And because I have to invest all my util into killing a Junker Queen, then Genji has a much easier kill on me. So then my Kiriko has to s sustain support me. She hasn't been doing that. Oh, I wasted sleep. I'm going to take high ground here so it's harder for them to get to me. I think he probably has blade though. I don't know. My J Queen isn't bad, but our DPS are making this harder than it needs to be. My ultimate is charging. But they're definitely going to look for a Nano Blade to just pack this up, so I need to try to hit a Sleep Dart on it. But it's going to be hard to do that from this angle. I just kind of have to support my team, and she missed Knife. All right, yep, that's fine. That's May Alt and Blade. That's honestly like two of their biggest win conditions they shouldn't have used together. So I'm okay with that. Now we get to Nano Blade into their whatever they want to Nano. They'll probably Nano the Mercy or the May or the Genji because they're just going to try to deactivate our Nano Blade. But I'll try to look for a nade in order to stop that so we can start getting his dash resets early. Actually, didn't they? They opted to not nano. Oh, if I would have hit that shot, that would have been really cool. All right, so they still have nano. They probably have their drunker queen alt. So I got to look for an aggressive anti nade in the back line. Let my Suzu hopefully do the work. The Kiriko do the work with Suzu. They're on Hanzo now, actually. So high ground isn't as safe as it was before. Playing main. Honestly, I'm just going to play lower. Play on a corner. Not even give them the opportunity to look at me here. I will play on this height, though, so I don't get Junker Queen ulted. Oh, we're going for the... Yeah, that's huge. All right, nice. We can just counter this back in, then. Because she's anti and she should die. Oh, she definitely dies. Yeah, nice. Again, with J-Queen, it's all about the utility you're putting into her and just playing to live and win. And It's so many things that are just so, honestly, quite quite frankly, so boring to me. But now they're going to have a mail. We don't have, like, anything. At least I think they're going to have a mail. Maybe she doesn't have it because that fight went a little fast. I do need to get Nano as fast as possible, though. to make sure that I don't scope in for too long and I'm staying cognizant of where this Hanzo is going to be peeking from. It's good that that Nano got no value. Now Nano Blade is up next. That's big. Big anti nade on that. Going to force Suzu out. Dash, 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 dash. No, you're anti Oh. Oh, this is bad, though, because they still have another fight. We need to play to support our, um, our Cassidy in the high noon. Honestly, I might even have to body block for him. Because that May ult's coming. Oh, wait, we're stopping it now. Wow, okay, that was, honestly, like, the first two points were a really bad hold, but the problem is on maps like this, all that matters is the last hold. We held them really close, too, so so long as our first point is good and our second point is good, the third point's going to be easy. Even if our first and second aren't great, at least the third can be easy. We have a lot of opportunities here, which is good. Very good. Just got to make sure we don't get killed by whatever they get. I thought I heard a Widow. A Junkrat Ash. So boring, man.
Dude, why are you flanking, Kiriko? Why? Our, our whole team needs heals. Oh, God. That is so tilting. There we go. We have a BAP now. They're already down one, so that's also very good for us. I'm just going to play to pocket my D.Va so that we can take this Ash out next. Because that's kind of what we're playing for right now. I don't know why we're not being more aggressive. But just just walk in and kill them, please. Our Bab's dead. Don't matter. Wait, she can change it mid? Why aren't we being aggressive? Like, why are we so scared? I still have some fight I'm so confused. I'm trying to help my team be more aggressive. Okay, I need to go to social. Uh, I'm not going to chat. This is just going to be toxic. It's not going to end well if I do that. I need to build a nano again for the blade. They're going to have Bob, so I'm going to have to sleep that. I'm also going to have to look to break tires, so... This fight's probably just set up to be a loss. Okay, that's fine. They used alts. We go next... Oh, wait, we bladed. That's not good at all. I think we should just go queen, honestly. I don't know why we don't. Just go queen. But... We don't have alts now. We've played this comp. This is not looking good. I'm starting to get a little bit worried about the future of this game. I can't just walk in. When I did get to walk in, we should have just won the fight off that, but we didn't. They still have Bob, so I gotta save sleep for that. Keep him sleeping. Why did we wait? Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna start walking in here. I don't have sleep for Bob, but that's fine. It's in a terrible spot. All right, cool. That's that's what we needed. Jeez, man, it's not one yet. It's still so losable. This is not good. The J Queen could retouch this, so I want to save my utility. I don't want to get too. I don't want to get uh too excited here. Cool. Now I want to take high ground. But I don't think I'm going to get to because the J-Queen's holding close. She's anti, though. Force out Suzu. That's big. That's massive. Well, I thought she was going for an aggressive play. It turned out she wasn't. I'll get my nano off of this at least. We should at least take the height. Now nah, she's holding on to it pretty hard. As much as I want to stay cart there to keep the cart moving, I'm not going to be able to because the J-Queen's just going to kill me if I do that. The switch to Kiri again was really smart. Dude, I hate that. I hate that she can change direction mid-ult. You can't sleep it at that point. I didn't know she could do that. I thought she was locked once she started it. Maybe there's some tech I don't know about. Oh, well, that's a huge two picks, though. All right, we're walking. Get the payload moving. Help our diva maybe get back and mech this next fight. That's very important. J Queen's gonna walk on us top, though. So. Mm, 
I gotta drop. I want to save this for Nanoblade, even though we probably could win this fight. I want to play to save it. I was looking at it. I wasn't sure. Another great pick. We'll just start walking with that. Take heights. It's nice that people know they just do that, but they do at least defend it in this rank. I gotta go this way. Are they gonna push me here? Oh my god, he's dead. That's not good at all. Wait, where's my Kiri? My Kiri just dropped. Oh, we just lost because our Genji died. Uh, and we played D.Va. They are running Junker Queen. So... Junker Queen May. I still just don't get to walk, and their Junker Queen also gets to do everything she wants. But when you put all your utility into her, you can counter her, which is kind of what you have to do in this meta. I fear that in future metas, that won't be the case. You don't have to do that, probably, Azana. You probably just have to play smarter, but she is so overtuned that she, at higher ranks especially, completely commands the game. Loading and healing and healing again. It's hitting some important Can you peek me? There you go. All right, that's actually, I kind of knew we were gonna win first point. Second point's gonna be a lot harder because it's a lot easier to get close up and personal when you're playing against a Junker Queen. Uh, okay. I have Nano if she ever lands a swing on my Sig. Which is probably where it's going to go. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, it looks like we're winning this fight, though. So I don't, I don't want to have to use... Oh, never mind. She's going to Junker Queen Alt after this. Oh, we killed it. Cool. Hey, carried. Okay, we forced strength, though. I'll take it. Alrighty. We are just... Oh, wait. He's actually chasing me. Why? Why did two chase me? That's two free picks. I was looking at my chat. No way she gets out. Really, dude? Really? Not finished. That's a real. Zen should just perma discord Junker Queen. Yes, exactly. In this meta, if they have Junker Queen, that is the discord target. Permanently. Because after that, you kill the Junker Queen, you literally just win. These psychopaths are going to chase me again. Yeah, I just bait him into my zen then. I, I had hope that they weren't going to do that. Okay, we got to walk though. So go, go. If he ain't going to do it, I'm going to make him do it. I shouldn't have gone away with it, but... I had the support, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to set two on cart. Ah, eh, no, never mind. I want to get a kill. I think they're going to be able to touch regardless if they wanted to. 
only way I'm going to stop it is if I can kill someone. Or at least push them back a little bit. Using the stairs as cut. Okay. The moment, like, like a fraction, a millisecond after the May hits that. I want to take height, but the fight's already started, so. Big anti though, that's gonna kill him. Maybe. Should have killed him, but it didn't. We still have our trank. Oh man, I thought I could get that before he grasped. That's unlucky. But now we're now we're just kinda chilling. We do have trank for May out now though, which is humongous. Forcing out that sig with another nade. Damn, he just died. And we're backing off. Why did we trank this one? Fight's already lost. Okay, I guess that's why we did it. Alright, well, cool. This is just back and forth alt fest. One for one, one for one, one for one. This anti is forcing that Sigma back consistently. It's getting my team an opportunity to just not like get completely run over. My team needs to take different angles though. So last point on circuit is just a matter of getting all of your ultimates and spamming them all together for two consistent fight wins. It's about draining the enemy and then having stuff for yourself. This Tracer should probably switch. She has died eight times already this half. I can't peek because he probably has a sonar and my Sigma is going to die because of that. Yep. Because we didn't rotate with our shield. Ana's very dependent on her team. I'm starting to learn that uh, through this unranked to GM and also the last one too. She's one of the harder ones to just hard carry with, I feel. That was just pure stupidity. going to continue to do some damage get some alt charge that's the whole plan right now what where is he going go outside if you're gonna go outside go outside problem is it's hard for me to flank because the team just like doesn't have healing yeah okay we get one more fight i gotta just jump off Our Tracer hopefully has touch. We have four ultimates to win this. They also have Trank, though. Our Tracer might not have touch. She's already in. She touched 10 seconds way too early. Wow. The Zen is right. That is what he should be doing with our Tracer every single time. I can't... Rotate because I'm the main healer. Not main healer, like main support. Not that. I'm flex support. But I, I'm the main source of healing for my Sigma. So I need to be there so he doesn't just fall over. My Zen needs to flank and get stuff done. But if he's not going to do that, like he's, he should be significantly out damaging me. But he's only got 3.2k. Like if I look at their team, the tank battle, we're winning a lot. Like really hard. But the support and 
DPS battle. We are struggling really hard that last point, but it's all going to come down to this first corner. Our SIG shouldn't play that close. Our SIG really should play like here or over on this bridge, but let's see what they have. They have a Widow, so I'm going to have to play this way. I might just drop. Just play lower with my SIG if we're staging to play closer. And we already lost one. It's even. But they rest there? Okay. Okay, drop if you need heals. Or not. And we... Alright. Alright, we're going to keep going. That first fight was just not good. We got picked off the rip. That's just how this map rolls. We have a monkey now, though, so this is going to be a lot more active. So now we have a little bit easier of a time to carry, but they have a Genji and a Widow, which is... I'm also coming to find probably the hardest thing to play against outside of Hanzo. Why are we dying there? Just don't peek it. These are like plat level mistakes we're making here. I needed myself, but I still die. Makes me hurt in the 1v1. But now we have a sim. Okay, so we're a second point team now. We're a second point team. That's the characters we're setting ourselves up to play. Ram isn't terrible. getting alt charge right now to hopefully carry out this next fight before the widow has a sight line on me and it's harder for me to do damage like now i do got to save the uh sleep for this genji blade that's coming big sleep There you go. Even though we have Trank, there's also a Flux. There we go. I'm just going to bait her into me. That's their Flux and their Nano Blade. So now we can really establish a hold in this point just by thinking about me needing to sleep the blade. I did that. The way you do it is really baiting them to you and making it linear. They have a Hanza now, though, so... The mid fight is going to be a lot more annoying and I have to just look for where he is so I don't get one shot in the head. I think he's going that way. Yep. In the 1v1, please. You're just going to go away from the 1v1? Dude, what are these DPS players? You have a nano and you're just like, oh, I guess I'm going to the back line. What? I'll just nano my Zen next time. I mean, he's on Moira now. They have a J Queen now too, so that's going to be annoying. No more Hanzo though, so I'm not going to get one shot. I can look for aggressive damage peaks here. Because now he's going to come left side for me, so I'm actually going to rotate right. Make it harder for them to kill me. And easier for my team to kill this J Queen. Okay, I didn't expect to get pulled from that far. Not going to lie. Just trying to keep him alive. That was not very smart. All right, we got to win this now, though. I don't know who I just hit. I must have gotten hit by my tracer there. Oh, I might die to that. Oh, that's stupid. Stop the J Queen. That's what I need to do. Even though they have Bob, I'm not too upset. I didn't want to drop. That's just terrible. Now they're... Wait, they're chasing me? Really? All right, well, I mean, my team should win the main fight. Wait, they res J Queen. 
I think we can still win this though, because for some reason they backed off. They are C9ing though. They are Charlie Nining. With a J Queen too, so. Unironically, that could have been really bad. They're gonna have a nano blade soon, so I might have to nano like my support or something to keep him alive, but it's Moira, so like she shouldn't die. No way she doesn't die! I was gonna say! Yo, this game is like crazy, man! How are you dead up there? What's going on? I very I very well main in on my submesh right here. Two on two. One on. Oh, she just gotta live. You just gotta live. Just live. Just live. Just live. Yes. Okay, they have a pharmacy now. I gotta just for, for, force out this pharmacy right now. I nano my sim there because we needed to touch point. Like now or never. Canceling the res there just wins us the game. That's why I tried to sleep it, but I was a little late on it. But I think we're going to win this. That game was unreal. I don't think I'm GM yet, though. I doubt I am. Five and three, I went up 20%. All right, cool. I guess I'll... Wow. Junker Queen Comp's going to get really annoying to play against, but I got to pull through. I got to I gotta put that mental, that bad mental behind me. I got to play to win. So they got a Farah. I got to force that Farah out. Also have a J Queen. Oh, shockers. I'm just going to walk with mine, though. Try to distance myself from theirs. Just make sure I don't get knifed. If I get knifed, I then get axed and then I die. That's not good. She's going to play aggressive off that. Well, she should. I anteed her, though. Or I slept her, though. She'll lead her to get anteed, lose the axe 1v1, and we win the game. If you can consistently do that, you will carry with Ana. Problem is, that's, like, kind of hard to do consistently when they have a Hanzo Farah. But, hey, I, f I forced him off to ball, so uh, now we just win the game. Now, literally, all I need to do is just sit with J Queen and I won't die. In a perfect world, until this Farah forces us out. And... Oh, well, now the Farah's dead, so I'm gonna walk. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's anti. Oh, I gotta walk back to point? No, I don't wanna point. Well, I guess I am pointing here. I have Nano way before this guy has Blade. If they push us here... Wait a minute. Kill that guy. <laughs> I could have killed that guy if I hit that shot. That's unlucky. But we, we, we maintained our push momentum, and I'm probably going to get my Nano relatively fast against that comp because they have a ball. But oh, she's looking for it. Gosh, dang. Like, that's just... I barely missed that. Literally, like, hairs on the head, man. That is just so unlucky. Wow. Okay, well, I had the right idea. They have mines now, so I gotta make sure I try to sleep him before he gets really good mines off. And I see that he's going for it.
So Hans was top. No longer have a Hanzo, so. I'm just gonna let him go. Never mind, my my queen wants him. He'll die mid fight. There we go. They have their Hanzo back, so taking that close high ground is gonna be hard. Where is he shooting from? From there. Okay. I want to take the close high ground actually. They gave it to me. Cool. Just got to build nano here. I don't think I need a nano this. Yep. If you can get away with not nanoing and using it for the next fight, that's totally fine. Especially since like momentum is really important on payload maps. I think that's a worth it call. Oh, they have, they're going to three, two, one me now, which is essentially they're going to find me on Sombra. Number nine, they're on Symmetra now. So they're not going to three, two, one me, but they do have a monkey. So I do got to be aware of that. Still just going to be playing close to my J queen. What the hell? He's one. Cool. Free pick. Wait, what? She just doesn't have fade. That was kind of troll by her. I think I'm going to nail my Bastion action. Ah, never mind. They have a D.Va. If he gets D-Maxed, then yeah. Just going to nail my J-Queen so we can be aggressive here. Loading, help my Hanzo. At this point, if he dies, it's kind of his fault. He should be winning with those shots. And yeah, okay. To be fair, we did cap with like three minutes. To be honest, him being in spawn doesn't really change anything. He's essentially not. Okay, well, now we're 3v5. Now they're on Hog. Nothing I can do there when my life weaver just got to point. Let's see what he's going to do for us, though. Honestly, he, he does a lot here. Life weaver does a lot here. I'm not finished. After that initial burst of value, he does a lot. Less. That's for sure. Thank God we won that. Holy moly. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, that's not good. I need to get my nano. He doesn't have hook right now. He's anteed. I baited the hook and now I do damage. Up, oh, they force Suzu. Cool. That's what I kind of wanted. Alright, well, they're going to start to try to force me out if we're going to play this far away. Beat the hook. I don't really know how I'm baiting the hook. It's just like muscle memory at this point. It's kind of like I'm, I'm, I'm looking like I'm in a hard scope. Oh, he's dead. That's not a jump you can hit. I wanted to try it, though. You should die off that. There, I'm, I'm okay with being aggressive here, honestly. Man, I didn't want him to use Hog ult. I wanted him to stay on Hog. And now he's on Ball. Now he's on a better tank. Honestly, Nano Visor is going to do a lot here. If he's in a good position to use it.
I don't like how much space we're giving them. Oh, that's bad. Just gotta nano somebody so I don't die. It's a great exit frag that's going to set our team up for victory here. I don't know. Oh, that's actually a really good pull. You should kill the Ana with that. He didn't kill the Ana with that. Like, Life Weaver, he's, he's not playing that bad at Life Weaver right now. That's a big pick, too. Those exit frags, like, they genuinely are going to make this retake so much easier. gonna heal here oh he's oh he's gonna minefield me probably if i stay here i'm gonna rotate to height so my team doesn't need healing right now they're focusing on killing me also it's junker queen so she just heals herself to full what 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 i don't know where my dog is she just kind of walked in and left like mid fight there. That's why I got quiet. I was like, what's going on? All right, their ball's going to look for a touch. He got it from behind. Wow. He's anti though. He shouldn't. There's a little peaky hole back here. I never knew that. That actually makes this not as scary to hold. That's a GG's. Awesome. I wish every game was like that where I had a Junker Queen and they didn't and I won because of it. Wouldn't that be awesome, guys? So this map is about rotating the high ground behind them. Looking for a neat opportunity for my monkey to jump off of, just like we did before. Although it does depend on the support I have with me. I hope I have like a Kiriko. Just makes my life easier. I can just be more aggressive with damage and carry that way. So we got a Hanzo Ash. Yeah, realistically, I'm going to be playing to be pretty aggressive here because we do have a Baptiste, but he's going to struggle to heal. So... Because it's like, I mean, it's a dive core. I'm going to have to just kind of see where he's going with this. But I want to try to just dash to get to the height as fast as possible here. Just like my Winston's doing right here. Realistically, my team shouldn't die to damage right now. The Ryan is up there. Wait, so I just like get this high ground for free though. I'm just going to take this guy's pedal because he left it. It's going to help me live and get a high ground. I don't know. Sometimes I think Life Weaver helps the enemy team more than his own. Right there. Every single time. Take that high ground. It, it carries every single time. Your team just needs to not die. No matter what support you're on. Oh, okay. Ana and Zen should take that high ground. I don't know about everyone else, but... I probably could have played that left hallway and looked for a flank nade. They have a Hanzo, so it's going to be a little difficult. That line's one. Uh, yo, Zayshin just popped off. Awesome. Cool. Now, what am I doing next? I'm going to take high ground until they go Junker Queen and my life sucks. He's staying Ryan. He's so cool. It's so much easier to win when they're not in J-Queen. So, I'm going to rotate height. Ro rotate. Uh, uh, rotate height. So I have easier anti-nades. That's the whole reason why I specifically look for it. But it's also just easier aggressive opportunities. They are trying to play off height though. So I'm just going to like stage here. Because I'm out of the line of sight. And I'm not like being too aggressive. But whenever my monkey jumps, I'm essentially just going to walk. If he stays up here. Anti dot tracer off the rip. It's also very hard for them to like push me here without my team just kind of stopping them. Unless they're Hanzo flanks, but he isn't doing that. Stick the Ryan and just start walking in. Help by Winston. Ryan gives up the high ground. Now I have it. Cool. I have free reign over this point now to really do whatever I want, whatever my team needs. That movement is a little crazy for my liking. Okay, now I'm just going to chill. Just going to wait out that. You trying to drag me off height? Nope. They're gonna do that though. 
<sighs> Dude, I tried an Anna and it's just... I don't know why we didn't just stay high ground. That was weird. Our team dropped for some reason when they windowed when we could have just chilled. I go out on my which made that Hanzo just have the opportunity to take an angle, which was not fun. If we just stay height, that doesn't happen. Moira is going to be a lot easier to heal my team, so now I can definitely be really aggressive. I just have to be careful with that Hanzo. Because I want, I really want to take height here, but I think it might be better if I just play below. Oh, that's not good. Great. I'm going to get heals. I thought the Ryan was high ground. That's weird. Why aren't they playing high grounds? If they, if they play low ground there, you literally just hold main and don't do what I did. I won't give I'm so used to them just holding height. Uh. I want her to take this 1v1 with me. Why? Because I have a health pack. Monkey should be able to build Primal or at least just live up there. Alright, they forced... Pulse, cool. Get in the end of this jump. That's a good pick. Start it. Awesome. Now I can rotate height again. I should be able to at least. Because they don't have a they don't have a Hanzo. It's a big nade. My value is pretty much done now. Just get on my high ground. Hopefully that dragon isn't killing me. They missed me, so I'm cool. I'm cool and help my monkey get some damage on some things. <sighs> Dude, so it's so annoying. I hate Hanzo. He's so strong right now. He makes it very hard to stay on height and like do things. Anything worthwhile for my team that is. Dude, it's so annoying. He does it so fast. He gets it so fast. Sniper's in this game. Samito's right. Like, I know y'all. some of y'all hate him, but, like, he's right. This game, holy. The double sniper stuff in Overwatch 2, just they never got retuned. That guy's been so good for so long. All right, this, again, it's just taking high ground, except it's a little harder to do because I'm a little, like, more intimate with the enemy. Look at what the Hanzo wants to do. He's going to flank me here. Uh, dude, wh where's my team at? Why are we backing off? Oh, wait, we're not backing off. We just went in so fast I couldn't straight up keep up. I was confused for a second there. Definitely a shatter. Oh, Ryan kind of trolled by walking forward. Not going to lie. Surely, right? Okay, I have Nano. I want to use it on my monkey, though. Right now, we're just getting cart push. Awesome. This is exactly what we want to see. Help my team not die from a Hanzo Tracer while I rotate and wait for my Mercy to come back. Okay, now my Mercy's here. That's her job. I'm going to rotate. I'm on high ground. Ignade. Nano the monkey. Win the fight. We're just with that alone. I hate that character. He's so boring. I shouldn't be hard scoping as much as I am, but like I want to make sure I get this damage. This is why you don't hard scope because that stuff just happens all the time. It's so tilting. Trish is gonna pulse me up here. Never mind, she's gonna pulse point. Never mind. She C nines. I don't know what happened there, but Sis Hanzo is so annoying. They have a Bap Lucio Tracer. I'm just going to force her out off the rip. Am I? She's waiting for the fight to start, probably. Well, it's too late for me to force her out now. My, my team can do that. I just completely whiffed that. 
It's coming from behind. Not really doing anything. What? Wait. It said I put her to sleep. It, it gave me the indication. That's BS, man. Right here, I'm just holding height. Easy nades. Don't have to be scared of tracers when she's looking at my team or when I have my team close by. That was close. It kind of sucks for them that they're running Ryan. It kind of ruins their chances of winning this game on Dorado. I wanted to hit my Winston with that. I didn't actually intend to kill the Tracer just because I needed that Winston to live. First point hold, you need to make sure no one dies. If you're going to hold this for a long time. Because they have uh, shorter spawns than we do. At least right now. Tracer's just forcing car. We have... Okay, we have Primal, so I don't have to focus on healing him right now. What I have to focus on is making sure they don't get high ground. I can give them as much space as I really want to, but I cannot give them high ground. I can give them point for all I care. As long as I control this, I will be fine. Slow down their push a little bit. Dude, you're kidding me! You're kidding me! You're kidding me! You're kidding me! I thought it was going up. That was so stupid of me. I saw it. I should have just assumed that it was going through there. I was wondering why it was taking so long to go through the wall, too. Because it was taking a little bit to get through the walls. Like, why isn't it going? It must be up above me. I should have just assumed that it wasn't. We can still win this fight, though, unironically. That's a good bob. Pick me, monkey. Pick me, monkey. Okay, I'll, I'll do it after this, then. Using the sleep to keep myself alive against flanker. She definitely has pulse, so I'm not even going to peek her. And yeah, there we go. There. Made up for my mistake. Um, okay, if I finish this card, maybe I'll have time for R6. But I am going to the gym with my girlfriend today, and I don't know when we're doing that, so I'm not sure, Magia. Get off that angle, bro. You're not that guy, pal. And what that's something George would say. You're not that guy, pal. She has pulse. She's looking for it. Holy moly. They do not like my Bastion at all. Yeah, he's just going to die if he stays in that. I don't think this guy is beated yet. I don't think he will. I love Maradon Miles. Alright, so this game was just staying on high ground and playing away from the Reinhardt, and it was kind of free. It was kind of free. This is like normal Overwatch. Like, it's kind of easy just to pop off and carry when they're not playing the busted tanks. Um, but when they play the busted tanks and supports, it's a little bit hard to do that, right? They have a Genji. <laughs> God. Genji's going to be the one that I'm... Oh, no. They have a hog. Never mind. Life is easy. Wait, why is this guy... Is this guy going to mirror the hog? Sig. Honestly, it's actually a counter swap. feel bad for their team, but I just need to play to live. The Genji... Okay, their Genji no deflects. We can kill him. There we go. Now that that's done. Oh, shit. My dog just started eating my toe. <laughs> that was so weird. That was the weirdest sensation of my life. Doing my team when they need it. Taking a, a wider angle just because I have a shield too. I think because my Zen has... Alt, I'm going to go forward to try to get mine, and he's going to stay cart. Now they have Sig. I like when I'm not playing against J-Queen every game. This makes the game a lot more fun. 
That was a lot of fun for him. We've heard that excuse in comp, surely. Okay, right here, I'm just playing to get nano and just... Their Genji's playing really aggressive and for really no good reason. So I might just save nades so that we can just make up for the fact that he's playing really stupid. Because <laughs> if we just kill one every fight at the start, I'd, I could care less if my nade gets a lot of value in the back line. I have nano. I might just use it to win the Sig 1v1 after he fluxes to try to get him some more ult charge. But I could just nano like really anything here, like a Bob or maybe the Ash if she gets an angle. Nah, I kind of want to nano my sick. He needs to walk forward. I know I said I wanted to get him all, but he was taking a little bit too long. He needed a little bit of a kick in the butt. He was in a position, though, that he could be aggressive immediately after I give him nano. So don't get the idea that you should only use it to, like, press nano forward. So, honestly, now that I don't have ult, I should... Definitely be aggressive here, but my Ash wants to get her all because she hasn't had any fun yet. So honestly, it's ranked, whatever. I was looking at chat and he dies immediately. All right, well now the Nano Blade's coming and I need to get my Sleep Dart online before he does this. He shouldn't do it now. If he does it now, he's honestly throwing. That's a new thing I learned. That works. Cool. And use that spot, I guess, in your next game. Like, that Genji is so aggressive. He was 1 HP, to be fair. They have a monkey now, so... Mm. I don't know if I trust my Sig to keep me alive, so I'm actually just going to play so far away that this monkey's not going to be able to get me, which is kind of easy on this map to do. Oh, wow. That was good good movement off the wall. I messed up. To be fair, even if I sleep that Nano Blade, I still think we lose. I think that Nano Blade was hard unnecessary. Now I'm just going to nano my SIG, honestly. Like, everything we talked about at the start of this unranked to GM, that is how you're going to play. That is how you're going to play Ana 90% of the time. In most, in most metas, the first day, that's how you play Ana. Everything we talked about. Today, it's just been how you play Ana in Junker Queen. No, I'm sorry. I appreciate you. I usually do that. Uh, unless they have a sniper, then it's a little harder for me to pop off at that. Um, okay, they have a ram. I'm going to look for a flank nade. I don't know what they have. Oh, they have a widow. <gasps> I can't do this. Drop. She's on... <laughs> No, I thought I had it. I thought I had it in time. Well, I trolled. I'm not finished. I didn't see the widow off the rip, which is why I was kind of like, "Oh, cool. I'm I'm fine. I'm chilling." Wait, we can actually win this fight though. How did that not hit her? Yeah, that's uh, that's why you don't play there though against the widow. It was t dude. She can she can't even see me. There's there's treats. Dude, 
Dude, she can't even see me. There's a tree. She just wall banged me. All right, well. The Widow's going to play dumb aggressive now. Now I get to have no fun. I need to chill. Where is she? Well, she's not top. My Hanzo's there. She definitely has pulse. What is playing me? All right. So just, oh, I almost died there for that. All right, well, before Trank, I'm gonna not go for an aid now because honestly, everyone's just not gonna. You know, their tank just left the game. Do I get less elo for that now? I wonder. Yeah, this is just like, I'm just gonna peek her way out. <laughs> that was just a huge waste of time for her. But now they don't have a tank, it's just, yeah. It's like Overwatch 1, same amount of Elo? All right, yeah. I don't know why the tank left the game, but he did, so. Now I, dude, it's so weird. Like, we're winning so many games because of levers. To be fair, we were gonna win this game anyways, but it's like... I guess if you dump on people so hard that they don't even want to play the game, it, it works out, right? It's a strap. <laughs> no Suzu there. Ugh. Sus. Well. Uh. Oh, he's back. Wait, now, now we're just like in a weird position. up the hog so my team has time to get back all right well I, I forced Suzu with that early I'm fine with that but he, he went hog I'm dropping off they probably have pulse Is she in here no I knew she had it too, but to be honest, I don't know where we're trying to take that fight. Like we should take the fight at the choke, but our ball was sent top. So I set myself up to be like ready to take that fight on library or on the first choke. And we just never took it. Weird. He's going to go sig though. Or he's going to stay ball. No, he's going to go Risa. Thanks for coming in, Hot Milk. Should have peeked me for Nano, honestly. So yeah, I Nano to Risa because she's definitely not gonna die with Nano and Gold. I'll tell you that much. Even with Bastion, we covered that in the video. Okay, well. I'm a little peeved that my Zen didn't peek me for Nano. Regen will help him get the rest, so I'm just going to look for aggressive value now that they're starting to push in. Okay. Anti him so he doesn't get. Ah, dude, 
He needs to get into Trank. That's his fault. I'm going to get killed by Bastion. Never mind. He didn't know how to use the ultimate because he doesn't play the character. Ha huh? That doesn't anti him? Really? Okay, now I just need to play to get Nano. I mean, I have Nano, but I don't think they're winning this. Have Nano for whenever they want to try to get close to this Arisa. That just happened. I need to walk to my Arisa now. My Zen didn't give me an orb. But I think he's keeping orb on the Arisa. But yep, <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of bait their hog into my Arisa, which re realistically the hog never should walk that close to an Arisa. Realistically, we should just win the fight off that, but for some reason, my team is kind of hard trolling. Oh, uh, yeah. I should have known that he was going to peek that way. My hounds also jumped off the map, which um, we don't need to talk about all that. That forces out the hog so he can reestablish dominance on the point. That's not a smart idea to use that ultimate right now, buddy. At least we'll force overtime, right? We don't need to win this, but you have Trank. Okay, never mind. I, I should have just trusted that he was going to hit it. Uh, if it were up to me, I would go Lucio and stall, but we win the game, actually, so. Yeah, I don't know why people are playing Roadhog instead of Queen right now. <laughs> but these last few games, I haven't had to go against Queen, and you guys can already see how much easier it is to just pop off Azana and win. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me get high ground, bro. You push that cart, monkey. I'm rotating. Wait, they're, 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 their cast is just trolling up here. He has a pocket. Can we kill that? Yeah, we kill that. All right. He's anteed. What the f Okay. All right. I, I would say that I play, I don't know. I, the thing is, I can't really say how my play style is different than Awkward's because I've never watched him play. And that's not an ego thing. It's just like, it's not, the, the content he makes isn't really for me. Yeah, no, that's fine. We, you just push cart while we take height. Ryan, 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 Ryan. Shut up, stop saying Lucio. The cast is pushing our is pushing me in the back line. This guy is psycho. This is Ryan gets away with it. Yeah, they're off the height though. Just go height and live. Or at least kill this cast. He's like their carry. They're just pocketing him. This dude might be cheating. He's playing this stupid. This Ryan is tro Don't even worry about him. Just walk tight. Just walk height. The back line's so free. No, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the rest of our team. It's and then put our Winston cart. We'll be fine. Someone get on cart while we're winning this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I'm leaving chat. I'm going to get toxic if I don't. I'm not even going to comment anything for us. It's not worth it. Our DPS are struggling. I just need to chill. There's too much going on in there. It's just messing me up. Cool. Okay. We got we're rotating height. We're walking here. That's not what I wanted. Yep, the moment I leave chat, I think it's just a lot easier. 
I don't trust what my team's gonna do, but I'm just gonna make it happen. At high ground, like, this is all we need to do to win. Oh, shit. Nice. That's what we need to do. Every single time, keep that nade. When they have the junk tire, if you have it, you use it for that. I'm going to need to save my sleep, though, because he's going to look for a high nude mid fight. Oh, he's forced out, though. That's big. He's my nade to kill that Mercy. Dude, that Mercy's one. Oh, that's a big beat. I'm going to walk in here. I'm going to try to stop the shatter. Actually, I'm going to support my my monkey that's killing things on point and then just sleep him. He's going to come back with Shadow, though, so... Wow, he isn't going to. He's going to do that instead of touching point for his team? Okay, cool. I got value. Awesome. And now I'm just going to keep building Nano to try to get this uh, monkey uh, that as much as possible. Needs to come to me. All right, cool. Just going to heal him. Look for an aid inside there. He still has shatters, so I, I want to play around corners or play on heights so that he doesn't just get to walk on me for free. Thing is, is I, I really need that high ground to get stuff done. Our monkey just needs to sit on cart. That's all he needs to do. He doesn't need a soft engage. He... he Okay, I need to re-evaluate the way I'm playing because this guy's a Rhine player and he plays Rhine very stupid. So now that I know that, anytime I hear this Reinhardt, I'm going to make sure that I'm allocating sleep towards him or that I'm looking at where that guy's pitting because he is a little bit like, like what is that? What is that? Dude, this guy is something else. That's like just that was purely unexpected. I got to expect the unexpected at this point. That's not good. I don't have anything to stop this. I'm just running from it. All right, cool. Gonna still stay scoped here because he needs that heal so bad, but I hear the Junkrat lurking. Let's sleep the Ryan and try to get up and around. Where's my monkey? Why is my monkey not jumping? Fuck, dude. I thought we were jumping back line to try to get a carry play there, but... Man, tough stuff. All right, we're just going to keep rolling in here, though. Can we take height? I need to save my sleep for this high noon, but I also need to save it for the Reinhardt because he plays so stupid. Yep, not stupid this time, dude. Like, that's just crazy, man. Like, the fight's lost. It doesn't even matter. Like, they're playing so hard to kill me. Like, their Reinhardt wants me, man. At this point, they're putting a junk and a Rhine on second point for me to do anything. I'm just going to save my sleep for Rhine this whole game. I don't, I don't even care. The thing is, is like they don't have a Rhine. We have a Winston. We should be able to just jump on the back line every single fight. I don't know how we're not killing things. And I don't think it's our tank's fault. I'm going to be honest. I think it's our DPS. But it's like, how do I how do I support my DPS to get more done there? I think it's just kind of like, eh, whatever. Hope, hope defense works all right. If this guy's a soldier player, put him on the back. He'll do a lot of damage. He'll do more than what he was doing last round. I don't even know what he was playing. That might have... Oh, Zen. Yeah, dude, I'm doing... 
almost as much damage as this guy in Zen. That's scary stuff. But for I know for awkward, he'll just like flank on it and just try to kill everyone, which that's what people have told me, and I'm like, you know, that's not that's not how you play Ana into every single composition. Some compositions, yes, that's how it works. But at the end of the day, it also depends like how you you are mechanically, because you don't have awkward mechanics. I can guarantee that. Gonna luck to nade the TP here. There we go. I think he's sticking. Nope, he's not sticking the height. Our ball just needs to live and not get forced out here. They're gonna look to TP on us every time. We need to look to nade their TP. That's like a free source of value every single fight. But with this comp, in theory, we should be fine. Like, it should be okay that we're giving them card space so that we force them down under. But our Torb being down there is very dangerous, and you're going to die for doing stupid stuff like that. You just need to stay up here on this map. Even if they had a monkey, you just need to stay top. You just never need to force anything on this map. Just hold this high ground and you will win. I wish I could... Dude, this, this guy must be like a junk player. Because this guy knows like lineups for each map. That's a good boot. Wow, good on him. Dude, I hate that character too! What is that? Where's my bap? He's on me! That's so crazy! I shouldn't be dying to him there! Like, we have bap! That's so crazy, man! Alright, I have Nano coming up here though. Don't walk next to him. He's going to shatter you. I'm rotating. Probably going to have to sleep the high noon this fight. And also break that junk tire. So I'm setting myself up in a position in which I'm able to do that pretty easily. Where's it at? I needed to do that to cancel my reload. All right, we got it. Cool. Throwing my nade in now because of that. Still have shatter. The ball's in a really bad spot. I think I can rotate in and take height right now. That's big. I needed that. Awesome. Now knowing that slam was really important because I needed to make sure that that Mercy got pressure. Now they're on Hans, so. I gotta drop off because my team isn't playing height with me. They're gonna have shatter. I need to play for the high noon. To stop it. Oh, we killed it. Cool. Oh, but they resed it immediately after. That's tough. Oh, now we got to play for a second point hold, and this is not good for us because Ryan's actually decent here. What happened there? Oh, we didn't keep height. That's the problem. My bap's going, like, hardcore damage, which, I mean... He's not healing like at all. He's like hard DPSing, which is good if he wants to carry. And he is doing a lot of damage. I just wish he would heal us a little bit more. Because for me to force healing here too is a little bit of a throw. But 
It's doable if we keep that door closed. You can then just hold one choke every single time. Stop the Hanzo so I have a little bit more opportunity. My team has more opportunity too. To kill that Ryan without getting one shot. He's awake now though. Good. The door is closed now. That's very good actually. That is exactly what we needed. Now we just need to keep that Hanzo off height and avoid getting one shot. By Hanzo. Keep the Cassidy off heights is what I meant to say if I didn't say that. I have Nano. I don't know if I want to use Visor. I think I'm just going to Nano my ball because they have a shield. Depends though because this Ryan plays a little stupid. Right there I saw an opportunity to maybe get some value off of it. Nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to nade him in rotation. Uh, their Hanzo is the right side, so I'm going to play left. Shoot that dude's toes. Sleep the Reinhardt to keep my team alive. I think we overall to there. Yep, we did. We used literally everything. That's not good at all. They're on May now, so that's going to be annoying from range as well. They have a Brig, though, so Shatter is what I got to worry about. Hans is going to play left, so... Or right, rather. Don't want to play in that window. Thanks for the fall. I appreciate that. They might just take the fight to cart. Oh, Hans is tough. Break that shield early. That may solo in there. Going to help my ball kill things here. He didn't kill anything there. That's not good. We just need to live. got to drop off here to heal my ball. Try to get Nano. Need to wait for his next slam. I need to keep him alive. Big need. No, he blocked it. Drop cart though. GG's, holy crap. <sighs> that is a prime example of adaptation. Because that Reinhardt was foolish. Like, it was also a lot harder. Like, it wasn't even our tank's fault. Our, our DPS, I could tell, we're like, man, my tank's not making this. Dude, our tank is just ignoring the Reinhardt. Walk in! Or like, heal Viana! Hold high ground! Our tank was doing a great job of doing that! And then everyone else is just like, What do I do? But, I was gonna nano the ball, but he already slammed. So then I I was like, you know what? I need to make sure that my soldier lives. Because they were really heavy investing. He was one shot. I nanoed him to keep him alive. That, that one is the game. Stream awesome, dude. We might start streaming later in the day. But, uh, with the gym and just how everything works out, I have to stream earlier. I don't mind streaming earlier either, though, when people are sleeping. I try to find something for my Genji there. This is the best position to play. They have a J-Queen, so she can't get to me here. Unless she knives me, which she's on point right now. I'm not even going to worry about her right now. I'm just going to kill the stuff in the back line, because that's kind of what I'm... With, with the comp we have, we don't have a J-Queen into her J-Queen, so... We just have to kill the people that aren't going to rotate effectively with her if they don't. Ana's right there, but I don't think I'm going to get her. Yeah, she's staying put. I'm just going to look for all charge here instead. I try to build my nano. They're going to come out top, so I'm going to use my nade for that. You save my sleep for this Genji. I run Diva now. Okay, it's going to be a little harder to hit nades against them. Anti that Genji. He's just doing the right thing by dueling me here. 
Alright, now I'm gonna nano this diva in. Go. Awesome. Heal my turret real quick. That's why you need to just build nano as fast as possible. It turns fights in the higher elos, especially lower elos. If you're playing with like a duo, that that turns the fight. That fight should not have been winnable for us, but if you just play smartly there, wait for your diva to get mech, make sure she lives to get mech. I was actually debating on whether or not I wanted to nano her out of mech to try to make sure she got back in mech, but I checked and she had it, so that's why I didn't just pull the trigger on it. But then after that, it was just smooth sailing. She should be fine. They probably have blade, nano blade, so I need a play to make sure I sleep that. Thank for the fall, I appreciate that as well. Yeah, I'm dropping off this height. He's just playing a distraction. Don't even worry about him, dude. Like that Lucio, if he's not killing me, I don't think we should be shooting him there. Because he, he, right now, like, if he's all the way over there, he's doing nothing for his team. He's effectively dead. Like, I'm forcing him out and essentially having an elim on him just by, like, moving around. Dude, what? I had a mercy lot, too. Again, this is one of those fights where I'm debating on actually nanoing my diva. I don't think I need to, though. Okay, I, I thought they were going to gun for... Oh, no way. My mercy died, too. Wait, winnable. We can give ticks and win this. Well, we're going for it, yeah. I, 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 I actually totally agree with going for this. Oh, yeah, we're up now. I'm going to save Nano because we already won this fight for a possible recontest is what I'm saving it for. To be honest, they have a flanking Lucio that's just not getting his job done. He is doing the right thing, I think, by like trying to be aggressive with his team. But it's not helping him out a lot. So this is our GM game. If we win this for GM, it does well. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, Mosin. I appreciate you. Yeah, you should almost never go high ground. But, like, if my team forces height, I kind of have to follow them. I, I don't really have a choice. Especially since I'm not doing VC this run. I've learned against it. It's not really worth it. Yep, just building nano here. Looking for quick value, because that's... The only way you're going to get it. You're not going to be able to just look at him and get it. Well, this is awkward. Still just building nano. My team is taking space, which is good. Oh, I barely slept her. This is coming for me now. I'm gonna nano my diva after she gets back in mech. Dude, I went up with my mouse and it hit my monitor stand, so I missed the shot. That is BS. That we're still gonna get GM off that, but that is BS. It hit my monitor stand, dude. Wait, we actually might lose this. Nano boost is ready to deploy. Let me peek you, bro. I can't really walk right now because they have a Sojourn main. We got two picks, though. We can kill this D.Va. She doesn't have bomb. Force out this Ana. 
anti both of them. Yeah, this is GG's. This is GG's. And I think... Don't even let her get the wall up. I think that's GM. I think that's GM. I think, because that's a 5 0. Unranked to GM Ana completes. Nice, guys. What I will say is Ana in the Junker Queen meta is not, not a good character to be playing. Just play Kiriko in Lucio. Boop the Junker Queen, the enemy Junker Queen's axe away from your Junker Queen. So much easier. Don't make it harder for yourself and force yourself to sleep a Junker Queen that has this big of a hitbox that's running at your team at max speed. Don't do that to yourself. Don't play Ana right now into a Junker Queen. If it's any other map that you're not playing JQ, there's a reason. There's a reason why when there was no Junker Queen in my games, I went 5-0. It's so much easier to character against any other tank. So, we got this one done. If you have any questions, let me know. But 100%, the thing you have to know, Chunker Queen Nana is hard. <laughs> All right. So, we've made it to the end of the unranked to GM. What are my takeaways and what should you know when you're trying to play Ana in this season and really future seasons in general? I feel like the first half of this unranked to GM where we're playing in gold. I feel like that is one of those things where you're going to be able to take everything I said in there, everything I used, and you can really apply that to any meta. When I started getting to masters and GM, that's when the meta starts to really matter for Ana, at least in this scenario. And it might not be transferable when Junker Queen gets nerfed. So the big things I would say, what I learned from this, creating opportunities for your team, 100% the best way that you're going to win an Ana. It's the same thing with any other support. That is why I feel like if you were playing well as supports, it's going to be easier, honestly, to carry at the higher elos than it is at the lower elos, especially as Ana, because the, the, the whole idea is you create an opportunity for your team, whether that be through forcing out a Farah, whether that be through creating an anti-nade that's huge for your team to just completely walk through, whether that's to sleep somebody that's in the back line and get a pick. All of those opportunities are almost... Every single time, going to get followed up upon in GM, and Masters. People are going to see that. They're going to see, oh, cool, free win. I, I'm good. It's harder to make those opportunities, don't get me wrong, but those opportunities, they mean more. While when I was playing in the lower elos, I was creating like five to six win conditions every single fight some of those games. We were still losing, which is, you know, that's why I think on a, especially after some of the nade nerfs where the anti-nade doesn't actually, you know, last as long the sleep dart only sleeps a tank for like half of the time now it definitely hurts her only really in lower elos though also i think that warming up before you play is crucial before you start playing ana especially at lower elos like i said you need to create ma massive amounts of opportunities for your team to actually get something done at those elos and in that eichenwald game the second game that i lost we honestly lost because I didn't take advantage of my own opportunities to kill Mercies, to get damage done, because I just wasn't warm. I hadn't played in a while. Make sure you go into Vaxta and get work done. The last thing I'm going to say, in terms of just general things, Nano Boost is probably the hardest ability to get down in this game, and we used it in a lot of different scenarios. I still mess that ability up. I don't think I'm ever going to master that ability. Just make sure that you're not holding on to it. I didn't say it a lot in the unranked GM because I wasn't holding on to it because I've learned that mistake. But make sure that you're using it, trying to use it in ways that I have. And you're really challenging yourself to get better at that ability. The last thing I will say before I let you all go, Junker Queen, playing on into a Junker Queen. We've said it throughout all of the gameplay. The thing that you need to do is sleep her and anti her and put all of her cooldowns into her. And... In that, you don't really learn a lot about that. You don't learn a lot about Ana as a character in that, but if you're trying to play Ana right now in this meta, Junker Queen, you're, if you're going to force her, you, you got to sleep her, you got to antenate her, never let her even play the game. Because if she plays the game, she will completely demolish your team. If you're watching after this, that doesn't really pertain. But um, I, if you have any questions, please do let me know. I don't have really anything else for you guys. I hope this was an educational experience. I think we're going to be doing Kiriko next. Not sure. Depends on when I want to do my next Unranked GM. If I want to wait for a new season or not. Uh, I don't know. 
it, it depends on really how the future goes for us. Uh, just another reminder though, Alienware, great sponsors for this video. For all of my videos, all of my streams, I am an advocate for them. And quite frankly, I, I wouldn't have gone with them if I didn't realize how awesome these products were. I wouldn't have accepted the deal. So please do check them out if you're in the looks for a new monitor. If you're looking for a really good laptop so that you can really be efficient at school, at college, whatever, whatever have you. But honestly, thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know if there's any questions you have. I'd be so down to answer all of them. But until next time, I've got a peace out. And Paz out. I'll see you in the next one.